Hey Dreamforge, how's it going? Welcome to the stream. How's everyone doing today? Alright, back at it with part 8 of this campaign. Who's ready to go? Two days in a row, how about that? After just coming off a nine and a half hour stream. Who's got stamina? So early? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I need to start today earlier because of the patch that's coming later on today. So, I need to adjust for that. And also, this campaign is like constantly on my mind now. Like, I really feel like I need to win this. Like, full map completion, no defeats. Like, I need this. <laughs> so, the Dark Elf forces are not as much of a threat as they used to be. I am contemplating killing you. So t it, it seems as though Marathi will eventually overcome Hexawaddle. Yeah, that seems likely. I really want to get over here, to here, and revive. Yeah, I can do this now. I really want to get over here and revive Marcus Wolfhart. Now, I should also state that I'm actually not certain if he can even be revived. Most characters in this game can be revived, but I'm not sure about Marcus Wolfhart. I'm not going to know until we get there. I actually should have consulted most of the Mads' uh, little cheat box. Uh, image, but I forgot to. It's alright. If we can't revive him, uh, that's not great. I'm not sure how we're going to bloody control that area without a huge amount of spending. There's also stuff going on here with Katarin, which that is... That is not good. <laughs> that, is, that is not a good thing that's possibly going to happen here. They will be judged. Anyway, Astrogoth was finished off, so that's good. That relieves some tension for us. We've got Balthazar Gelt heading north here to clean up these guys here that were attacking um, Ostermark. I can't have my vassal essentially constantly getting smashed. That's not good enough. Ali Hakan Eren did a TRY22 super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Sadly, am I live on Twitch? Hmm, let me just check. Yeah, it looks like I'm live on Twitch. Let me just check this. I'm not showing up in the Total War Warhammer 3 section. What's going on there? It says it's unstable. Average stream bitrate too high? That's weird. Alright, well, welcome guys on Twitch as well. No Katarin stream? Well, we haven't had the patch yet, so... True I can't do anything Sigma. about that. We'll see. Alright, let's go through this. I think I'm, like, most of the way through this turn. I can't remember what I was doing. I mean, mostly. I can m mostly remember. Just give me a sec here, guys. Slight technical issue with the browser, I think. Just... Okay, just resetting things so that it should work better now. Okay. Alright, right. Uh, what faction will you play when Patch is out? Kislev, right? Well, okay, I think it's important to note that I'm not going to play a live stream the moment the patch comes out. So, I'm definitely leaning towards Kislev, for sure. But it's probably not going to be today.
Chase the continuation of this campaign, Legion. Can't stay long, so good luck out there. Alright, thanks, dude. It's alright. We okay? So I might be having just slight technical issues. Just slight. Okay. I think we're okay. How goes the Dark Elves? Well, they're, okay, so the Dark Elves situation is tenuous, but not dire. So there are nowhere near as many Dark Elf armies out here as before. I took out one of them myself. And... Clan Angrind has landed at the Shrine of Kurnos. I think what I need to do is actually give these guys orders. So tell them to go and occupy settlements out here. Yes. Yeah, get them to really occupy a lot of this territory here. Because we can see here, there's not that many armies. I landed on the coastline here so that I could get some more Winds of Magic because I was a little bit low compared to what we could get. So I could go into Channeling Stance for a couple of turns, maybe, and just generate a ton of magic. Because that will make a difference in battles where we're significantly outpowered, which may happen every now and again. But at the same time... Yeah, I don't want to come over and land in Nivres because they're, they're not fond of me anymore. If I want to declare war on them, I could. I think that would be stupid. Yeah, and also Tora Lasso for some reason ends up over here. So some, there's some weird things happening in Ulswan. I think I want to land there with that. I trust no I've uh, been assassinating a few of their heroes. I think I'm going to recruit another witch hunter and get it over there. Because honestly, they're doing pretty well. What do you require? The Empire! So this is where I recruit my heroes from because it's got the highest hero recruit rank. Who calls? Blessed is this action. They will be judged. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I want to get over to Lustria. It's just, it's not, it's not a quick jump to get there. It's, it's quite a distance. And these are arguably two of my best armies. Now, I could just send Boris Todbringer by himself. I guess I could do that. Because these units here are pretty strong now. As long as he's got a decent amount of Winds of Magic, that should be fine. Because Volkmar showed that he can beat the crap out of the Dark Elves by himself. So yeah, let's let's bring them both down here to Brion. I don't want to be in that region because of the Winds of Magic difference. But I think what I'll do is I'll get, I'll get Toddy to come down this way to Nuja and start setting sail for this area here and we'll we'll get started on that cuz we'll have reinforcements for praise be to sigma for volkmar soon yeah we'll see how we go all right so I was working on construction cuz yeah it only takes one tiny little Yeah, thanks for the Fs, guys, that notified me that <laughs> the stream disconnected. Um, Skinny Pete, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. Like I said, I think that we got a little bit of choppy internet at the moment. Hopefully, it'll fix up soon. I checked most of the Mads map. You can revive Marcus in his starting region. So, the Temple of Kara, thanks, dude, appreciate that. Thank you for doing that. Yeah, because I was just was unsure, because sometimes they don't show up in the position that they're supposed to. Funny thing there is that Twitch didn't get disconnected, only YouTube. That was weird. It only got disconnected on Twitch, uh, on YouTube. Weird. So this guy here just needs to recruit a couple more Witch Hunters, and then, then he's ready to go. Not Witch Hunters, um... You know what I mean. Protector of the weak. So over here, we are ready to strike at Katarin. I live to serve the Emperor. 
Honored to serve. What orders? Sigmarite Arch Lecter. But not having a wizard out here, it may be a little bit silly. So what have we got available? We've got a Heaven's advice. Wizard, Life Wizard, and a Life much. Wizard. Well, Prophecy in the sky. probably best we use the Heaven's Wizard. How's their Winds of Magic? Protect it's all bad her. everywhere. Okay, so, so this one here is really high rank. Why don't you come over here and help them out? Maybe we should get some more Wizards. I've only got two in reserve now. Those ones are Nobles, so we don't want to use them. There's a Disciplined Fire Wizard. Why don't we send fire... Do yeah, we'll send fire over to uh, Kislev. Burn their ice. Melt their ice. Look, he actually did it. He rec recruited a Fire Wizard. Uh, TB Swinkills did a 2 year super chat. Legend, blink once if you're being held hostage. I'm totally being held hostage, dude. Come save me. Creative Assembly, they've captured me. They're forcing me to play this game. <laughs> uh, is Soul Stealer good versus infantry or single entities? I, I don't. I think it's both. Uh, Christmas Peaks. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Been stable on Twitch side? Yeah, it's just YouTube. We're having a connection issue with YouTube. How will it stream today? How are you doing, Absent Legend? Yeah, I'm doing well, thanks. I'm really enjoying this campaign, which is why I want to keep going. Alright. Protector of the Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I really want to drag them into the war against them. What I could do. Because in order to revive. In order to revive them. I'm going to need to give these two settlements here to Bordelow Errantry or Itza, either one. I haven't met Itza yet. Hmm. They're not at war with Zinch, but Zinch is doing Zinchy things to them. Maybe it would be better for me if they would go and take out Zinch. But maybe what I could do is military ally with both the, of these two, and declare war on Zinch so they invade the South Continent. Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. I think that's a good idea. Grants you safe passage in these lands. Tis done. Okay, military alliance with them. That way I meet Itza. It uh, is pretty unfriendly towards me because, okay, we've now met the Jade Court. Okay. Did you need something? My scribe. Right, that's fine for now. I must face dragon. Hmm. Maybe he might be willing to... I don't know. He's going to have to figure this out as a go, I think. Yeah. And what shadows have changed yet? Is it worth it or keep waiting? Um, I would wait for a sale, personally. If you haven't already got it. But if you got money to just throw around, you know, you got to make these decisions for yourself. Can't make them for you. But it's like... Like, in terms of value, it went from maybe a 4 out of 10 to maybe a 6 or 7 out of 10. It's like, not... That's not terrible value, it's just not amazing. That's all. Sort of... I think now it kind of meets expectations, depending, of course, on what your expectations are. Alright, I think we're done with this turn. Uh, Cesaro, subscribe with Prime. Pink, black. Uh, 44, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that support. We're now at 540 subscribers on Twitch. All right, so we keep, need to keep annoying Zinch they wherever possible. I can't block these two armies. They are too high tier. 
iconic. Yeah, every time I see a Zinchin hero, if I can manage to... Oh, that's right, our guy critical failed over there. And... Show me the accused. Wasn't there another For Sigma. around here? Tools of judgment ready. Forward. Trying to keep Seek track of all their armies. Heretics. Champion of the faith. All right, it is what it is. Yeah, we got this one. I trust no man. Moving over this way. The instrument of Sigmar's will. Yeah, don't worry about leveling them up right now. That's not that important. What do you uh, I should also to rename this guy to his true name. What did I do that for? Disciplined, of course. <laughs> The only true name for a wizard. Alright, I think we're done with the turn. Everything looks fine. I always gotta double and tri triple check things, because you never know when something's gonna go really wrong. But everything's looking pretty good here. Alright, let's move on. Do you have any idea if we'll be able to recruit the new legendary heroes in old saves? Oh, uh, I don't know, sorry. God, hang on. No, that's where I am. That's where I am. Uh, we're good. My armies are there. Is the update out yet? No, it should be about six hours. Until it's out. Okay, that could be good that they did that, because that... Uh, maybe not. Hey, Tipo Tom. Hey, Legend in chat. Hope all is well. How goes the campaign? So far, so good. Haven't suffered a defeat yet, but you never know. Greetings you never know. From Any moment. <laughs> no. I know people are sick of bears, but I wanted a golden bear mount for the golden knight. Yeah, fair enough. Ogres in ambush dance north northeast from Franz. Okay, thanks, dude. Well, they didn't attack me, so it's all good. Yeah, you're not gonna beat dwarfs in order resolve. Good stuff. Malekith is actually falling back. We're actually stronger than him now. All right, so I feel a lot less pressure to. Just smash Malachus. So hopefully Bretonia and Cla excuse me, Clan Angren can go over there now and just um keep him contained in North One, and we can go do what we actually want to be doing, which is going to Lustria. Now I imagine that by not getting involved in the the big push towards the Dark Elf territory of Nagaroth, we're probably going to have to deal with the Dark Elves again at some point, but that's fine. Halloc five three. Sorry, five seven five three. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Uh, 
I guess Kyle on the community poll. No, he didn't actually, but I can't play the cat. I can't play the new stuff yet. It's not out yet. The thing is, the patch comes out at a really inconvenient time for me to like. I'm not going to start a live stream at three o'clock in the morning. I'm just not going to do that. So, and I'm not going to stop a live stream halfway through to play a different campaign that has historically proven to be really ineffective for the channel. So. The best thing that I can do is start my stream early, finish it around the time the patch comes out, and then cover Catter in another day. Also, I really don't want to be one of those YouTubers that, like, foam at the mouth and have to get onto playing the newest thing, the newest patch, the very second it comes out. This is why... You know, whenever there's like a blog that comes out, you know, I'll release my information on that like the day after it comes out. I don't need to release it the moment it comes out. And it's, they still do just fine. Because all it does is create extra stress and it benefits Creative Assembly and creates a really unhealthy work environment. I don't want to contribute to that. When do you sleep? Well, in terms of today... Yeah, so... We didn't get disconnected on Twitch, just on YouTube. So something's going wrong with YouTube. It's not necessarily on my end, because I managed to keep the stable connection on, on Twitch. Perfect crash timing. Well, I can't control when... When it crashes. I can't control that. Alright. Rakath was just destroyed. Which, I guess that's good. Yeah, look. He's falling back. Oh god, I went the wrong way, I guess. He's withdrawing. And look. Oh, look at this. Clan Angrand out here taking control of Ulthwan. Look at this. Alright, I want to land no here. Pick up the pace. Cult of Pleasure is going to finish them off, so we're probably going to have to deal with them at some point. Did we not meet them? Technically, I haven't met them. So. What do you seek, dark and noble warrior? He's getting fairly, fairly close to wanting peace. So what I we'll do here, we'll take Boris people. Toddbringer. Yes, a sound plan. You gotta be careful, I can't see what's out this way. I mean, this army is not that weak. It's not weak at all. Um, maybe, maybe go right here. Just because I can't see what's in this area here. Tools of judgment ready. This guy will scout ahead for him. We'll level ready. up these guys so that if I do get attacked, I'm actually capable of defending myself. That would be pretty good to make sure of that. So these guys are all on horseback. Yep, that's fine. I could put them on Imperial Pegasus, but honestly, I think... Maybe I should put them on Imperial Pegasus. Onward. Slain. Yeah, because that dude's on the ground. Okay. Okay, let's do that. Let's put them all on their Imperial Pegasus. Oh, good. They're not losing... Health? That's good. Imperial Pegasus has more health as well, so that's good.
All right, the flying goon squad. Let's go. Also, don't have any bloody equipment on these guys. I'm a little bit short on good equipment. I got a bunch of garbage, but you might as well just not even equip any. Hang on, I don't think I switched him to Pegasus. No, I did. Too bad you can't, like, select all and tell them to go... Yeah, you can't select them all. Oh, I'll tell you what I can do. I can do this. People always telling me to do this. Yeah, that's way quicker. Hang on. These guys here should not have scribes on them. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me see if there's a good like rune blade I can give this guy. That hasn't been equipped yet. I've got Grudge Settler. Okay, that could work. Do you ever use the automatic level up? Isn't it useful on these heroes? Um, I use the automatic level up once all of the things I actually want have been equipped. So once I've got all the things that actually makes them stronger, then I'll click that button. Otherwise, you'll end up with just random points all over the place. It just, it's just not good. Hang on, we should try to make sure they've all got Deadly Onslaught. So that way I can just press it all at the same time to increase their strength. thing here. There's nothing important left for this. Actually, spreading control is pretty important because that's what we need to be doing. Do you wish there was a difficulty higher than legendary? Um, I don't really care that much. I just want the game to be fun. I don't want the game to be impossible. So I don't, I just, I don't care. Alright, so where did they end up going? Yeah, they're still on their way. Let's try to block oh this God. army here at every turn so that we can slow them down. Good. Because, yeah, we can easily beat Zatan the Black's army, but if they combine their forces, that could be a bit of a problem. Amble Peak needs to give its territory away. The Morgate does have Nurgle's Rot, but if we got infected with that, it's not that big of a deal. I rarely permit such low company. You are fortunate, indeed. Hmm. What to do about her? I mean, I think she's a little bit busy to worry about me. Yeah, I think she's a little bit busy. At this current rate, it actually looks like she'll lose. Huntsman General! 
All right, we need to. Camp and forage. Sigmarite Arch Lecture. Right, give up Amble Peak. That is not going to cut it for us. Greetings, my countrymen. Good. You come in peace on this fine mark. Cool. As you say, they, so. they make so much money. Just adds to my income. <laughs> Good little territory I gave them. All right, and yeah, just head over to the Moor Gate. Covering ground. We'll easily get there next time. Seek out the heretics. March on the witches. Seek out the heretics. Yep. Okay, then we've got Balthazar Gelt up here. There was an army over here that it ran I away by the look of it. Hammer, yes. Yeah, there it is. It may even be in our interests to peace out with Zatan the Black for just a short amount of time while we deal with some other things. That way he'll redirect his forces back over to Miao Ying, and Miao Ying will really want that alliance with me again. <laughs> Because we've definitely done some serious damage to him in this war. If we can get to the Volary, though, that'd, that'd really hurt him, because that's his capital. Because after I'm done here, we need to go and fight Nurgle up this way, and potentially fight Archeon here. Probably, actually, probably not. <laughs> probably not. Um, Ready. Yeah, I'd much prefer it if Katarin just got rid of Archeon, but whatever. What are you doing here? The Empire. No peace, just war. Okay, that's going to take us a little bit of time to replenish. Alright. Who calls? That's good. So now the big question here is, do we give Zatan a bit of a break? Just a bit of a break while I sort out the Nurgle idiots over here. Maybe I should have fought that manually, but it doesn't look like there's that much sitting over here. So yeah, their armies are bloody destroyed. So that shouldn't be a problem. Because, yeah, we could... Okay, we could get a little bit of money out of him. Just a little bit. Hmm. He's not at war with Ostermark. As long as he's not at war with Ostermark, he's really not threatening us. So I don't think there's any need to give him peace. Alright, make sure we give that other settlement over. Short. I think it's called Dragon's Death. Yep. So be it. Okay. I think we'll be bringing democracy to Lustria today. Um, I am going to try to get there, but there is a big amount of force here, so we just need to be very careful about how we go. So you can see I'm sending Toddy over. Who are you fighting? Welcome oh, good. Good, 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 good. This is where it's got to happen. Now, the thing is, if I just stand in here and cause a revolt, it'll actually happen at Spectazuma. So I have to make sure that they don't own both Spectazuma and Monument of Izatal. So that's a bit of a issue. And we also need to make sure he's not friends with anyone. Okay, he's got no friends with anyone. That's good. <laughs> Keep him diplomatically isolated. So yeah, it looks as though Alberic is doing an invasion from the south. That is awesome. That is really, really good. Keep the Dark Elves busy. Yes. Alright, I think this one here is exhausted. Yep. And you are not exhausted, so I need you to wound this one. Judgment is death. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that to guarantee a success, but okay. Is that where heretics lurk? I trust no man. Don't fret, they'll be open. Yeah, just do agent actions to try to level up these characters. Okay. 
by the Helden. So with Volkmar, I'm just trying to generate some winds of magic during the calm. L landing over here isn't going to be a good idea for us. It will be done. Gen J became a member of 31 months. First time watching this campaign, is the idea to use the other Empire factions as a proxies to take the L's for potential settlement losses? Yes, exactly. They will be judged. Yeah, otherwise we need shitloads of armies that I won't be able to afford in order to defend all the border settlements. And this way, our border settlements are just occupied by, by somebody else. And it's up to them if they want to defend it or not. But them losing a region is not a big deal for us. I serve no master. But that is exactly the idea. Uh, Sugar Free JT, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Another disciplined. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Yes, so this, this one here needs to go to Toddy. Uh, hang on, how many? Wait, where are we? How many more capacity do we have? Because I was always going to make another one of these armies. Pretty close. Direct me. All right, uh, it's too far away to get to fucking Toddy, so I'll just keep it here. I'm not ready to make another one of these stacks yet. We just keep it in this area. No discipline there. That's okay. I'm not any rush to get loads of wizards right now. How important are heroes in reality? I never use them. But you don't have to use them, but they can be, in many cases, your most powerful units, if you use them correctly. And that's the whole point of what we're doing here. We still need to move Carl France around. Money is looking pretty good at the moment. That's nice to see. Amber Wizard stack when? Could do that. That is a possibility. Uh, I tell you what, we do that when we're able to recruit them at ridiculously high level, which is not right now. Because otherwise you've got to train them up and get them to... I think rank 22. Alright, Carl Franz. He didn't get any recovery over that turn. And that premise. character, I think he went over, there there is. Heretics. Okay, good. Alright, you they will protect over here. Just, I just want to see what's going. Okay, oh, there's an army. There's an army. Yes, to unite okay. the provinces. Alright, that's not, like, super dangerous. It's definitely dangerous, but not, like, insane. Just gotta be careful about them coming through here. Like, all of this anti-large will definitely come in handy against it, especially because we've also got defenses built. And these guys tend to be really bad in order resolve. It's also a low-level character. Those aren't gonna do anything. These two definitely will. Stonehorns are very dangerous. But... I wasn't able to block him. How have you gone? Yeah, you're fully recovered. That's good. I am Prince and I can always raise another force there as well, if I absolutely need to. Take out this camp here. And try to chase after this one, because that guy's not going very far. And we'll try to reclaim the fortress of Vorag for Ostermark. But I kind of got the feeling that... Carl France is going to be stuck in this area for a little while. Just like whack a mole all these ogres. Until they're all gone. Pick up the pace. Make haste, men. Okay. Only what I listen to is me. Step to it. Trying to keep an eye on where all the ogres are. Because we took out um, Grease's out. Goldtooth's army. But he'll probably be coming back. Okay, so they're recruiting something in Darkhold there. 
I guess another thing to keep in mind is that these armies here are taking away some of uh, Greece's core, core territory out this way. So that's very important. If we take away all of his initial encampments, he won't be able to recruit any more Stonehorns. Because it's the only place where you can get them. Our Empire Settlement map is good to defend. Eh, it's their garrisons that are crap. That's the problem. Okay. Well, looks good. This guy does three more units, and we send him out to the front line. True servant of Sigma. Over here, waiting for Katarin to declare war. These ones were waiting for... for them to invade, but that seems less likely now. I wonder if I should disband them. I serve the hell. No, let's just leave things until until this area here has been crushed by our allies. I'd say just leave them there for now. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah. These ones here just waiting for Katarin to potentially declare war. Show me the accused. I trust no man. So looking at her. You are a stain. Okay, relations are improving, so maybe we can re-establish a friendship with her, maybe. We will see. I wouldn't mind grabbing a few of this territory and just like pushing her further north. Because she's really taking her sweet time in defeating Archeon. If you ever look at Archeon, yes. he is not that strong. It, it seems like he got his ass whooped and he just gave up fighting. Do Dwarves still have the strongest garrisons in Warhammer 3? They've definitely got very strong garrisons. I, I don't know if it's the strongest. Go on the offensive, FFS. Why? There's no advantage to coming over here. That would ruin our campaign. We're, we're on the ag aggressive, on the, um, what did you say? On the offensive, over in the east. But Ulthwan is not worth taking. I don't want Ulthwan. I can't feed it to any elect accounts. I can feed it to my, va uh, my allies, but that just means I have to fight my allies later. Honestly, having the Dark Elves and my allies in a constant deadlock is exactly what we want. It's a good thing. Alright, I think we've done everything that we can. Let's move on to the next turn here. Nothing to do there. Let's check diplomacy. Sorcery. I guess we could trade with them. What are your terms? I I don't see myself More fighting them anytime soon. Ivres. Ivres is getting over the fact that I stabbed them in the back. I so let's re-establish relations no with them. No, I want them to give me money. <laughs> Tor Ivres expects. Give me that cash. Alright. Itza. Not at war with Itza. Uh, obviously. Um, I'm not necessarily going to have beef with Itza to begin with. Let me just see if I can get them Keeper to... Hang on. See if I can get them to break their alliance with Borderlord. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, okay, that's very interesting. That is very interesting that I can get them to do that. Because what that would mean is Borderlord would be destroyed, basically. Because he would eventually declare war on them. I don't think that's a good idea. I think we should hold off on doing that kind of stuff. Because he's not at war. Actually, can we get you to join war against them? How can I get you to do... How much money do I have to pay you? 85,000. 82 and a half. No. Alright. Just, let's just wait and see how things play out with them. Uh, boss of bosses. In the lore, you'd be Mr. Krabs. I love it. I definitely relate. In terms of SpongeBob, I would be I would be Mr. Krabs. <laughs> so, Mr. Krabs, why did you open up a, a second channel? I like money. <laughs> money. The nation calls. Yeah, I'm so Mr. Krabs. I, I I can see that. Hey, Mr. Krabs is a good character. He's a good dude, right? <laughs> I wipe my tears at night with money. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good here. 
So this here is stupid because what they're going to do is use teleport stones. Oh, that's right. I go over there. Got wounded. Keep looking for Zinchian heroes to assassinate. He'll be back soon enough, though. All right, let's move on. I think we're in the clear here. But the Bretonians are killing Zinch at the south. Yes, they are. Yep. Yep. Legend, change thing have the last cult in Sylvania. Check it, please. How do you know it's there? And also, what does it matter? He's got no effect. He doesn't... He hasn't rebuilt his army. It doesn't matter that we don't take him out completely. In fact, it's actually kind of better to keep the changeling around. Yeah, he's coming up through that way. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing there. Why did I not see... Did he go into ambush dance or something? Hey Legion, if one were to support you via Super Chats bits, where do you get more money, Twitch or YouTube? Um, I'm pretty sure it's about the same. I actually don't know. Just do whatever you feel comfortable with. The big question here is, could Gelt's army defeat this? Because honestly, Steam Tank Doomstack, not invincible. Maybe just recover Ulth one for the High Elves so they can keep each other busy while Dark Elves until you turn to focus there. Well, that will require a bit of effort to get there firstly. Why don't we head over to Lustria and let's focus on Marcus Wolfhard. Honestly, the the Ulth one situation is kind of it's stabilized a fair bit. Let's just let that be. It's quite possible that all the armies that Malekith had was built up over the entirety of the campaign and he's just pissed away all of his resources now. Greetings from Sigma. The thing is, we don't have the resources to do everything, so let's try to do the thing that's going to give us the most amount of long-term value, which is revive Marcus Wolfheart. That's what I want to be doing. Yeah, taking out the Dark Elves, that's not something that is going to give us long-term value. Not without Marcus Wolfheart having first been uh, brought back. I guess what I could do is recruit a bunch of witch hunters at the moot, or in the general area there, and send them into the general area of Sylvania to root out the last changeling settlement, maybe? Plus, if Zinch discovers the changeling, he'll confederate him. Uh, there's no chance of him discovering that right now. Yeah, that's, that's wishful thinking, that's never gonna happen. Why is Marcus Wolfhart so important? Because I need him to feed territory to him. How do you bring him back? We need to cause a revolt at the Temple of Kara. It's, it's a fairly long task to do this. But if we, if we get started on it now, we can maybe get it done today. It's going to take several turns. Because one thing, I've got to get Boris Toddbringer over to Lustria. That's the first thing. Then the next thing, I have to capture two of the, of the three settlements from the province because the Temple of Kara is a minor settlement. See, normally factions revive at a major settlement, so you just need to cause a revolt, you know, at anywhere in the province. And then they come back. But in this case here, we have to get rid of the other two settlements because otherwise the revolt will happen somewhere else. So it's a little bit more complicated with this. He's not an easy character to bring back. Perhaps steal a Paladin for Hero Doom stack. They have the Guardian ability. That's a not a bad idea, actually. That's not a bad idea. Because Guardian is very useful for him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've got Thanes for that reason. But I don't have any more Thanes on the way. Only 42 factions remain, and about 10 of them are pirates. Would raising be sufficient? If you raise the settlements, all you're doing is delaying things, because they're just going to get ruined world. Like, not as quickly as it happened in, War in Warhammer 2, but... Anyway, with Alberic sending his forces north, this is good. This is going to keep Ulth 1 contained. Like, look how many armies he's going in. This is going to keep the Cult of Pleasure busy for the time being. It's exactly what I want to be seeing. How the hell does Alberic have Marcus's free company when Marcus is dead? So if the faction gets wiped out, the borrowed units don't get wiped out with them. Good. Alright. So next stop, Plains of Zanbaijin. Seek out the heretics. Speak, they will be Actually, judged. nope. Gallo Shri. Let's take out this army here. Alright, we gotta keep in mind that we are Wind of Shamon, I will. Hang on. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark tag? That's how much money he made over the intern. And more than that, actually, because I didn't completely bankrupt him. Alright, looks like we got submissions from Bordaloo Errantry. Alright, let's see if we can kill Malekith. Because, yeah, it could be good to borrow some of his armies. Let us begin. Decent amount of replenishment with that. Because, yeah, I may have blocked him, but we're not going to be able to catch him this turn. I think he counted on that. Plus, I'll end up just taking attrition. This is not a good area to be in. Yeah, keep blocking this guy here. Good. Yeah, that way he just can't keep up. Blocking the 10 is definitely possible, but I need intel over this way as well. We don't want to be walking into any traps. Yes, for now. Huntsman General, we will. Combat awaits! This is what we've trained for! Good. This is ours okay, another settlement taken away from Greasus. That is always good. Praise be to Sigma. Raphael the Destroyer did a 10 PLN super chat. Have a nice day, bro. Thanks, dude. You as well. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate it. So, by the comet, moving off. Make sure this area is safe. Yep, seems safe. What does the emperor bid? And off we sail. To battle. So that'll take us yeah, a few turns to get there. Seek out the heretics. 
I feel like I should have more than one witch hunter there. Alright, let's get another one to come and assist. What happened to that other hero? Is that did that? Yeah, keep wounding them. I accuse. Good. Is it time? You just stay there until I recruit my next one. Yes, son of Sigma. How should we proceed? Okay, we're good. Alright, so if we want to go and hunt down the changeling, let's get a few more witch hunters in here. Seek out the heretics. I trust no man. Because these guys here will be good at finding where he I is. Trust no man. I'll just keep them in there for now so we keep getting those followers while we're building up. Probably ten of these is gonna be required. Show me the and then we'll you. just go around to each region, try to hunt it down. What is your wish? Cataran over here is still just yes, not doing anything. Time. Good. But well, we've got it all. We're ready to fight her if she pulls the trigger on us. Alright, then we saw that one of their armies made their way up here. Yeah, there he is. We definitely want him blocked. I want to delay that as long as possible. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, that army came out of ambush stance, so that one is going to be killed off by Karl Franz. That's good, and we've almost recovered since the previous battle. Let's go. Attack! Good, don't need to fight manually, just auto it. Good. Good. That was really strong auto resolve there. Another army bites the dust. Now, can we make it to... The Fortress of Oreg, yep, that's good. That's really good, because we want to be keep keeping on expanding Ostermark. Now, the problem here is that it's kind of more important to take out Fur to Drag, because he's making his way towards Black Iron Mine. And what he'll do is he's not going to attack Black Iron Mine. He's just going to keep on going to find Black Crag, because that one's not as well defended. And what we'll have to do is have this guy go out and fight him, so that's not as good. That's not as good. There's also, I think, another army in here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. Speak. I don't think I blocked him. Oh, I did. I will butcher any who interfere. As much as I want, as much as I want to take that settlement and give it back to them. Our army is strong enough to fight these guys, so I'm going to stand right here. That way I still get replenishment. I know we're in force march, but neither of these guys are going to be capable of attacking us. And even if they did, we would beat them. Maybe. <laughs> oh, okay. You have Halbert army in ambush on the Ogre's path. Have the Halbert army in ambush. Uh, no, ambushes don't really do much against this kind of army. It's all melee. It just wouldn't give us much of an advantage. Carl Franz, this is a last resort. What we want to do here is have Carl Franz deal with it. He's got a good amount of replenishment rate. He's absolutely smashing their armies. It's working out pretty well. And they're recruiting more and more crap as time goes on. Where we're taking territory away from him is from his eastern settlements. So if he keeps this up, he will just lose. Greece, that is. I don't want to risk using a shit army in battle, because there's a good chance of losing, especially if we're using a, using it on elite units. All right, so Volkmar here just generating some wins. Yes, blessed is this action. They will be judged. Pick up the pace. Okay, we have now met these guys for some reason. And consider it what? Carefully. Why? How the fuck did any of this happen? <laughs> okay, well look.
Why are they at war with the last defenders of all people? Most astute. Very well. Wise indeed. One. Um, that the last defenders might be a little bit upset with me for doing that, but why are they even at war with them? Yeah, he's a little bit upset with me for doing that. Why? Oh, do you know what I reckon happened? I reckon this is Zinch's doing. I reckon Zinch forced that war. Yeah, that's what I think happened. Okay, that's that's fine. Yeah, Zinch must have done it. <laughs> Anytime there's a what the fuck moment, it it's usually Zinch. So blocking this army is yeah twenty percent chance. I might as well just not do that. So over here, it looks like they actually won against that army because I don't see it here. That is awesome. Thoric is really smashing down on Zinch. He's getting quite weak. That is really good. They've captured territory back over here. They're capturing territory here. They're pushing Zinch back. Awesome. Yeah, if I don't have to fight Zinch, that is just awesome. Alright, let's check diplomacy and some other things, then move on to the next turn, because it all looks pretty good. Yeah, Greasus is pretty desperate for peace if he wants to pay that much. Good, Crooked Fang Fort is reach, reaching its max level, so we don't need that anymore. That's not very useful. I'm not going to get that. It's good for the high elves, but that's about it. Just a handful of little trinkets. Not really worth much. So, Black Iron Mine, let's build that up. I guess what I could do is go in ambush stance here so they actually launch the attack. But I think Carl Franz will be able to catch him and put him out of their misery. Good thing they don't have the underway jump. Hey Legion, any tips for a Mulder campaign? Like, is it worth resetting Hellpit at tier 4? Any Flesh Lab tricks? Um, I personally don't do the whole resetting their, um, their capital. To get it to tier 4 quickly right away, or to tier 5, I don't do that anymore because growth is much quicker in Warhammer 3 than it is in 2. Um, and also getting food is, at the beginning of the campaign, a lot more tedious. So I don't do that. I wouldn't recommend it. Some people swear by it. I have tried it. I don't think it's worth it. So do whatever you want in that regard. In terms of Flesh Lab, I would highly recommend getting um, the Warp Bomb on the... On the monster you start off with, I can't remember if it's a mutant rat ogre or a brood horror. I think it's a mutant rat ogre. But yeah, getting a warp bomb on that will make a big difference. Alright, I think we're done here. Just need to check my lists and then move on. Yes. Tracker of distinction. True servant of Sigma. Yep, everything looks pretty good here. Our income's taking a bit of a jump, that's good. These guys here in channeling stance. Ready to serve. Praise be to Sigma. Our paths have crossed. Arch lector. Okay, all that looks good. Make sure the heroes reach their destination. We're going to send the fire wizard up here. That is the pyromancer's way. And I'll send Come the heaven's down. wizard over this way. So we're ready to fight Katarin if she pulls the trigger on us. By the comet. For Sigma. But I'm actually hoping she pushes north. She's at war with all of these guys up here. Yep. If she could take out Archeon, that would save us a lot of effort. She seems to be fighting out here as well. Archeon is arriving here again. And Malekith 
if we have a look at his strength ranking, it is not as bad as it was before. So I'm, I'm feeling a little more comfortable about doing it with him. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. There's nothing else here. But yeah, let's let's start working towards bringing back Marcus Wolfhart. Show me the accused. Starting off with the Brute Harrop, I wish. Yeah, sorry, it's, just, it's hard to remember where everything starts off as. So that was on the Vortex campaign, I believe, started for the Brute Horror. Instable stability is broken against infantry. Yeah, that's the whole point. Does Zinch have all of Antarctica? Yes, yeah, so he took out Oxyodal. I will hear your petition, but make no promises to act. Nope. I didn't get to see where the other guy went because this is what they do, right? They do some diplomacy and then they don't show you where their first move is. Why not spend 82... Okay, to have it's a go to war with Nagaron, it's nothing compared to what you have in the bank. Hmm. I think the big question is would they even bother sending any armies over there? That's the big question. Because also, if we give them 82,000, then they'll spend that money on more armies. Which means that's armies that I'll have to eventually fight. But then if they spend that 82,000 and fight Nagaroth and get wrecked, then they'll lose that 82,000 pretty quick. Maybe. It's definitely a Mr. Krabs question, yeah. Uh, Kendrax did a $9 super chat. Love your content, Legend. I've watched the first six episodes and halfway through the last one of this campaign. I've learned a lot from you. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Aiden did a $2 super chat. How tall are you? I am 4 foot 15. <laughs> I don't want to answer this kind of questions. That make it relevant to the actual gameplay, please. Stay on topic. Like it's, it's an innocuous que question, but then it opens the floodgate, and that's the big problem. You answer one of these questions, and then it's always like, "How tall are you? How big's your dick?" Blah 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 blah. Just goes on, and then it derails the stream. So the best thing to do is just, I'm not going to answer it. Sorry. It's not relevant to what we're doing. You go from nonsense to doxing yourself pretty quick. Yeah, exactly. So I just prefer, like, you can talk about anything you want about the game, but please don't ask me stupid personal questions that are not relevant to the stream, that nobody else cares about. I'm just not going to answer them. Not unless you really give a big super chat. I'm like, I'll make an exception for that. <laughs> Could you buy a settlement in Ulthwan and sell it to the last Empire faction that you... No, you can, only you can only sell settlements if they border it. So you can't just sell a settlement in, in Ulthwan over to Cathay, for example. They've got to be bordering that region. That's why that's why conquering Ulthwan, which is a lo an a island, is not a good idea for us right now. What we really want is to re-establish Marcus Wolfheart, have him by his own independence 
land an invasion in Ulthwan. Once he's done that, I will take on all of Ulthwan and give it to him. And then buy it back off him later. So that's the plan here. We go to we go to Lustria, we have it all under control of Marcus Wolfheart, and then we buy it back by selling him territory that is on the front line. Aiden did a two dollar super chat. Favorite vampire coast? Yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Um my favorite of the vampire coast is definitely Noctilus. My least favorite is, I know you didn't ask this, but my least favorite is Sartosa. Aranessa. I hate Aranessa. $2 Super Chat Legend, what's your favorite color? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, but not $2. No, not worth it. It's not worth it. Like I said, it just it just derails the stream. And I, I can understand why some people would think that what's the big deal? He's just asking a question. But the problem is I've been doing this a long time and that people don't just ask one question. It just, that's what starts it. So let's stay on topic. Okay, because that's what people are here for. They want to talk about the game. Anything to do with the game, you can ask me any questions. And, you know, I don't know everything, but you can at least ask the questions. But anything outside of that, um, it's just not relevant. Like, who cares? It was in the moot the whole time. Legend in Sylvania, I swear, it's in Sylvania. He's still around. I am change. Legend, trust me, it's in Sylvania. It might have been in Sylvania. Yes, for now. Who calls? All right, we'll try Schwarzhausen. Seek out the heretics. Yes. Tools of judgment ready. Seek out the heretics. Moving off. And we'll go around and we'll just uh, we'll see if we can root him out. I trust no man. Alright, I think I prefer Step to go over here. I kind of feel as though Ulthwan is gonna enter a new period of of bullshit. That is actually good for me. My knowledge is yours. I will marshal the bed. Yes, pick up the pace. So there's a few of these along the way, but I think it's pretty tri uh, pretty trivial to, to go and try and get that. Now. All right, we're going to take a little bit of attrition. That's why we're going to cross this ocean quickly. I doubt that there's any Cult of Pleasure armies down here. Anyway, we're not at war with her at the moment. We've got to get to the Temple of Kara. So it looks like it's about three turns away. But that's not where we start the war. We land, but what we want to be doing is hitting Monument of Isital first and handing it over to them. The Empire. Yes. Hmm. I definitely want to make sure that Volkmar is here just in case any Dark Elf forces. Full action. Like, look at this. This is still pretty dangerous. Weakling. Are they just not at war with Ivress? I am a warden. No, they are. Hello. Did they sack that settlement? Yeah, they sacked it. They're just not finishing the job. Aiden did a two dollars chat. Is there a save our camp faction you won't play? Yes, there are some. So ogres, I usually don't touch. Um, I don't get sent in that many ogre save files, but most of the time I won't touch ogres. The reason for that is every single ogre video, without exception, always completely bombs. People don't want to watch ogre videos. I have no, I have no personal beef with the ogres. But they always perform like absolute ass. So, the other one is Dark Elves, where Dark Elves is like, most of the time it's like a, a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10 video. They're just not very good and I don't enjoy playing them. So I usually don't cover Dark Elves. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of the nature of the game, that there are some factions that are less popular than others. And like, I don't personally want to play them, so why... Could you, the next thing that people would ask would be, just play whatever you want. That's irrelevant. Okay, that's just what I want is not relevant in this occasion equation. <laughs> Save our camp. Save your campaign. Probably had a limited I amount of text you could do with the blue super chat. Uh, must faced. 
Okay, the war host of Tsar, they no longer want peace. Where are we? Good. Didn't move away. I'll kill that. What have you to say? Good. Every time they succeed, they get a little bit better. That's what it's all about. They will be judged. Speak. Good. Good, good, good. By Sigma. I will do anything. Alright, capturing the Great Hall of Greasers will deprive him of two grand. I trust no man. Yeah, I think so all of his is. armies are... Well, that doesn't really count. That's not really an army. Not a real army, anyway. What I, what happened to this one? Did he go into ambush stance or something? Where did he go? On it. Hunt them out. On march. It shall be done. Report. In the name of Magnus. I see no other option. I am France. Yeah, what happened to the fucking army that was here? Aiden did a two let's chat. Which upgrades on lords look good but are shite? Um, none. There's none that look good but are shit. Like, you, I don't know, like, looking good is a subjective opinion, and, but a shit is an objective opinion, so that's like, that's really hard to answer, because everybody's gonna have a different opinion about that, and I don't, I don't think anything looks appealing, but is actually shit. So, it's just, that's a weird question. Appreciate the super chat, though. Philippe Silva did an R5 super chat. Hi, Legend, in a Volkmar campaign, is it worth to invest free company militia, even in the late game? I wouldn't go into the late campaign, no. Early game, sure. Late game, no. Move. Yeah, I didn't see what happened to this guy here. I it just have time. no clue Is where he went. Where oh no! No, 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 no. No, they couldn't maintain their public order. Uh. No, I don't want that one coming back. <laughs> I feel as though the army is in ambush dance over here, but I just don't know. Who calls? What? Because I blocked it. It couldn't couldn't have gone too far. It could be in here as well. I, I just don't know. Because it, the game didn't show us because of that bloody diplomacy thing that they do. I wonder if I should get over here and stop this. I serve the Heldenhammer. Because otherwise, it would be definitely be good to kill this guy. He can't get that far. Taking away Dark Hole from them as well, that's also good. Moving off. Okay. Should we be getting 4.2 around 2 a.m. AST? I think so. Try ally missions to find them. That's a good idea, dude. Let's have a look. No, I don't have any for that, unfortunately. That was a good idea, but unfortunately just wasn't available. So, yeah, we're generating loads of winds of magic here. I'm actually thinking I might send Volkmar over to Lustria as well. Because I really am starting to feel like this is okay. Because we've got another army ready to go soon anyway. Alright, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send Volkmar over the ocean. Yeah, I'm going to send him over this way. So... He'll arrive first. Yeah, and then Volkmar will be there. That'll just allow us to conquer Lustria quicker. Aiden did a two dollars super chat. Thanks for the content, by the way. Really bloody helpful. No worries, dude. My pleasure. That's what I'm trying to be. Ever vigilant. A time to heal. Yeah, put a noble one in there. That way they can construct things quickly when they arrive at certain regions. Okay, so looking at that, yep, one more is needed, and then he can get moving. Which he'll just 
protect the front line out, out um, in Bretonia. So we don't lose any territory. The Empire! Alright. Gelt over here. Mustn't forget about him. Now. Very well. I will do this. It's not essential that we don't get here this turn. The nation calls. Help them out. Alright. Doesn't seem like there's that much to worry about here. Yes. What? Oh. <laughs> this army is not strong in order resolve. What? <laughs> Come on. Alright, whatever. Oh dear, this army is not strong in order resolve at all. I know there's tanks are garbo for auto resolve, but gold rank helps. Well, if they're garbage in auto resolve, that means that the AI might underestimate them, so that's actually not so bad. Bad melee attack and melee defense? Yeah, that's probably right. Well, the more that we fight, we'll get more experience. That'll definitely help with all of that. Sometimes having a bad auto resolve army is actually good. It is actually playing our music. So I think it's because it's a choke point battle. The game's like, oh, it's a choke point battle. Gotta be careful. They might beat you. Terrain there is a little bit. Okay, that looks good. We are Sigma and we've got plenty of winds of magic for some heals as well. Ready for war. Taste gold magic. Quick march! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna overcast this. Just because there's so many of them. Taste gold magic. The Empire endures at speed. Look to the sky. A bloody moon. Take targets! Yes, my lord. Formation march! Any word or rumors about any dwarf reworks in the pipeline? Nothing. I haven't heard anything about that. I mean, I expect that they will get some kind of update, but as for a rework, I don't know. Okay, you guys really should be yes, focusing sir. on the Lamasus. Sigma calls. Moving faster. Take the ground. Armor melts. Formation march. Ulrich's wrath on them. Well, valiant defeat, apparently. Let the wind of light blow at speed. Take the ground. We are ready. You may want to turn around through those bull centaur renders. Yeah. 
Well, you know. Okay. I don't see why we couldn't order resolve that, but okay. Fair enough. I think this army is pretty good at dealing with just like a little bit of trash. Because obviously this many steam tanks kills them pretty quick. But it, if you go up against two full stacks, it's a big problem. So I gotta be very careful about that. But yeah, we actually got a significant amount of recovery. This is why we don't need a warrior priest in the army, so that we can um, we get plenty of replenishment just by using magic. But it's important that we don't get smashed, or we're not be smashed at the end of the battle, because then we go into a fight and then we can't order resolve. But then again, if we order resolve, we get smashed in the. <laughs> so, just gotta figure it out. All right, that looks pretty good. Have you heard anything about the Glotkin? I have not heard of anything about the Glotkin. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what the leak was that I heard. I said I wasn't going to, but the Lord Tamokan, the FLC Lord Epidemius. That's what I've heard. As for the hero, heard nothing. Don't know. So, good. We got a fair bit of ranks up with these guys. And that's especially going to be helpful because his um, red line buff is really good for steam tanks. Now, that may have prevented us from getting to the gallows tree this turn. Yeah, it did. But I can go into this dance, and at least there's some winds of magic generating here, which is always nice. Hey, Skaven Dad, how's it going, dude? Zerathu subscribed with Prime. Thanks, do appreciate that. We'll keep that up. We might even hit 600 subscribers today. Or next time. <laughs> Whatever. It's all good. Even if we don't. I appreciate you. Seek out the heretics. Alright, I think we're at the end of the turn. Let's do some construction first. And it's Elspeth for the Empire? That's what I think, yeah. I haven't heard any concrete rumors about that. I don't know who else it would be. Because if you're going to have Tamrokan, it makes sense. Like, um, Richard Aldridge is someone that we can rely on 99% of the time, right? And he's going to try to make DLC that's thematic. Because that does really well. Like, Warden and Paunch was a really good DLC. And it was thematic because you've got two characters who, in the lore, fought each other. And Elspeth is... Okay, so Tamrokan has his journey starting at... Um, so I imagine Tamrokan is going to be like the key part of the uh, the storyline. But his his role was to go from the plains of Zanbaijin all the way down here. Where he crossed into the plains of Asgore. And encountered Drazawath the Ashen. They fought for a little bit and then they actually teamed up. So then he had Chaos Dwarf Machineries and they... Rampage through here, they went up through Blackfire Past, and then they eventually ended up in Nuln. Now, Nuln is where Elspeth lives. She's not the elect account of Wissenland, but she's like a, a noble or something. I'm not entirely sure, but she's there. That is where Tamrakan was defeated. Okay, we're at tier 5 with Karazza Karak, so more money would be good. Since this, okay, yeah, we don't need that anymore. Since this region has got good cash, I mean, we could go with this one. Give us 8% extra income. Since I already got all the other good stuff. Just because it's got gemstones here. Which are worth 600, yeah. Same amount as gold, plus resources. Don't usually build it because it's usually pretty negligible, but I could use some more cash. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm a bit poor. <laughs> Good. 
Rogami check. Yeah, I usually do that at the end of the turn, but we'll do that now. Yep, all good for Rogamis. Alright, check diplomacy, see if there's anything interesting. The over tyrant. Greece just really wants out of this war. But the problem with that is that he'll just attack Ostermark. So unless until he pieces out with Ostermark, I cannot Greetings peace out with him. I command here. Yeah, there's an army around over here that I just don't know where it is. I feel, I feel like he went into ambush stance. He's probably still just standing right there and in ambush stance. But I don't remember this one being here, so I feel like he made it back over here and went into ambush stance. I just, I just don't know where he went. I just don't know. They will be judged. That's why we need so much intel. Find out where they are. And also, which hunters help pull them out of ambush stance? Who calls? Only the great if this guy goes anywhere within this area here whilst in force march, I should be able to catch him. Alright, let's go through our list, see what needs to be done. Is there any settlements that need to be... Okay, wait, hang on, we haven't done this yet. Alright, we should capture the Great Hall of Greasus, I think. Is it time? Yes, yeah, you go in there. Huntsman General! Battle positions! Sigmarite Arch Lecter! Sell the Moorgate. Approach and make your offer. That I make no promises to my ascent. Oh, that's worth so much. Do they have any settlements I might want to keep? Like Sudenberg? Do I want to keep Sudenberg? Maybe. Let's see if we can swap for Sudenberg. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I don't actually border Sudenberg. Wait. Or maybe I do. I'd have to get Bagar first. No, you know what? Don't. It's still. Zinch is still close in this area. I'd rather not border him. As you say, sir. It's just not worth it. Okay, now I haven't finished that battle over here. Time to fight! All or nothing! Good, no casualties this for us. This is ours now! I trust no man. So this guy here is helping to slow down the Tan the Black's advance on us. Because, yeah, he's been chasing after my armies for ages now, but he can't capture these territories because he's not at war with Ostermark. And so that's just been good for capturing his territory and ha having him completely unable to do anything about it. If we have a look at his strength ranking, he's started to replace a fair few of his units, but he's nowhere near as strong as he used to be. He used to be stronger than us. If we have a look over here with them, they're not faring so well. But at least she's starting to like us a bit more now. Uh, the gifts given to Ostermark, yeah. But what is going on with that? So, if we have a look at Ostermark, why she likes Ostermark? Why on earth does she give me shit about this? We're natural allies. <laughs> Just. I don't understand. Honored How dare serve. you give gifts to a faction that I like and is not at war with me. And we have the same enemies. How dare you. Alright, so let's move some heroes around. Let's see. They will be judged. Open gates. Okay, you're almost immortal. That's good. You Tools get over here. Ready. Show me the accused. Show me the accused. I accuse. It's okay. It happens. The nation calls. Yes. 
We're almost there. I think we'll actually revive Marcus Wolfheart today. I think that'll happen. My biggest concern is actually over here. I just don't think they'll be able to reach me here this turn. I just need to make sure that over the end turn, Greasers doesn't fucking tell me, ask for me for a peace treaty, and then just sneak one of their movements in without me being able to see it. That's why I bloody watch these end turns. Yes. All right, let's move on. Check. Is there any army that I may have forgotten to... Yes. Let me just go through this list one more time. I just... Now that I'm juggling a lot more armies, I keep thinking that maybe I'm going to forget to move one and one of them might be in a bad position if I don't move them. I know it can be slowing down the progress, but it's really hard to remember what you're doing with all of these armies all the time. Because I remember in my No Defeat campaign for Warhammer 2, remember how there was a battle where I was supposed to send out some forces to go and attack Malekith, but I forgot to do it, and he ended up attacking a settlement, which we won, but it was really friggin' dicey, and all because I forgot. That's what happens around this stage in the campaign when you're juggling this many armies. And that's why you need to go through the list, so you, you don't have to remember. Okay, we're fine. We go. Have you considered running the Recruit Defeated Legendary Lord mod stock? Uh, no. Like, that's a good mod, but no. That changes gameplay quite significantly. It's a good mod, though. What's my strongest army? Um, I think Volkmar the Grimm's army is my strongest. But the one that's seen the most action is Karl Franz's army. Now, you might think, but what? Oh, hang on, here we go. Yeah, it was there, and it's friggin' Greases. I knew there was an army in Force March. Okay. I think we should fight this manually. Because I don't want to lose a unit. It's too hard to replace them globally. going to level up the characters. Most of the characters have gotten all their effective skills. It's just like blue line shit to put into it. And I get that it's annoying seeing those yellow arrows. You just need to learn to get over it. Unfortunately, with a lot of the Empire characters, once they've reached level 20, there is absolutely no point in putting any more skills into anything else. Alright, so here's what I'm thinking. It'll be three minutes until these guys show up. I want to try to destroy Greasus' army before that happens. Not not before they're going to show up, but like... I don't want to get... I don't want there to be 40 units on the battlefield here. We're also in encamp stance, so we've got extra melee defense. But I also think that the order resolve was being pretty generous. Alright. Let's go. Now, Greasus is anti-large, or anti-infantry. Mm. At the very least, we need to take out some of these units early. Carl French should be able to beat Greasus. Let's try to smash them up over here, on the higher ground. So 
Mournfang Cavalry. We should be able to handle that easily enough. Bit of a blob is starting to form, that's not necessarily a bad thing. The ogre units are actually not that great in this sort of situation. Because we got loads of area effect buffs. And this spell here will still do some damage to them. Okay, you've also got this to use. I'm gonna pop down this because it'll still do a fair bit of damage. Okay, I need Carl Franz to take on the Stonehorn. Yeah, we're we're beating them there. These guys are coming in in a minute. Okay. This guy here is suffering a little bit. Let's move him out of there. Good thing all of our guys have anti-large. Ready for war! Sigma! By This is going really well, I think. Like, I don't think we're ever going to walk out of this with no damage. How's Greasus? Greasus is actually getting quite a few kills in. I need to get Carl Franz to take that out next. Heal my guys wherever I can. Yes. That's not particularly useful here. We await your orders. Okay, conference took that out. Alright, take out Greasers now. These guys are arriving, but by the time they get here, it should be over. Good. Cycle charging is difficult against monsters, which is why I'm not doing it. We're going to stay in prolonged combat. And just, just smash them. What are we doing? Greasus is going down. I think Greasus actually got a lot of kills. He actually took out a full unit of Reichsguard. But he's going down. His army is obliterated. Come on, a couple more hits. We got it. Drop his stats way down. Ready to smite. All right, Greasus is gone. All right, taking a bit of damage, but we're never going to walk out of it without taking any. The Carl Franz is in good shape. Now, scrap launchers are single entities. Cavalry is not great against single entities. They need to get over there and start smashing them immediately. Now, the rest of these guys need a chance to take a bit of a break. They're going to be a bit tired. So move back here and we'll try to heal them as much as we can. If these guys want to move up ahead, they were surprisingly good against the stone horns, actually. Hang on, you come back over here. Let's get a dwellers below into this big blob. Not like Noblars are particularly dangerous, but just looks good to get lots of kills. Get out of this blobby formation. Ready for war. 
Oh, that's right. There's also the lead belchers. We gotta be careful about those. Come on, come on. This map is small. Prepare for combat! Battle and blood await! The Empire! At once! Now! Let the wind of life blow! Yeah, we can fight these guys, just get back a bit first. We'll do is we'll pin them down with this so they don't run out of the way. Looks like we are trading really well against these stone horns. We need to get back over there, give him more heals. Alright, good. They're off the battlefield. Didn't kill any of them, but at least we're off the battlefield. One kill there. No kills on this one. That is a very high tier unit that's just proven themselves to be ineffective against Reichsguard. I know they're exhausted though. Oh shit, we've army lost them. Shit, get over there and run them down. I know they're on force march, but they're not going to get wiped out just because we army lost them. That is way better of a result than what Order Resolve are going to yield. However, in Order Resolve, we would have wiped them all out. But at least none of my units got wiped out. But That way it worked out really... This army has impressed me every single time it's fought. Yeah, there's a few gorges that need to be taken out. Get that one. Oh, they're still working on this. My subjects call. Watch. Reichsguard. Sigma calls. This worked out very nicely. Is that means on force march? It doesn't get wiped out. It won't get wiped out. Yeah, so there's a weird rule change that happened with um, Warhammer 3. If you're on Force March but you're the attacker, you don't get wiped out. You only get wiped out if you're the defender. I don't know why they changed that. Maybe because the AI is constantly in this position and so they wanted to give them a bit of a break on getting their army wiped out constantly. Don't know. But I flagged this with them in early access of Warhammer 3. And they never changed it, so it's clearly intentional. Is Elspeth confirmed? Heard you mention a couple of times. Nothing is confirmed at this stage. The only thing we know is that it's Empire Dwarfs and Nurgle. That's the only thing that's confirmed. What I have are leaks. Okay, leaks are to be taken with a pinch of salt. They're not. They're not confirmed. Definite. Could be wrong. 
I think it's Elspeth. Elspeth, because it makes sense, but that doesn't mean that's what it's going to be. Could be friggin' Marius Leetdorf. Who knows? How can you attack on Force March? If another army is... Sorry, if they're coming in as reinforcements, which is what the case here. Greasus attacked. He's not on Force March. But the other army was on... This army here is on Force March. Now, watch as it doesn't get wiped out. So this one here was on Force March. Watch as it doesn't get wiped out. Yeah? Or maybe they actually went out of Force March. I don't know. But that was a really good victory for us, because that took out essentially two armies out of play. Because that's what Karl Franz was mainly trying to do, is just hunting down enemy armies. Because they were smashing up Oster Mark, I couldn't let that happen anymore. Jared Go did a $2 super chat. What is the best lord for first time playing ogres? I'd say Scrag. Thanks super chat, appreciate it. Wasn't it like that in the other Warhammer games as well? No. If you're on Force March in Warhammer 1 or 2... No, I think it's only Warhammer 2. If you're in Force March in Warhammer 2, and you lost a battle, whether you were reinforcing, whether you were attacking or defending, you would always get wiped out. Jason Eh did a $2 super chat. Marius Leekdorf? No, I don't think it's Marius Le Leekdorf. Leekdorf. I don't think it's him. I don't think it's Toddy. It could be. Could be Toddy. I don't think Boris Toddbringer should be paid DLC, though. I think it should be FLC. I think they should just fix him up. Can an Attain and Avalon return? They can, but it's not really advantageous for us to bring them back. Are you using any exploits in this campaign? I mean... It depends what you determine to be an exploits. I'm not using the movement bug, but I am getting the AI to break treaties. I didn't really consider that. What's this? Ah, uh, yeah. VMK did a ten dollar super chat, but disappointed that Cathay Gatemaster doesn't provide replenishment to the army. Are you planning to cover the Cathay anytime soon? Well, as I've said before, what I like to do is just focus on what I'm currently doing and worry about future plans another time. I, I get that some people want me to cover the new the new stuff, um, but I really don't have any plans at this stage, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to cover it. Another thing is that I'm not Creative Assembly's marketing bitch. I'm not just going to market their products anymore. If I don't want to cover it, I'm not going to cover it. You did use the movement bug? Oh, yeah, but that's not the real movement bug. That's just the, the minor movement bug. Okay, I'm not using the real one. <laughs> Sid Jerry. Uh, subscribe with uh, Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Friends of the Empire, come. No. I'm surprised Thanquil hasn't arrived yet. Best Gaven from the core. Uh, he could be the 100th Legendary Lord. Do you consider a Shogun 2 campaign? No, look, I was thinking about a Shogun 2 campaign, but given, like, I did, a, I, did I, I basically gauged interest, and I know that a live stream campaign would, for one thing, not be very interesting, because of the way that I play Shogun 2. Uh, pretty much turtle at the beginning of a campaign. Um, and also, I just, I don't think it would be good for the channel to cover it. I, I don't think that Shogun 2 makes good live streams. I haven't seen even any evidence to suggest that it would. I think that Shogun 2 has really good late game battles. 
But as for doing a whole live stream campaign, mm -mm. there's no evidence to suggest that that's worth doing. Also, interest in Shogun 2 has dropped off significantly. So the last two Shogun 2 videos that I did both performed really badly. Really, really badly. Which is unfortunate because I do want to keep covering Shogun 2, but I, I don't know if I can. Unfortunately, most of the disasters that get sent here for Shogun 2 are pretty much the same. Hey, look, I have two armies besieging my settlement. They're like 99% just settlement sieges, and people get sick of that. Voice of Treason chucked in five tier one subs to the Legend of Total Wars community. They've gifted a total of 15 into the channel now. Thanks, dude. That's really generous of you to give 15. Appreciate that. That got us to 551 subs. Maybe just live stream Shogun from like turn 100. I was thinking about that as well, but uh, I just don't know. There's just I don't think there is any way that well, a Shogun 2 watched. live stream is going to match a Warhammer 3 live stream. I just don't think it's possible. So like, if I want to play Shogun 2, I'll just play it in my own time. I just don't think I can make it work. It would be bad for the channel. There were Shogun 2 streams recently? No, but I gauge it based on like the, the video performances, how longer videos perform compared to shorter ones. It's not good. Um, I'm not fighting humans, so that's fine. Yeah, this is what'll happen if I do anything to the Shogun 2. I'll get about 500 concurrent viewers, and it'll drop off really quickly. I just... It's not even worth even attempting it. Unfortunately. This guy disciplined. Uh. Oh, I'm about to leave. <laughs> there is power within prayer. Sigma heals. Got one more turn. Um. Okay. Well, why don't you stay out on the water then? I didn't even think about that. Let us forge our faith. I should have had him sit him out in the water. We actually gain a positive trait for that. It's good to see these guys on their way up. So what's going on? Why are they I'm not attacking? Listening, but my time is short. Ostermark. I mean, that's good. I don't want them to. But what's going on here? Maybe they feel like they can't win. Their army is too badly beat up. Speak. You summon me. What? Why is this guy having such low chances? Oh, because they've probably got defenses here that's reducing it. Yeah, there it is. Enemy hero reduced chance. Because this guy is only level eight. Yeah. Okay. I am ready. Are you? I shall be victorious. That's a problem. Three allouch. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All the primes would love to see it. Oh, hey, Infernio. How's it going, dude? Yeah, so many primes. 
It's been heaps. Other tier ones as well. We're at 553 subscribers on Twitch now. How about Rome 2? Well, okay, so here's the thing about Rome 2. I hate that game. I don't think people want me to play it. I hate that game. <laughs> I don't want to play it. So look, how about instead of trying to figure out what other games I should play, why don't we just appreciate what we're currently playing? But I'm never going to live stream Rome 2. I can promise you that much. I hate Rome 2. I think it's utter garbage. And it's totally cool if you like Rome 2. That is totally fine. We can still be friends. Did you know that? It is totally okay for us to not have the same opinions and tastes on the, on different games, on same games. It is totally fine. But I personally fucking hate Rome 2. I can promise you right now, I am never covering Rome 2 on a live stream. Again, that is. Um, Mage Tiger Michael, subscribe with Prime, and Scott Boy 3976 subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude, appreciate that. I'll go around with guilt and pop down some bombs. Actually, you should come around with... Yeah. The only reason I'm fighting this manually is because I reckon Auto Resolve was going to do some serious damage and we get no replenishment out here. Alright, let's start bringing in this. Do you expect Norn Ironside in Thrones? I don't know what that is, sorry. You gotta remember, I, I don't really... I'm not a lore guy. I don't play tabletop. So... I don't know about a unit until it's actually in the game. I thought they would take a bit more damage to the spawn of Nurgle, but I guess they just don't have that much armor piercing. I did take them off fire at will. Shouldn't take too much longer. Especially if they crowd around, I can just do this. I think that's better than what Auto Resolve would have yielded. Well, because we end up in perfect shape. It wasn't too long. Oh, yeah. We basically used the exploit to get um, the heroes. I guess we didn't do that. Uh, Dallin Moore, subscribe with Prime. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Haram Boy, subscribe at Tier 1. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Rome 2 is so shit, even Divider and Peril couldn't make it genuinely enjoyable. Like, okay, I'd rather get off the conversation about Rome 2, but let me just make this quick statement about it, and then no more conversation about Rome 2, because it, it gets people really upset. Okay, Rome 2 is a game that divides the entire Total War community, right? Some people love Rome 2, and it's their favorite Total War game, and that is totally fine. And some people don't like Rome 2, and wouldn't touch it with a 10-foot pole. And you know what? That is fine as well. So you know what? Play whichever game that you enjoy, and don't try to force it on other people. That's all you have to know. 
there is no point discussing it any further because nothing that you say in this chat here is going to make me convinced to try out Rome 2 again. And nothing that I say is going to make you dislike Rome 2. So it's a pointless conversation. It's red territory, so I can't do that. So let's just let's just move on and talk about something else because Rome Two is kind of what I would call off topic now. No more conversation about Rome Two. <laughs> Don't want to talk about it. Beta Sigma. Look, Zinch, I think you weren't at war. That's a different zinch. It's deceivers. Deceiver. Did we end up discovering a thing there? I don't know if it is there. We won't know it. We won't know for sure unless we get quite a lot of witch hunters. The nation calls. It may or may not be there. Will be we'll try Drakenhof. Seek out the heretics and see I if they're there. No Tools of judgment ready. Because, yeah, the, if there's going to be a cult, it, you know what, it might be at Vertbad. I feel like I would have destroyed it if it was at Vertbad. Do you know of the last epoch? I don't, sorry. Do you think we will get any new factions on those empty places south of Cathay? Um, I think it's possible, but I don't think it's guaranteed. I haven't heard any rumors about it at this stage. Alright, which way did Tools they go? Judgment ready. Oh, they must have gone the other way. On march! Cause yeah, I blocked it. It couldn't have gone that far. Um, where's my other dude? Here. They will be judged. Oh, hang on. No. Zatan no jumped over us. here, so he's actually going a different direction. That's interesting. Show me the accused. We should no see how developed these camps are. It's got to be somewhat if they're able to recruit Stonehorns. So let's put a stop to this. Combat awaits. Legend streams are ninety percent legend pointing viewers in their place. Love it. This is what well, we train for. Well, okay. On that note, I I do it. I try to take Ready control of the serve. chat because otherwise it gets out of control. Have you seen? Have you been in one of these live streams where I don't do it and things get out of control? It's a fucking shit show. Into the fray. People are fighting each other, and then do you know what ends up happening? I get emails from viewers saying how much they hate me because of what was said in the chat. <laughs> so it's like I have to take control of it. What's going on here? I was worried there's going to be a crash, but now we're good. All or nothing. Very strong. Flame for the empire. Yeah. All I all I want is for everyone to enjoy themselves. That's what I want. I'm not here to project, you know, my own opinions. I don't care if you don't agree with them. I just, you know, yes. it's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to play the game and entertain people. That's all I want to do. And if something's going to get in the way of that, then I'll put a stop to it straight away. Because I don't have time for I bullshit. Right Alright, so if I, if I fight this guy here, then I'm not going to have enough movement to get to Darkhold. So what I'll do is... Uh, I need to keep an eye on this. I'll send you to block this army. What have you to say? So it's likely recruiting from Crookback Mountain, but I need to get rid of um, Dark Holes over here. Seek out the heretics. Tools of judgment ready. By the comet.
Did you receive my email and how much I love your chat? I've literally never had an email saying how much people love my chat. <laughs> I see no other option. Oh, I thought I might be able to reach it there. Yeah, I need to stay in this mode here so I can get the plenty. I'll definitely reach it next turn though. Thing is, yeah, he is he is running out of armies. Sell Great Hall of Greasus. Thank you, dude. You are correct. You it's not under any threat. Oh, no, selling it to you. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here with a sheathed blade? As you say, I thought sir. I could just get ten grand from Ostermark every single turn. That is just really nice. Here to serve. No camp for you. What orders? Who calls? Summon the Elector Counts. Ignorite Arch Lector. Let us begin. Alright. Okay, the Eastern stuff's done. Then over here. Blessings yeah, Volkmar got hit in Force March. He'd be fine. Less I'm a bit more concerned about this one, so I just gotta I trust make sure no we've almost arrived at the Temple of Kara. By the comet. Elbrick's not gonna declare war on me. He's my ally. All right. So somebody was saying before, why not just spend loads of money and make and make him go to war with Malekith? Well, it's now hundred and eleven thousand, so it has changed. <laughs> Still, you can afford it, legend. Considers me his main threat. It seems like main threat allows you to get people to join war easier. Hundred and seventeen thousand. He's got such a long way to go, I'm not sure if he would even get going. He's he doesn't have any other enemies. I have a feeling this is gonna backfire on me. I'm not gonna trade with him. I'm I am gonna do this because I've got the money. I'm making good cash. But I better see his armies in Ulthwan in the next 10 turns. Okay. Not worth it. I don't think it's worth it either. But this will shut all you people up that's like, Oh, he's just Mr. Krabs. Would Mr. Krabs do this? Okay, that was a very non-Mr. Krabs decision. Show me the accused. Yes. Now. Yeah, Clan Angrand has taken pretty good control over here, which is forcing them to forcing them to come back this way. That's good. I trust no man. Open gates. All right, this guy is now immortal. He's our Seek highest, one heavens. of our highest level dudes. Yeah, he's just on auto there. What is this foolishness? They will be judged. Die. Good. It shall be done. You are judged. Good. Just wherever possible, kill their heroes. Show me the accused. Look at this. Bloody naval invasion coming here. Okay, and we got our fire wizard arriving over here, and My you arriving bound. over here. 
All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I trust no man. It's all looking pretty good. Things are improving with Katarin. She may actually re-establish that alliance. Your if we have a look here. No yeah, they're not getting over that anytime soon. For the wisdom of Valea. She's gonna get over the treaties with um with them, but they're not gonna get over it. But it also seems as though he doesn't want to throne. declare war on her, so that's probably good. Things are stable at least. Just keep that going the way it is. Alright, let's check out... I kind of wish I could uh, put these in, like, control groups, in, like, army groups. Because you end up with so many armies, and it'd just be good to, like, put a group of, like, f those four that are in the north. Be like, this is my garrison army, and that way I can just click on the army group and just see what's going on over there. So yeah, we've got 16 armies. That being said, when we clear up a bit more of Greece, I'll probably disband a few. And that'll make it easier to manage this stuff. Because this is the most boring part of the campaign, going through the bloody lists. This is basically me making sure I'm not making a massive mistake. Do you think you'll eventually give Cathay another tryout on the new Legendary Lord Hero tech tree? Oh yeah, for sure. I'm definitely going to play Cathay again. I just It's a matter of when, not if. My life. The Warden of Tor Ivres. Yeah, I'm happy Let to re-establish things with him. I mean, the only reason I cancelled the alliance was because it, it was a way to get out of war with Marathi. So I'm happy to, to get that going. I don't want to trade with Itza. I, I do want the a defensive Phoenix alliance King with these guys. If you wish. Sorcery. You... The over tyrant. Now, I just realized that what Zinch could do is actually declare war on these guys here to drag me into that war. And that way, he wouldn't end up going to war with... with them. Could do that. Because Zinch is aware of this faction, whereas everyone else he wasn't aware of. Yeah, he made... I reckon... What? Zinchy's stuff is so bloody weird. Is my character back yet? Yeah, here he is. Show me the he got wounded a while back. They will right, be there's judged. a hero that just came back here. This guy here is my highest level one. No heretics will get in my way. We just want him to level up as much as possible. Yes. Just put your points now. wherever you want. You've got all the... Actually, no, you don't have all the important stuff yet. Should have given you... Oh, I think I know. This guy here, I think... Where did I get that from? Uh, this guy here, I think, um, I confederated. From Volkmar. Tools of judgment ready. Now. I will stop them. You summon me. Yes. Who calls? March on the witches. All right. That all seems fine. They would just do our construction and move on. We already checked the list for rogue armies, didn't we? Check it one last time, though. Growth is happening pretty good here. Oh, did we get the landmark at Itza? Oh, yes. That's one of my favorite landmarks. Casualty replenishment rate plus 5% is so good. Good. So, yeah, I should definitely... Try to endeavor to get Itza for myself, not to Marcus Wolfhard, because otherwise I might have trouble getting it off him. I find that landmark cities, or cities with landmarks, are worth way more than than just military buildings as well. Sorry about Kadatha. Yep, sorry about that. reason I'm leaving it as a ruin is because surrounded by 
potential enemies. It's not worth much. By doing this, I'm just holding on to the settlement. making Basically making sure that my allies don't have it. I'm being a bitch. I'm being a spiteful bitch. Now, if we want to level you up, damage walls is much higher chance. Okay, so check this one last time. Just in case we accidentally discovered a rogue army, which we didn't. Okay, and then let's move on. Is there any reason you're reviving Tretch Craven Tale? Okay, I just want to ask you a question. Do you think that I would deliberately revive Tretch Craven Tale? <laughs> I can promise you right now, I'm not trying to revive him. What happened there is that Ostermark is just having a revolt. I did not want to revive him. I will, as soon as he comes back, I will immediately go and put the smack down on Tretch. There is no way I want that fuckhead coming back. So yeah, most of the mountain of Morn now is now fully under control of Ostermark. That's good. I wish we... Ah, uh, he did go into ambush stance. That's how... Okay. Uh, they're, they're done chasing after me. They're like, fuck this. He just doesn't want to engage with us. He wants to go down there and fight Cathay, and that's fine by me. Defeat trait, maybe? No other reason. Uh, trying to get defeat traits in this kind of campaign is not a good idea. Unless it's a really good defeat trait. Like, Treacherous is okay but I don't need it. How many rogue armies have you encountered? Only about two or three. Not that many. But yeah, I do not want to revive Tretch Craven Tail. No thanks. You are not welcome in my court. What do you think Get the Regiment of Renown steam tank Friend and its ability? Foe. It was not Regiments of Renown. Oh, this is fine. Um, it's a Empire State Troop. It is fine. It's I think it's way too expensive, but it's fine. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to be at war with these guys. What do you think about the climate regions? I feel like their push plays in the same direction every campaign. Mm. I'm actually fine with the climate system. There's a few people that's like, they hate it and they just make it so that everything is green. And that's fine if you want to do that. Um, I don't have any problem with how the climate system works. I think it's a good idea. But I'm also not going to argue against people getting rid of it. I play however you want. Hi Legend, do you have any tips for finding the Skaven Beastmen? with factions that don't have access to encamp stance? Yeah, so that'll be... Dark Elves, they don't have encamp stance. Yeah, um, they really do need something in order to block... Yeah, um, basically you fight ambush stance with ambush stance, I guess, and you just have to do a lot of scouting. Because yeah, if you don't have ambush defense, what can you do? You don't have a encamp stance. So what you want to do, not necessarily try to ambush their armies, but hide your armies and wait for them to get in range of your attacks. Either that, or don't go to war with those factions. But yeah, sometimes some factions just don't have very good tools to deal with other factions, and you just need to find another way around it. With Clamant, I wish there was a way to make Clamant green for your faction over time. I'd be okay with that as a mechanic, for sure.
the real reason which hunters are vacation in Kislev is because trust snowman. Ah, oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> yeah, that's an actual good joke. See, why can't someone put a joke like that in the super chat, huh? It's always lame as fuck. It's all good. I missed the super chat, really? Okay. Aiden did a two dollar super chat. Which legendary lord buffs has Kyle got? Like which defeat traits? He's defeated Tretch, Greasus. I think he defeated Wurzag. I think he defeated Queek. He definitely defeated Vlad. Oh no, well, should I go have a look? Love from Indonesia, man. Alright, thanks, dude. Love back. Who's rank strength one? Yeah, Marathi is strength rank one because uh, well, Malakith was he's got more territory, but most of Malakith's army got wiped out. He did a failed invasion of Britonia. It didn't work, and now he's recovering from it. No, his unique trait. His unique trait reduces the upkeep cost of Reichsguard and gives us like t plus ten charge bonus. I think the only climate system that was truly bad was Weimar 1 because you literally, half the map you couldn't occupy at all. Yes, I totally agree with that. I actually use the Occupy Everywhere mod all the time when I played Weimar 1. You're totally correct about it. And that was actually one of the most downloaded mods at the time. And Creative Assembly looked at that and was like, okay, well obviously we need to do some something about that. This is weird. Yeah, okay. And that's why we're sending our defensive force to go and become an offensive force over here now. If we look at this, we should be okay to declare war. Yep, we can do that now. Now, when we do declare war, I don't want to drag anyone at war with them because I don't want them capturing the territory. I don't want them getting involved. Because lizard men are currently fighting against... Against the Cult of Pleasure. So, he's quite busy. The Empire. We're almost there. To the provinces. Pick up the pace. Mm. This will bolster the nation. Defender of the faith. Hey, look, money. Tools of judgment. <laughs> I love that Mr. Crab reference. I should have called myself Mr. Crab of Total War. I will People had another men. name for me for being a cheapskate, but I don't, I don't like Going that one anymore. <laughs> Let us forge our Sigma heals us. All right, this guy here is ready to roll. I could make another one. Yeah, because I get another 20, that's 62. Okay, why not? Uh, well, how about we just start recruiting? Because he was just sitting around there doing nothing for ages. Let us forge our faith. Don't have capacity for them yet. Scrooge McLegend? Yeah. Like, I get it. Even even my wife says I am stingy. I get it, I totally am. not waste my potential. I am the Supreme Patriarch. We should be fine, but yeah, I can't auto resolve that.
Okay. Oops. Like, it's even playing Empire music. Yeah, it's just not good in order resolve, this one. That's okay, I didn't make it to be an order resolve army. Instantly destroyed it. Did you see how they used the steam from the steam tank stuff straight away? What? 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 Why? 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 He can't reach. Why? Shoot. Get some tanks into the breaches. Killing him, getting them to stop casting spells on us, I think that'd be good. Start bringing in our steam tanks a little bit at a time. Start bringing them in. It's time for a bit of a heal. No shoddy contraptions here. Yeah, it's a bit of damage. So we want to make sure that if anyone comes over here, we're ready to shoot them. Bring in some more. Hit and that one should be dead. Yes, sir. This guy should be careful around here because he's got a lot of physical resistance, and of course the um, the great unclean ones are gonna smash him. Yeah, these guys here, they just can't just shout any damage. That's why I've always hated what flies. Like, we don't have very good melee defense, and these guys here have armor piercing, and look, they're just not doing much. Keep 
<laughs> uh, I saw that hit the back of its head. I wish I was in closer when that happened. That just bounced. It's going down. Alright, those are gone. Good, they didn't do much. That's what you want to see. Alright, we should be okay to start advancing here since they're not really pushing in too deep. play Zinch after the melee updates. Uh, I'm, I have no plans on playing Zinch with the new changes. There, there's nothing in Zinch that interests me. I might have a look at it in my own time, but I have no intention currently of playing another Zinch campaign. I'll be playing Cathay and Kislev well before I play Zinch. Alright, we've got towers we need to take out. That physical resistance actually is not very helpful here because of all the demons. How many valuable units does Champions of Chaos DLC actually add to the faction like Horde? Oh. None? Kind of? Champions of Chaos for me is really about mechanics, not about units. It just adds shitloads of the same unit of, of like melee infantry. Um, but. Every person's gonna have a different thing that they call valuable, but I would say. Champions of Chaos was not great for adding units because the only true new unit in Champions of Chaos was the War Shrine, and I don't think the War Shrine is a great unit. Magical attack, so we've got a fair bit of resistance against him. With that, you don't have access to any marked units. Marked heroes, yeah. So, look. Yeah. Look, I'm not saying that, that Chance Champions of Chaos was a bad DLC. I say it's a great DLC. Okay? <laughs> I don't people get upset with me. Um, I just don't think it adds much in, in the way of units. Not really. Depends on which way. Like, it's a really confusing DLC, that one. Oh, 
Let us our reckoning! Is that engineer with a graduated crew? I thought you had that weapon. Normally I do, but I've already got loads of long range stuff. So the reason why I went with Grudge Raker is because it's got flash bomb in it for this one. So normally, normally you'd be right. But in this particular case, I respect him this way. It also gives him a lot more melee defense. Because I don't rely on him to dish out long range damage since everything here is long range damage. Speed that up a bit. This is so far looking pretty good. No serious damage being done. We've still got heaps of winds of magic. Nice. Alright, let's start advancing a bit more. I notice you never walk your units, only sprint. Does fatigue not matter, or is it just in the interest of time? Okay, fatigue definitely does matter, but in terms of how fatigue is calculated, in terms of um, how it goes up and down, um, running actually doesn't reduce fatigue by that much. Combat, it's like, if you, if you um, let's just say, if f sprinting caused one fatigue per second, being in melee combat or shooting is like 10 fatigue per second. And since running will oftentimes yield way better tactical advantage, there's just not really much advantage to just slowly moseying up your army, just so that your army isn't, um, whoops. Like, let's just say you ran your infantry units from, from here to here. They would, at the worst, be winded. That's it. That's at the worst case scenario. There we go. We won. And this is not that big of a deal. But after all, what I find is better is sprinting, and then if I'm not in combat, I will take a moment to take a, a break before I go back into combat. So fatigue is definitely important, but I just don't think running. Uh, people are usually pretty pretty fit in this, I guess that's what I put it. Flash bomb is a skill that the engineer has no matter what path you choose. Oh, okay. But the stats are pretty good with the shotgun time. Yeah, I think that's why I went with it. Yeah, you're probably right. So I think I think it's the um, the the chaos dwarf one where they get only get the flash bomb if they go down the the short range line. That's I guess that's what I was thinking of. What do you think about the grudge mechanic for the dwarf? It's okay. It's more punishing than beneficial in many cases, but it can also be a problem when mine like let's just say. A faction raids your region, and then a grudge is formed, and then that character runs off to the other side of the map, and you just can't fucking find them. And you'll have a grudge formed, and that grudge will so slowly get more and more intense over time, and eventually it becomes so intense that it might be the only grudge that you have, and it fills up your entire bar as if it's like you're seething with anger over the one turn, this one fucking vampire or whatever, raided your region for 42 gold and for some reason it's causing your entire society co to collapse that's a problem that's a balancing issue i think that the idea behind the grudges though is good another thing as well in terms of fatigue is that units that have gold amount of experience so seven eight or nine it doesn't say this but they actually have fatigue resistance when running so you can actually see if you have a no experience running alongside like same type of unit alongside one with seven experience and you just keep sprinting eventually 
the one with experience will easily outrun the other one. So when you've got loads of experienced units, just run everywhere because they're fit. Very lore accurate? Yes, very lore accurate, but it's gameplay. It's a problem for gameplay. That's what I'm saying. Surely an agreement will be reached. I, I in my opinion, gameplay should be more important than lore, and I get that lore people will say, no, lore should be more important than gameplay. No, it doesn't matter if you get the lore wrong if people don't want to play it. Uh, it's called the gallows tree. Oh, T. T, T, T. There it, there it is. On it! Alright. Seek out the Alright, now we have to head back. Tools It'd be good if we keep this one pinned down. Report. Ah, okay. Ah, I am the supreme picture. No point building anything, it just takes them too long to do it. But that's all looking good. So these guys here, if they go and occupy, say, this settlement, I'll just go and take it back back off them. They're taking they're not taking attrition though. Oh, because they're in raid stands. Cool. Alright, let's see now. What else do we have we moved with Carl Franz? No. Bring me to my men. So this army Tools over here. Try ready. to slow it down. So yeah, they got little bits and pieces around oh, here now. That's Maybe about it. They're desperately trying to rebuild their army. I am France. So there's they a camp over been. here, but uh plan scheme is discordant. I've got to go. Yes. Oh my god, I really want to actually capture some territory, but I do not want the Skaven to come back. So I need to come over here, Moving off. take out this Raise camp. That'll stop them from recruiting from it at least. I need to come over here and get rid of Clan Richters. The Empire. Right, I should be able to reach it next turn, even if they capture the settlement, should be fine. But yeah, I can't, I can't let Richter's come back. That's not acceptable. Seek out the heretic by the silver hammer. Overall, the war out here is going pretty well. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. I trust no man. So it looks like the Tan the Black went down this way. I keep blocking his armies though. What have you to say? Eh, if I can. Warrior of Sigma. Show me the accused. Hunt them out. Yes, a surefire plan. At some point, we're also gonna have to declare war on the pox makers of Nurgle. This would be really good territory for me to actually keep because it's it's kind of defensible. Especially if all of this is already under Ostermark's control, I get to keep this. That that should be good. And it's it's green territory as well. And this one here, income, growth, gemstones. That'd be good. I'm pretty sure I'm selling off all my gemstones. Yeah. So the only resource I don't have, gold idols, which I can only get from Sartosa, and I don't have exotic animals and and beer I can only get from Sartosa. But that's not important. If you were to fail the zero defeats campaign, would you start again or just give up? I just give up. I'm not doing it again. Huntsman General. Pick a different faction, basically. That's why we didn't redo the High Elf one. Force like, if I was to redo the High Elf one, Huntsers. I would have been a lot further along than this. In terms of territorial gains, just because it's a lot easier of a campaign. We're only going to get one shot at this. We have to succeed, or else this we fail. Is our city. Ours. Protector of the weak. Okay, make Greetings sure we give up Grim Top. The Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheathed blade? Right. Good. So yeah, we're, we're knocking Greases down, but I really feel like we need to fully eliminate him. He's just got territory all, all over the place though, but just bit at a time. Nibbles instead of biting off more than we can chew. Alright, we'll be arriving at the Temple of Kara. We definitely don't want to occupy it. What I want to be doing when we land here is going after Spectre. That's where we declare war, Spectre Zuma. I trust no man. Yeah. 
Yes, blessed is this action. All right. Who else needs to move? I don't. I think we're done. But let's just check. Praise be to Sigma. I serve the Heldenhammer, the champion of the faith. I serve the Heldenhammer. Defender of the faith. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. Be careful fighting in the haunted forest. No green skins left. This should be fine. But yes, you are right. I've learnt my lesson on that one. <laughs> Why do you think I've been so cautious in this entire campaign? Of the weak. Praise be to Sigma. Yeah, all good. All right, that's all my armies moved. Check for rogue armies. No rogue armies. Check construction. Bit to do here. It's good. Good, we can switch that one to that. Yeah. Still might have armies come over this way, so just defend as best we can. Actually, you know what, we're very low on capacity for import. And that allow us to recruit here as well. Okay, since these are going to tier 3, let's do that. Eventually, one day, we'll be capturing Barak Var and Doc Karaz. But when the time comes, we should have saved up enough growth to get it straight to tier 5. So, Karak Orad is not under any threat. Just go with growth, I suppose. Don't bother with that one. Don't bother with that one. Okay, good. Check diplomacy and let's move on. Have you ever played Crusader Kings 3 or other Paradox games? I've played quite a few Paradox games, but I've never played um, Crusader Kings 3. Oh my god. Why this turn? That could have saved me 100,000. Can you give it back? Get some of my money back. <laughs> I paid because it was minus 14 to go to war with... Um, with him, I could have just said, I'll give you a trade agreement. He gets to keep a hundred grand of my money. See, when we arrive here, he'll be like the, the second person we fight. But that being said, why don't we take this money and I'll just cancel this treaty later. Yeah. All right, let's do that then. I think I just waited one more fucking turn. But then did you have heaps of money? Who cares? Must face. I would have more than a million. I'm not a millionaire anymore. All right, we're done here. All right, last little check is for heroes. Just make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. They will be judged. So onwards. Next stop is actually the nation calls. Down here. Yep, that's all done. Then we check the Zinchian ones. At one. Oh, Fifty. My order agrees. Those gates will open. Yes. Show me the accused. Okay. And then there's the Dark Elf Theater over here. Yeah, look. The Dark Elves are clearly more concerned about Clan Angren now. And Clan Angren is actually recruiting armies here. That's actually green... Should be green territory for them. And if we have a look here, we can see that Clan Angren is on the move. This is really just a great situation that's happened here. Because, like... Clan Angrind is now going to basically draw out all of their attention. Sure. 
They will be judged. No heretics will get in my way. So what we're trying to do here with these guys is just Seek out the level heretics. them up wherever we can. No, no chance. Did we do an assassination? Yeah, we did an assassination last turn. Anyone else? Yeah, you got this one here. I trust no man. No heretics will get in oh. my way. Oh, we succeeded. Hmm. Okay. All right, moving on. I think we're all done here. Relations was going down before he declared war on Malachus. That's why it was fourteen. Yeah, you could be right. You'd be right, actually. There's no guarantee it would have been fourteen next turn. Is there any reason you upgrade the Cult of Sigma building to tier 5? Isn't it a waste of money? You know what? You're actually right. It is a waste of money. <laughs> I can afford it. You're right. It is actually a waste of money. I'm not getting much advantage from that. What it does do is if I ever need to recruit those heroes in the province, I'll be able to get them at higher rank. You know, on the off chance that that ends up happening. Did the Shadows of Change update not come out yet? I thought we were supposed to get Katarin stream today. Uh, I didn't say we were getting Katarin stream today. The the update hasn't happened yet. I was just asking whether or not when the when the update does come out, whether or not you'd prefer me to shelve the the Carl Franz campaign and start a Katarin campaign. Based on the past two days live streams. I think it is time to give this campaign a break as of not not to, not right now but as of next live stream will probably be Katarin's because the concurrent viewer numbers and just overall support has dropped by like 30 percent so that's a shame but you know we're in the later stages of the campaign uh master mirror subscribed at tier one thanks dude appreciate that demolish growth building at tier five settlement which settlement did i leave the the growth building. I didn't see which one it was. Break, not abandon. Yeah, just a break. We're not going to abandon it. Just a break. I think what's happening is that a lot of people are watching the VODs and they can't keep up because I've been live streaming it too much. So covering Katarin for a day or two will give those people a chance to catch up. Are you sure they're not moving over to Twitch? I don't think so. How many defeats? Five defeats, obviously. Did Legend Total War say he's not going to do Katarin today? No, I'm not going to do Katarin today, but the next live stream will probably be Katarin. And we'll take a break from this one. I think people are a little bit fatigued with this one at the moment. Anyway, we, when we did the poll, that's what people voted for, for the most part. It wasn't overwhelming, 
I definitely prefer when people overwhelmingly vote one way or another. Like, if I bring it up, I'll show you. So, we can see here. Hey guys, just want to know which you'd prefer of the two reg in regards to live streaming in the next few days. Continue the Carl Franz campaign or start Catering campaign and continue Carl Franz later. So 57% voted for that. And that's not overwhelming, but you know, that's the, I should take that into consideration. The thing to keep in mind right now is that the patch hasn't come through yet. That's why we haven't started the Catering campaign. Um, I don't want to start a live stream at like three o'clock in the morning. So, I'll do Carl Franz today, and maybe Katarin tomorrow, maybe, or maybe, it uh, depends. Maybe I need to be working on videos based on the Shadows of Change stuff, I don't know. Then we might, also, I shouldn't live stream every single day. If I do that, I'm going to burn out, just like I did last year. So, no, not last year, the year before. So, I should maybe take a break. Thomas Person... Did a 100 NOK super chat. Here you go, a little help hitting that 1 million. Well, in this game, sure. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate that. <laughs> Over 1k notification. I never check those notifications. It's just, it's just like this. It just says, like, this person has commented on this. this yeah, I just. I, there we go. I just refreshed it. It's all gone now. I never check those notifications. At what time is the update going to go live? I think it'll happen in about three and a half hours, roughly. Are you sure about Catherine? Maybe Castelton? Well, I just... I enjoy Catherine's campaign more than Castelton's, so that's why I picked that. And I think it's important, if you want me to livestream regularly, that I pick campaigns that I enjoy. If I pick campaigns I don't enjoy, then I will burn out and stop live streaming. So it's just it's about finding that right balance. What about Boris campaign? Again, I don't want to play Boris. I don't like Boris. I don't like his start position. Yeah, they come into occupy the settlement. Oh, they they got wiped out. Cool. I don't think if we fought that manually, that would have happened. But that's good. Imagine if Tora Lasso managed to... Oh, no, they're, they're getting wiped out here. <laughs> they're about to get kicked out of Ulth 1. Uh, Mother Astankia, I don't like her at all. I don't like Mother Astankia. I don't like her campaign mechanics. Nothing about her. I don't like her. She's powerful, but I don't enjoy it. Don't think it's fun. Don't like her start position. Don't like her Grom the Porch mechanic. And nothing about the DLC changes is going to bring me back to Astankia. Don't want to play her. Very powerful lord, very easy campaign. And I just don't want to touch it. Tools of judgment ready. Don't enjoy it. It was my, by far my least favorite of the Shadows of Change lords. Do not care about stanky fingers. True servant of Sigma. All right, that's all good there. Oh, look at that! They actually repelled the rebellion. Hmm. Summon the elector counts. Show me the accused. Report. What? Well, okay. All right. What I'm going to do is go into. Ambush stance. My right by no, I'm not. I'm going to channel my stance because no other option. losing magic out here. On march. Yeah, there was an army in here. Raise or sack an enemy. Why not occupy it? Sacking is just not efficient. Huntsman general. What do you think of Cathay as a race? Are they a fun race through the different stages of the campaign? I think they're okay. They're okay. They're sort of very vanilla. Let us begin. Seek out but the I heretics. think they're okay. 
Who calls? Uh, did anyone see where that army went? I know we Pick failed to base. block it. I think they went into ambush stance. Moving off. We'll take one turn of attrition here, and then I'll go into a camp stance. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here with a sheathed blade? Good. Right. Okay, no territory here. Good stuff. Huntsman General. I'm not at war with Nurgle yet. Who is he war with? Is he at war with? Ten regions. He's got a large military presence there. Large military presence over here as well. Very large. Like I said, I want to get rid of Greasus entirely before we start fighting new enemies. Scout leader! What? March on the witches! Okay, there they are. Alright, if they don't want to fight me anymore, that's fine. Let Meow Ying deal with it. Huntsman General! So maybe what we'll do is we'll take Nobly Gorge, then Quiang, then swing back around here to go to the Valley of Horns and Karak Krakatan. Huntsman General! Huntsman General! All or nothing! Any motivation for Lizardman these days? Um, it's not on my to-do list for a live stream, but I, I wouldn't say no to it. Uh, I play Lizardman campaign every now and again. Yeah, I like Liz Lizardman. I definitely would like them to fix up the, well, not fix up, but improve the geomantic web. It's just a bit boring. Archeon when? Archeon has a very high chance of defeating us. He's very good against the Empire due to us not having particularly good duelists. And even when you try to shoot him, he's just got too much ward save. I'm hoping that Katarin sorts him out. Every single time that he invades, Katarin smashes him. That's why I don't want to go to war with Katarin. If we have a look here, things are improved. Oh, it's getting way better. The Tsarina bids you welcome. Yeah, she's getting over the treaties with the um, orthodoxy and stuff. Is a no defeat campaign without selling settlements possible? Not counting horde factions? Yeah, it's definitely possible. It just takes way longer, that's all. So, the more restrictions you put on yourself, you can definitely manage it. But in this sort of situation here, what what, what I would have had to have done in order to do that is every single settlement that I have would needed to have had walls, and I would have had to have not fragmented at all. So I would have had to make sure every frontier was secure before we open up another frontier, and every single settlement would have needed walls, which would have made um, f less income. And what that would have done is just like I don't I. I'd only have like 20 regions at this point. It would just take fucking forever. You can definitely do it. So yeah, the more restrictions that you put on yourself, it usually just makes the campaign take longer. Alright, I'm gonna attack this, because I want gold. Pyrrhic victory? Since we're taking attrition out in the ocean... Oh, I thought I'd get an easy... Yeah, look, if I have too much damage, we'll not be able to um, recover that. I'll have to fight it manually. It won't take long. There's nothing in here that's dangerous. They're underestimating us. Looking forward to the update, Legend. Nothing in the update interests me. Also, Legend. That, okay, that's taking what I said out of context. I am looking forward to the update. But there's nothing about a stankier that interests me. That's what I said. Don't take what I said out of context. The update isn't bringing anything interesting for a stankier.
Why do you not have an alliance with Katarin? What happened? So, in the previous episode, I think it was a previous episode, I declared war on a rogue army and dragged her into it. However, she declined and it broke the alliance. Now, because Karat Kadrin is like one of my best friends, Karat Kadrin really hated the fact that Katarin did that. And then he broke all of his treaties with Katarin. And because Katarin then hates Ungrim, she then hated me by by extension. And so we just have this like connection trio of I hate you because of what you did to that person. <laughs> But ultimately, it's Katarin's fault. Get in there, everyone get in there. I'm getting better off no. the ground actually. They have a harder time hitting me due to the obstruction of the terrain. Alright. I have the power of, anim of murder Jesus on my side. I had a kind of this good. Battle awaits. Battle awaits. Sigmar's will. With haste. Uh, Shadow of Calamity did two dollars in chat. Driving 19 hours no. to IL. Thanks for the content. No worries, dude. My pleasure. Thank you for the super chat. Power of nature. Are you going to try to steal Thorax Ancestor Hero? I don't think Feel he gets that. I think that's the player only. So yeah, this army is proving to be pretty effective, I think. The thing is, these guys here don't actually get that many kills. But what they do is they just become very unkillable once that blob begins. My biggest concern is dealing with like characters that have absurdly high melee attack, like Archeon or some lizard, like Gorok. Just tuned in. Didn't you say last stream that Vampire Coast was extinct? This was a um, sea battle. This was like a um, an, a Skull Island. I did this for money. Legend. <laughs> Why did you do that? I like money. I like money. <laughs> See, I did it for I did it for the money. The instrument of Sigmar's will. I will cast out all Ew, as if you'd like money. True players are broke. A new trailer for Kingmaker just shown up. Might be a Total War competitor. Uh okay, I'm not gonna look at it. But okay. I mean, not right now. Alright, I think we're done with this turn. Alright, 
Did you know that buffs from Volkmar and Warrior Priest are different buffs so you can stack them? Yep, and that's why I did that. Protector of the weak. Your word is my command. You're gonna try to steal Ariel or Lord Croak? Well, I can't steal Ariel because she's dead. I'd have to bring back Talson, fuck that. Uh, Croak? I don't know where Croak is, so let's have a look and see where he is, and then I'll decide whether or not we can do that. I do have an alliance with Tic-Tac-Toe. Let me have a look. No, he doesn't have Croak. What about Last Defenders? No. I can't see what Itza is doing. Oh, what the fuck? He is just swapping settlements constantly. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Zinch's changing of the ways are such bullshit. Alright, we are arriving. So, by Sigma's right. Now, remember what I said. If we go and capture the, uh, take the settlement right now or we'll sack it, it doesn't do anything. Let us move. Ready. What we have to do is capture Monument of Visital first, then uh, give that to them. Actually, I may not have to give it to them. Spectre Zuma. All right, if I, if I capture Spectazuma first and I build an army there to defend it, worthy of Mordor, <laughs> maybe I don't have to give any of these territories over to them. Because it shouldn't take me too long to get that to revolt, thanks to Ready. all of this. Catalyst did a 10 arrow in Superjet. What historical faction would you port fit in Warhammer 3? Uh, Roman Empire. <laughs> thanks, Superjet. Yeah, I want a Rome too. I can actually enjoy. Uh, right, legendary. You said no more talk about Rome too. Awaiting orders. I serve Sigma. I think Zerkovich made a video where somebody put a mod and modded uh, Tilia to be the Roman Empire. Of Sigma. Looked a bit janky, but it's interesting and nothing else. Truth be, truth be told, I wouldn't put historical factions into Warhammer. Like, if I want to play a historical Total War game, I'll play a historical Total War game. I don't want to mix between historical and fantasy. Because that's what you get with Troy, and it's shit. Make a game that pleases everyone, but actually pleases no one. Fantastic. They will be judged. Seek out the heretics. All right, that all looks good. I trust no man. Good. It shall be done. I will not obey. Show me the accused. Okay, Shambletown. I should have sold that already. Surely an agreement will be reached. Yeah, because imagine if I don't sell one of these settlements and then it gets attacked by like one unit and I can't win. Indeed. Uh, Gerald subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Um, R. S. Lucas subscribe with Prime as well. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Fade Punk says the f you doing on Twitch. Well, giving it a shot, and it's so far proving to be pretty good. So far. So far, so far, so good. I mean, I'm a different person than I that I used to be. I, I, well, I've changed a lot in the past five years since I abandoned Twitch. There's something to know about me is I'm very quick to anger, but I'm also quick to forgive if people actually seek forgiveness. I don't hold grudges for ages. Unless they really deserve it. Which, in the case of Twitch, they didn't. Okay, that's all of that done. 
I still don't like Amazon. Like Jeff Bezos, I'm still not a fan. <laughs> what? My boss over bosses. Would you rather have no girls or no money? No girls plural? Yeah, I'll go with that option. <laughs> I, I'll just have one. Must face. Alright. So, no diplomacy needs to be done. We checked agent action. They will be judged by the silver hammer. Stop failing all the time. I need you to level up and be immortal. My order agrees. Like this guy. Die. Yeah, see, he succeeds. That's it. Just keep getting rid of anything that could be Show a problem for my allies here. Steampunk Willie subscribed with Prime and Legend Jerry subscribed with Tier One. Appreciate that, guys. Hey Legend, did you read the patch notes? Awesome change overall. What do you think? Um, patch notes. I didn't think there was huge changes in the patches. What are you talking about? It's awesome. I thought the patch notes was a big nothing burger, personally. Seems like they're just getting rid of some cool exploits and a bunch of balance changes that are kind of pointless for campaign. I think that. I think that the content seems good. For sure, but the patch notes pretty mediocre. I trust no man. Yeah, they've really got Zinch on the run down here. Capturing territory faster than <laughs> then Zinch can just steal it. Yes, for now. Those gates will open. Because this guy super high level now. Once he gets to rank 30, I'll be able to... Every bit, every time he gets experience, he'll distribute it to, to the other guys. The higher tier witch hunters I can get, the better. So... Alright, I think we are done with this turn. Also, not fixing the authority in Chaos Research Tree is fun. Yeah, I... That... I, I probably overreacted a little bit with that. But it's been bothering me for a really long time because I really like playing Warriors of Chaos and I've been aware of it for it's like it's like the grudge system, right? Where it's not that big of a deal on its own, but it goes on for such a long time that it's just like this gnawing thing that it's like screeches on what like scratches on chalkboard and just fix it for fuck's sake. No heretics will get in my way. Like Tools of judgment ready. Just, just, just gotta get in and fix the tags. That's it. It's not hard. I'm not like demanding a, a, another siege rework. Just, just fix the fucking tags. According to Lawmaster Sotek stream, Katarin's dragon is the strongest in the game. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll see. Yeah, well, whenever they introduce something, they usually try to make things um, overpowered at first, so people have fun with them, and then they nerf it later down the track. Uh, that's been a like a design philosophy for them, which I don't disagree with. It's called power creep, and then they try to dial it back a little bit over time. And uh, yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I think that's uh, that's fine. You know what? Maybe you should come over here and just make sure no armies are sneaking their way up this way. Because I don't have an army at the Silver Pinnacle. I don't, I don't want to build one there. The axe thirsts for war. Hmm. If I borrowed the... Oh, hang on. We still need to figure I out... I trust no man. I trust no man. You know, I reckon it's at work base. The nation calls. Seek out the heretics. They will be. So we're still trying to find that last little bit of tricks to cult. The accused. Tools of judgment. Because it's not obvious where it is at the moment. By the silver hammer, yes. Oh, there's a discipline which uh, thingy. Tools of judgment ready. Alright, so I got our guy here. I need to recruit him. Oh, I said I was going to recruit another army, didn't I? So yeah, you just stay there. Actually, no, no, no. You go on ahead. 
and I'll disband one of those other ones. Because disciplined is better than not disciplined. And that army's not commanded by Volkmar, so we need to make sure it's actually good. Kislevite warriors are basically tier 0 halberdiers. Awesome. So they're recruited from... Without a barracks. Yeah, that'll actually give you some reason to get them. That's good. That'll, that'll uh, reduce the amount of cost house spamming by a lot. Okay, that looks pretty good. Show me the accused. Hunt them out. Yeah, finding the last vestiges of the trickster cults can be a pain in the ass. Right, we're done here. Let's move on. Oh, I forgot to do that. There's always a couple of witch hunters with not particularly important roles yes, that I've forgotten to move. This action. Of There's just a natural thing that's going to happen when you've got this many of them. At this point of the campaign, isn't it almost beneficial that you have isolated Caddy? Chaos in the north is weak and Caddy territory could be fine to Ostland. Um, I would much prefer it if Katarin would actually eliminate... Um, Archeon first before I start fighting her. You got BBTV on Twitch enabled? I don't know what that is, sorry. <laughs> Did you demolish growth building at Karak Ziflin? Okay, so that's where it is. Yeah, I, I didn't know where it was. I, I didn't do that. In fact, I think I may have forgotten to construct things entirely that turn. He doesn't want to fight Cat Archeon. Yeah, I don't want to fight Archeon. Fuck that. Like, most of the territory north of Kislev is red territory, so why do I want to get it? How drastically do you suspect no defeats have slowed this campaign? Like, to an absolute crawl. Like, if I wasn't trying to do a no-defeat campaign, I would probably have conquered half, if not three-quarters of the world by now. Come on, dwarfs. Come on, dwarfs. You can do it. You can beat on two. Oh, Malekith is coming. I was written for the dwarves. It's a mod that makes Twitch like 20 times better with free animated emotes with a huge variety. 20 times better. Wow. Now I'll think about it. Uh, more variety in emotes. I don't get people's obsession with emotes. But, you know, we'll give the people what they want. Who is strongest, Dark Elves and Funniest? Who is strongest, Dark Elves and Funniest in Warhammer 3? Uh, the strongest Dark Elf faction is probably the Blessed Dread. Because of the Black Ark spam. And the starting location is quite rich. Funniest? I don't know. As in the most fun? Don't know. Everybody you ask will give you a different answer to that. I don't personally like playing Dark Elves, so I would say none of them. Yep, 
Really easy, you just Google BB BTTV and link your account. Okay, I will think about that for the next live stream. We'll, we'll see. Do you play any survival games? I love survival games. Um, so the first survival game I ever played was Ark Survival Evolved. I got mega addicted to it. Then I played Conan Exiles, got mega addicted to it. Uh, then I played Valheim, got mega addicted to it. And I'm currently playing Pal World, and I'm mega addicted to it. <laughs> There's a pattern. There's a pattern. Have I played Baldur's Gate 3 yet? No, I haven't played it. It is on my to-do list, but the thing is, it's not a survival game. I, it's like, it's a... I, I want to play Baldur's Gate 3, but primarily just because people keep asking me to play Baldur's Gate 3. The actual genre itself isn't really that appealing to me. Otherwise, I would have gotten it. Did you ever look at Nightingale? No. Did you do Ark PvP? I did. So yeah, I played on an official server. We had, I think it was official server 37. Back in April to June 2015, I think it was. No, like June to October maybe. Doesn't matter. For three months, I ran an alpha tribe. I definitely made mistakes while running it, for sure. Oh my god, it was like a full-time fucking job. Managing people. But yeah, they, we were nicknamed the Zerg on the, um... On the server. Anyone that wasn't in the tribe. Because basically, we would just... And we would enlist anyone. And that was part of the, what brought us down. Because we had many people who didn't get along with each other. And I spent so much time just trying to keep them separated. It was like a full-time friggin' job. Uh, but we did a fair bit of PvP. But eventually what brought us down was just... infighting. So much infighting. Oh my god. Any updates about Power World vids? About the content strike you got? Right, yeah, I've just forgotten to log back into the channel and release the videos. Um... Yeah, that's all. Because the like, thing to keep in mind about that channel is that it's just a hobby. I'll forget about it for months at a time because it's just... It has so little impact on my life. So, I just forget about it. Well, is there lots of tribe drama? Oh, yeah. Holy crap. So bad. Um... Like, I did my best to, to hold it all, all together for as long as possible, but it was just... It drove me insane. Because people used to just make baseless ac accusations against each other. This person stole my fucking dinosaur. This person raided my base and, told, and stole my, my medal or something like that. And I'd constantly have to investigate. Like, I'd, I'd log on for the day and just want to, like, breed stuff or just, just play the game, right? And... I'd get onto TeamSpeak, because this was before Discord, and I'd just be like, Legend, this person did that, this person did that, I'm gonna leave the tribe, I'm gonna leave the tribe! And I'd be like, no! I'll sort it out! <laughs> and eventually I was like, fuck yous all, just go! And there'd be this massive civil war, which we lost. Sigma watches over me. It is time. What does the Emperor bid? It is time. Indeed. Guild management is really a pain in the ass? Yeah, it was. Well, that's what brought us down. The nation calls. So, I really did enjoy... So, after doing that, I stopped playing official server, and now I just play, like, Ark or whatever with my wife or single player. So, we, we play our own servers, with not with massive friggin' tribes and PvP. You know, it's fine if you don't have a life, like if you don't have responsibilities. You know, now that I'm about to be a dad and that I've got responsibilities, there is no way in hell I can ever do ARC PvP. It is just not an option. It would be Why, so irresponsible for me yes. to attempt it. Because people who 
who are good at Arc PvP no life it. Like, day in, day out, 12 hours a day, they grind. They're just... They're just willing to put in that much time. I, I can't I can't compete with that. You'll never compete. Because you've got to be online all the time or else you get offline raided. Anyway, let's move on from that. Yeah, I had, a, I had a good time with Ark, but it ran its course. Yes, General. Similar thing with Conan Exiles, but nowhere near as long. Step to it. And then with Valheim, since it's cooperative, we never Champion even attempted that kind of crap. Faith. Wait, this is my... Yeah, that's the wrong one. I need this the one. Nation calls. Awaiting orders. What do you require? Yeah, I'd rather not have any of them be faster than any of the others. Fleet Foot is a good trait, for sure. But in this case here, I want them all to be the same speed. Direct me. Alright, so I want to go to Vert Bird. Moving off. And see yes. if the Trickster's Cult is there. Because it's definitely not in Flensburg. I got rid of that. It's definitely not Needling. I got rid of that one. Who calls? Is it not time? sure about Vertbad or even Averheim. Thing is, demolishing the... The Trickster Cult is actually not important at all. You could get a Nanny. So that I can arc PvP. What a great idea. So, we need you to look after our child because we are too busy playing a fucking video game competitively. I, I'm just I'm beyond that point. There's just, yeah, no, I'm not doing that. Moving off. <laughs> I can't think of anything uh, less that I want to do than that. Is my right Dad, crown. I paid the bed. Go away, I'm playing Ark. You know. <laughs> Dad, I'm hungry. There's some cereal right here. <laughs> What's for dinner? I don't know. I have to finish taming the Spinosaurus. Go away. Got nine more hours to go. Just put yourself to bed. Ulrich's will. I command here. Last night, there's some cereal right here. It's so raw. Hey, yeah, you know, you know what the reference was. You know. Approach and make oh, a that's cover. total. I, I don't know like to that. Don't talk shit about total. Uh, dark hole. There we go. Sigma's will. All right, good. We're actually back to giving some of this territory back to them because they just don't have armies to deal with us now. That's good. Do not test my will. The Empire, step to it. So yeah, I think I think that army ran off this way. I imagine that this no camp here has been here for a while. For the Emperor. Huntsman General! Tourette's guy nostalgia intensifies. Yeah, well, whenever I think of, like, a bad parent, I always think of Tourette's guy. <laughs> the nation calls. Stay together. More deliberation needed. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Right, what's that settlement what called? It is called blade. Nobly Gorge. Maybe swap it for Bagar. No, they still haven't captured Suntree Glade. Affirmative. Would you consider Malekith no defeat? It's almost certainly the hardest campaign right now. It's just stupid. No, because 
I don't want to play Malekith. As I've said before, I, I, I it's not about picking the hardest campaign ever. It's about picking something that's actually going to be fun. Like, I just don't like playing Dark Elves at all. I'm not happy with their implementation into Warhammer 3. You know. Speak. Summon the Elector Counts. They will be judged by the Comet. All right, that's looking pretty good there. And what's his face is definitely collapsing. Very well. Grease the skull too. Do not waste my potential. Follow me. Who calls? If that army's out here in ambush stance, I don't know where it is. Anyway, he should be able to defeat it quite easily if we are, especially if we're in camp stance. Okay, we've got to level up to distribute. I should probably have done that. Got five levels up. Definitely should have done that. So these guys now have 15% ward save and 8% missile resistance. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, uh, Legend of Door, would you ever consider doing a highlights or edited down version of the No Defeat campaign? Could get a lot of views. Um, no, not really. No, I don't think so. Um, I don't think it would get a lot of views. I, I imagine that most people who want to watch it have already watched it for the most part. And it would be a lot of work to edit that down. I've got to go find all the best spots. Uh, I think people underestimate just how much effort Ready. editing is. Onwards. And it would basically be a really poor return on investment for my time. And like, as I've said before, my time is quite so. limited. I don't want to make those kind of videos. Onwards. Uh, and I also don't want to hire an editor. And I totally get all the bloody reactions that people get. Oh, but you can totally afford it. Oh, but you can totally do this. I just don't want to, though. There's a big difference between being able to Show afford something accused. and just not wanting to do it at all. It's like, if I'm missing out on a bunch of views, that's cool. It's just not an area that I'm interested in capitalizing on. Open gates. Yes. Tools of judgment ready. Heretics. Tools of judgment ready. No heretics will get in my way. Okay. Yeah, it looks like Clan Angren's getting repelled here, out here. Is Tyrion dead? Tyrion is currently dead, yeah. Why not get an editor and he gets the YouTube clip revenue? I tell you what, if any of you guys want to go and do that and start your own channel and, and do that, you have my permission. If you want to, If you want to do that, go for it. Okay, you have my permission. What? If you want to go do it yourself. And you can get the ad revenue. No problem. Go for it. Arch Lector. But basically, I've got enough things to juggle right now without more problems. I don't need more more things to manage. Arch Lector. All right, I think all of our armies have moved just fine. Yep, let's do just do the usual um tiding thing. Bring death. For Storm the it looks like she's getting close to wanting an alliance again. Goldtooth really wants a peace treaty, but as I've said before, while he is at war with Ostermark, they, that's agree. not going to happen. Chat, hey, you play video games for a living, that's cool. Why don't you completely commoditize it to suck joy out of whatever... <laughs> exactly, man, exactly. Yeah. Like, I used to edit my videos when I first started. I used to do a lot of editing of the videos when I first started, and it was such a fucking brain drain. Editing is not fun. It's one of the least fun things you can do with videos.
And because Total War is super niche, it's very difficult to actually make that a re like a good return on investment. Like if Total War was one of those was franchises that had a hundred thousand concurrent players, you could definitely justify doing that. But it just isn't. And anyone that's getting good number of views on edited videos, they're just not able to like pump these videos out quickly. And in my opinion, it just it um, just isn't worth it. Does Ostermark have any armies? I think they do, but they've only got one. Alright, any rogue armies out here? Tell us a tariff? I don't know how tariff does it. I, I have no idea. I would have gone insane. He, he must be just really good at video editing. Maybe he's already got like shitloads of assets that he can flip really quickly. I don't, I don't know how... Like, if I was to try to compete with Tariff, I wouldn't be able to. Just, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to at all. Alright, and that's what it really comes down to. You know, on YouTube, this is what I've come to learn. is like, don't try to do everything. Like, if somebody's being successful at something, that's cool. Stay in your lane. Do your thing. Do the thing that you enjoy the most, that you can find sustainable. And don't try to just bend to other people's wishes. If someone says, hey, Legend, you should you should be a Paradox YouTuber, I got one thing to say to you. Fuck off. That's it. <laughs> no. Um, and if you don't like the answer to that, that's your fault for trying to push someone to do something that you want them to do. Mind your own goddamn business. That's the best thing that you can say to someone. And I get that that can't, can seem harsh. I'm just trying to help. You're not trying to help. You're actually trying to get what you want. So there's a bunch of heroes I forgot to move, but everything's pretty good on the frontiers at the moment. Hey, Legend of Warp, do you prefer a subscription here or on YouTube? Asking for someone who doesn't care where I watch. Um, that's, I'm, feel the exact same way. I don't care where you watch. I just want you to be happy. That's all I want. Just do what uh, makes you happy. Don't worry about where I get the biggest cut. It doesn't matter. Mighty Matt 113 subscribers prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. A fan made clip channel would be cool. Yep, you guys have my permission to go and do that. Absolutely. Do you think the new Kislev Lord will make Boyars obsolete for your playstyle? Yeah, probably. It seems like Druzinas are just a complete better version of Boyars. Like, why would you get a Boyar over a um, Druzina? 180 range, can shoot, good in melee. Maybe not quite as good. But Legend, it doesn't get a bear. Like, if you look at Boy Boyars are really basic. They're just good yeah, fighters, that's it. They don't have any special abilities. You know, the only difference between a Boyar and a Druzina is just a bit of stats in terms of what uh, Boyars have. It's not worth it. So definitely go Druzina, I think. Hey Legend, I wanted to ask you, does male defense matter when an infantry unit is fighting a huge monster since it seems like they just get sweeped? Yes, it really does matter about male defense. So females tend to not perform as well against monsters than males. <laughs> okay, sorry, I've just been silly there. Melee defense does matter, but some things to keep in mind when dealing with monsters is like the hidden numbers, I suppose. So let's just say you've got a unit of Empire Swords that have a melee defense of 20. Actually, I don't know what their melee defense is, but let's just say you've got a unit with a melee defense of 20, and a big monster's coming in, and it's got a melee attack of 40, right? 
And you might think, oh yeah, we can hold out a little bit. But what you might not understand is that they also have a charge bonus. So the charge in their charge bonus of 80 turns their melee attack into essentially 120. And so they just roll over your defenses because your melee defense doesn't matter at that point. So melee defense becomes... Melee defense is very important, but if your melee defense is too low compared to their melee attack, it basically does nothing. So you always want to have really high melee defense if possible to, in order to block hits. Elijah War, do you talk to Tommy K about Warhammer 3 at all? I notice his interest in it has increased a lot. I have not spoken to Tommy K, but I am open to it for sure. I think I've watched his videos. I think I've subscribed to him. I can't remember. I, su I subscribe to a lot of... Basically, anyone that covers Total War, I usually just subscribe to them by default. Well, there goes... Belagar's armies. But that's fine. If he's going to send more, keep going, Belagar. Keep going. CJ Datsu did a $5 super chat. Hey, just wanted to say thanks for all the content you make. Watching your videos is what made me start playing Total War. Alright, thanks, dude. That's good. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, G Knock subscribe with Prime, and Banana Conda. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. We're at 567 subscribers on Twitch. I think we're just happy that you're back from retirement and you're enjoying the game again. Okay, I need to make that clear. I am not back from retirement. I'm still technically retired. <laughs> I just want to make that clear. I am not back to live streaming full time. What we are doing right now is what you're seeing right now is basically a. I'm coming back for a campaign or two, but after the campaign is over, there may be several weeks of no live streams because I'm not back full time. I just want to make that clear. Boyar can be made better by the Ataman system, but it's better to use them for administrative boss, not battle ones. Yeah, but it also takes forever to do that. And they come, and they're still at rank one. So, you, you are right. I just think that the return on investment for time and effort on that is really low. Is there a reason not to demand free gold from your allies in Warhammer 3? Uh, nope, there's no reason not to do that. The reason why I'm not doing it now is because it's not really going to be that much money and I have a million gold, so it's like... I don't really want to waste that much time. So you've got to weigh up. I'm definitely all for squeezing everyone for as much money as possible. You know, I'm definitely down to being full on Mr. Krabs. But if I'm going to spend 10 minutes to gain 2,000 gold, I also need to consider that people might get a bit bored. And so that's on the, constantly in the back of my mind. Can you please explain what charge stat does? All right, so when your unit is charging... So the, the stat of the charge bonus, complete, like, let's just say your charge bonus is 50. So while they're charging, they get a plus 50 bonus to melee attack. And also a plus 50 bonus to their weapon strength, relative to how much armor piercing and um, non-armor piercing they have. And that charge bonus starts at 50, and then over the next 10 seconds, decays to zero. Until they charge again. So when you have a dwarf unit that has like a charge bonus of two, that means when they're charging, their melee attack goes up by two points. So not very much. This is why counter charging with infantry is usually shit, because very few infantry units have a charge bonus above ten. You know, th so, for example, if your charge bonus is 5, that means it increases your chance to land a hit by 5%, which in most cases is pretty low. It depends on the unit you're using. When you're using something that has like a really, really high weapon strength, typically they coincide with high, high charge bonuses, but not necessarily. Nope, assert their independence. Are Teclis and Imric still alive, or is Elthar in the last standing high elf? Eltharian's the last one. Vert bet, I thought it was there. Legend, it's in Sylvania. I promised me it's in Sylvania. I suspected it was here. Is this the end of them?
That's the end of the Deceivers. They're final. You can actually get rid of them. Suck on that, Zinch. You motherfucker. Alright, we don't need any of these. These are all low level. What? It's Show done. Clip that. The Checkmate, atheists. Calls. They're gone. They will be. <laughs> yes, blessed is it. Is it time? Wait, hang Ready. on. Do these guys have followers on them? No. I trust no man. I trust no man. All right, we can actually get rid of the deceivers, and they're gone now. Yes, my lord. The Empire. For Sigma. The nation calls. Oh no! Oh, that sounds so bad. <laughs> what? Never yield. Moving out to the provinces. It is for the best. Onwards. Oh, shit. That's good. I didn't even trigger that. Right, okay, that could work for us. Oh, but that means they might capture Spe That's fine, Sp go, go and capture Spectazuma. I mean, I'll try to get there first. Okay, Marcus Wolfhart is coming back real soon. Legend, how do you do such accurate impersonation of the voice of all your viewers? Well, I've listened to you guys. Uh, like, we ha I've had phone calls with you guys, like on Discord. And it's always like... <laughs> And derivatives of that. Hey, legend, is he giving it? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I just try to make the most like stupid voice I can. No, most of you, most of you guys don't sound like that, obviously. So what was with this? Why didn't they try to? I think he thinks he can win. He's like, look, I got high tier unit spam. Oh, really? What are you gonna do for half a million subs? Why why should I have to do anything? What are you going to do for me when I hit half a million subscribers? Hey, what are you going to do for me? <laughs> I'd fight it manually if it said like close victory or something, but no. Yes, to unite the provinces. All right. We have really got I'm on the run now. No peace, just war. Following up on what you said, does charge defense negate the charge bonus they get or just reduce the benefit? It okay, so if something has a charge bonus of 50 and they charge into something that has charge defense, their charge bonus goes down to zero against that unit. So it just negates that. Now the thing is, if your if their melee attack is still really high, they're still gonna hit very hard. Which is why charge defense sometimes doesn't seem like it works. It does. It's just that most of the time units that have high charge bonuses also have high melee attack. They will and and it doesn't block melee attack. Okay, it looks like they're friendly with me again. Alright, look, I definitely wasn't looking to pick a fight with you. Let's re-establish friendship. Since you betrayed me before. I can forgive. If it's in my interest to forgive. Advancing! Camp and forage! By Sigma! Tribes don't kneel. 
Does melee attack influence damage, or is it more like accuracy stat for melee? That's exactly what... Well, I guess, depending on how you want to argue about that, um, the more accurate you are with hitting, then the more damage you're going to dish out. But yeah, that's exactly what it is. Let's just say you have a unit that has a million weapon strength, but its melee attack is zero, right? Um, if it can't land a hit on the opponent, then their high weapon strength doesn't mean much. Alternatively, if you have a... a and if you have a character that has a million melee attack and always hits, but their weapon strength is zero, then that doesn't matter either. So what you want is to have both. So if you're sitting there thinking, what's better, melee attack or weapon strength? The answer is both. You need to have both in order for it to work. It's a balance between Hunt the two. General. High melee attack, low weapon strength is useless. High weapon strength, low weapon... At, um, Sorry, high weapon strength, low wep uh, melee attack is useless. Huntsman General, on the trail. So then we'll swing them back around this way. Let's get these ones here. But we're kicking him out of the mountains of Morn. They will be hey, gr hey um, could you join our war against Goltu? <laughs> Cancel all your treaties because you hate me. Stuff. Now, how would you like to join war against Goldtooth? Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Alex Thomas became a new member. Thanks, dude. Garak Berserk subscribed at tier one for three months in advance. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. It's generous of you. It is time. All right, up this way. where heretics lurk? All of these camps have got to be like new or something. On it. Killing off so many camps. My order agrees. I will stop them. So forward. It shall be done. Forward. My order agrees. Armored in faith. Don't fret, they'll be open. Who calls? Open gates! Okay, that's all looking pretty good. Yeah, Zinch is getting... I trust no man. ...getting demolished out here. Heretic! <coughs> Tools of judgment Good, ready. that's what we want to see. And over here, I'm actually surprised Eltharian's still alive. But yeah, look at this. We've got Ulth one essentially blockaded. Sort of. The Protonians have ta captured Torkorali. Good. Alright, I actually feel as though we're comfortable enough with this that we don't need this anymore. I'm going to get rid of these two armies because it'll save us some cash. Good legend, though. No, actually, you know what? I'll keep them. <laughs> I got the money, I'll keep them. But I don't want to invade here, because all I can do is just give this territory back to um, Britannia, and I don't want to do that. You know, I do think that Malachus is going to take this back. So it's just a matter of when and not if. So yeah, we just stay out here and just Seek keep training our guys up as best we can. What have you to say? So that they are less shit. Alright, that's looking really good. <coughs> Excuse Ready. me. Sorry, guys. Moving off. Nair Karan warriors have zero we base weapon strength but 42 armor piercing with the new patch. What will this do? Just means that armor won't do anything against them. So, armor is completely useless against Nehekari Warriors Regiment of Renown. Does absolutely nothing. But, you know, that means that when they land it and attack, that unless you've got, like, physical resistance, or is it, or is it ward safe for them, um, you just won't be able to block I their attacks. I see no other option. Pick up the pace. It shall be done. Those gates will open. Alright, and then there's Gelt up here, which is all looking pretty good.
I wonder if I should go to Blizzard Peak first before I head up this way. Let's just see what's up this way. If there's no armies here, then we'll just go for the easy stuff. Easy stuff that's actually of high value, like the Volary. There's a bit of military presence there. If these guys could go up ahead here and start stripping away some of the Chaos Corruption, that would also be good. We're also reaching late enough in the campaign where we're starting to get delays every time we click a freaking button. Not too many of these vagabonds. Kill all these servants. Where's, okay, yeah, Light Collar Jack alone. That's what I'm looking for. And looking at the amount of Chaos Corruption, yeah, there's a lot to overcome there. Uh, it'll make a difference once Gelt actually shows up. Hammer, yes. So only armor piercing damage? Yeah, so if it has no regular base damage and only armor piercing, then it's just got no base. So. So, for example, if a unit had only base damage and no armor piercing, and it encountered something with a armor of 200, it'll actually do zero damage. Every single time. It I won't be able to, to inflict any damage. But I think there's very few units what in the game that have that amount of damage output. Of and there's also very few units in the game that'll have 200 armor, except for Bretonia when they get maxed out. What? Shield of Faith. I will do anything for Sigma. Moving off. Uh, Gruthy, sorry, Gruthor T. Uh, forty-five. Yeah, ten dollars in chat. Hey, Legend. What do you think about the Wood Elf Tech Tree not applying the sisters correctly, such as the Missile Resist from Loic and the Fear from Kane Tex? Well, obviously that's bad. <laughs> yeah, it's obviously bad. They should fix that stuff. How should we proceed? Look, uh, in my opinion, every technology and every ability should do what it says it does. And Creative Assembly should endeavor to ensure that that happens. It will be done. So next turn, I think we're going to war with Hexawaddle. Protector of the weak. How are we going here? All right, she likes me a fair bit now. Let us discuss stately affairs. All right, we might be able to re-establish those relations. Which, if we do that, it may actually piss off... Oh, look at my attitude towards her. It may actually piss off Karak Kadrin. So maybe... Because hmm. if we have a look at Karak Kadrin, they absolutely despise her. But they like me a lot. But you the more I have a request, I'll hear it now. treat with her, the less he'll like me. And I don't want to fight him right now. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. Because he's got territory all over the place. Like, when it comes down to smashing on Grub, we need to... What are we going to do about that? What you can do is like borrow their armies and like send them all the way down to like the Chaos Wastes <laughs> and then just give them back there. I've done that before. It's a bit of a pain. Alright, let's do some construction. Can one steal legendary heroes? Yes, you can steal legendary heroes. Yep. Is Bretonia in a bad spot right now? No, they're fine. They're fine. They're doing, they're doing actually quite well. I think they're going to get wrecked by the Dark Elves. I think there's going to be a lot of back and forth, basically. And that's fine with me. As long as the Dark Elves aren't landing in the mainland, in Bretonia, then that's fine. Alright, 
so yeah, we saw some money there. That's good. Oh no, I'm under a million again. Come on. Got my cash up. Movement followers trades don't do anything for heroes, so that scribe is useless. Are you sure about that? Let's conf... Oh, yeah, you... Tools of okay. Judgment ready. All right, I'll just trust you on that. I'll take them off then. Yes. So yeah, guilt's on his way down. Sweep across here a little bit. If we take these settlements away from the war host of Tsar, then that'll cripple him. Yeah, he's only down to nine settlements. He had a lot of settlements before, and they slowly got taken away from him. I think he sent his arm. Yeah, there he is. No. Zatan, where did Zatan go? Doesn't matter. As long as he's not bothering me, I don't care. All right, that seems to be all we can do this turn. But yeah, we've really got Greasus by the balls now. Those big fat balls. I'd say we just finish him off completely. Don't get a peace treaty with him having any territory left. Just get rid of him completely, because he's he's not worth keeping around. Alright, all of this looks pretty good. I don't see any issues on any of the fronts. What? Yes. And then we're gonna open up a new front over here to bring back Marcus Wolfhart. And then we can actually bring some bring some real expansion out here. And there's quite a few settlements that I want to keep for myself, especially Itza. Itza pretty good. Yeah. So what we'll do is... Did I get trade agreement with them? Yeah, I'll be cancelling this soon. But we want to completely destroy Hexoidal first. And then we'll pick on them. Hmm. I gotta be careful with how I go about this. Anyway, let's move on. Growth building in Marshes of Madness. Thanks, dude. Yeah, I've actually f keep forgetting to get a whole bunch of them fixed up with that. It's not essential. When the when the Empire becomes this big, there's definitely a few things of inefficiency that will occur. I will hear your petition, but make no promises to act on it. And once we get rid of Greasus, we can disband those Halberdier armies. <laughs> they just love putting camps down. Good. Cathay repelled the Dark Elves there. Uh, Dark Cast Dwarfs there. Sorry if it's already asked, but any news for the secondary channel? Uh, I'll see if I can get a video up in the next day or so. What exactly does Charge Reflect do? I don't know exactly what Charge Reflect does. I think it just... I, I don't know. I don't know how it exactly works. Yeah, with the Dark Elves constantly running back and forth here, that's good. We just want them to be busy. We don't have to get them destroyed. Like I said, I don't want Bretonia to win. I just don't want Malekith to win either. You confirmed in a past livestream that stuff like that doesn't work for heroes for some reason? Oh, fair enough. Yeah, well, I can't remember everything that I've said. What single unit do you think has got the most kills so far? In this? Um, Carl Friends? Or no, Life Wizards. Life Wizards, because they use Dwellers Below and get like 800 kills. Zatan doesn't buff any particular unit. What kind of army do you make for him? I Okay, that's actually a good question. What I usually do with Zatan is give him a Bull Centaur Torok um, 
Doom Stack. Because Bull Centaur Torox are really good. And he's the only Lord that boosts them, essentially. Whereas other Lords are able to boost the regular infantry units. So yeah, I usually give them a hero Doom Stack. When does the update come out? I think two more hours. I just confederated Lewin. Can I get rid of the Mark of Slanesh somehow? Yep. So you firstly have to assess which faction of Slanesh gave you the Mark of Slanesh. And then Lewin has to personally lead an army against that faction and win. Or you have to destroy that faction. It's the only way to get rid of it. So let's just say it was the seducers of Slanesh, so Nakari. If Nakari gets wiped out, then all of his Marks of Slanesh across the world will disappear. Thorax got this. Good. But this does mean that one day we're going to have to go to war with Thorak. How? Yeah, and he'll be quite strong. However, Thorak is nowhere near as much of a threat as Zinch. Just because any faction that can teleport, jump on top of you, and ambush your army, no fucking thanks. Actually, I find the dwarves to be relatively easy to fight. As long as you don't underestimate them. Looks like Lewin's preparing a full-on invasion. Good. Why, why would you recruit this unit? Anyway. How do you defend your northern border if you can't conquer it due to red bad provinces? That's why we feed territory to our vassals. Because as soon as you uh, give them a region, the garrison goes up to full. And if they get attacked, then who cares? You just give a, send an army to go and give it back. Because the AI in this, they don't necessarily try to fight your armies. They're way more interested in fighting minor settlement battles. They're just like magnetized to it. And it's really difficult to defend your settlements. Because if you put an army inside a minor settlement, they won't attack it. They just go for the low-hanging fruit. Hey man, I really don't want the series to end because I love it, but the past few days I couldn't watch live because I've fallen behind. Has to be a bunch of us catching up. I figured as much, and that's fine. Uh, you'll have a few days to catch up. Do you think the changes to Cathay Research Tree are going to make significant difference? No. Ah, oh, what? Whatever. One turn of attrition is not so bad, as long as there's no armies coming. Yeah, it should be fine. Comet. Will. Now. Hunt them out. The How the hell did Zatan the Black get that? He must have gotten wounded, and he just took over that army there. It's the only, only explanation. Is it time? The nation calls. Moving off. Seek out the heretics. Huntsman General. Good stuff. Covering ground. Arch Lecter. It is impossible. Who calls? Yes. Okay, good stuff. Good, good stuff. I am Prince. All right, the Black Emperor. Fortress is. These guys over here. 
We need to keep blocking him so he doesn't go too far. Good. They will be judged now. Oh yeah, there's a landmark here. Diplomatic relations with greenskins. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Talk about useless. Raise your weapons. Because even plus fifty probably wouldn't do very much. Could you imagine getting a military alliance between Karl Franz and and like Grimgor Ironhide? The tan trait for Gelt would be super good. You're right. You're, you're right. It would be good. Yeah. By the All right. I don't want to be sitting here. We'll actually get more replenishment if we're in. Step to it. The Empire. Yeah, I don't want to be sitting yes. here. Yes. Because that army is not good for defending settlements. It's got the Black Fortress, right? On it. So much money. Range 15% for artillery units, own army. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good for sure. Tools of judgment ready. On march. Alright, this is going really nicely here. So I think we'll go up north first, clean this up. And then come back down south and then finish the job here. Alright, it's time to start the revival of... Oh, shit. They took Spectazuma. What? Okay, okay. That's fine, that's fine. Alright, how are we going to do this? Who calls? It's fine if they take, take Spectazuma. I just need to make sure that... Hexawaddle owns this. Has They've got the really place. high public order, so it's going to take several turns to get rid of that. I mean, this shouldn't take too long with yes. them. Sigma, grant me strength. They will be judged. All right, looks like Itzer is just going to go north. Maybe. Kind of wishing right now that I didn't sign that trade agreement with them. I need these guys here reversed. I need I need him over here, the Temple of Kara. And this one over here. My knowledge is yours. All right, here we go. So speak with Itza and say join war against Hexawaddle and they'll give us a little bit of money, but let me try with Speak. Morathi. Oh hell no, Morathi. No alliance. <laughs> Naturally. Oh, I can't believe that shit still works. No, you can't oh, have a trade agreement or anything with Malekith. Alright, now, if I offer to join war against... Hexawaddle... I can get more from her, because she's probably got more money. Alright, here we go. Immediately. Alright, I've only got four wars going on at the moment. You don't sell the settlement near Grand Cathay. Don't know the name. Thanks, dude. Kyang. Yep, 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 yep. Thanks, Approach dude. and make your offer. But I make no promises to my ascent. Yeah, I that'd will. be annoying if I didn't do that. Alright. Raise Sigma. Yeah, they're not going to declare war on me. They might cancel the trade agreement. They're not going to declare war on me while they're friendly. What does the emperor bid? And then over here. Ready. Yeah, see, look how much public order penalties those those characters are producing. Minus seventy five. So, is that where heretics lurk? The problem is when I occupy that settlement. That's not what's going to happen. Blessings of Sigmar upon you. To the provinces. Hmm. 
All right, yeah. Just get on with this. We should probably fight this manually because it's giving us a pretty bad auto resolve. I know we're going to do a lot better than this. Sack Temple of Kara this turn and capture the settlement. We're definitely going to sack the, the Temple of Kara with um, the other army for sure. Yeah. I just have to make sure that Itza doesn't get to the Temple of Kara. If they, they're not allowed to occupy that. They're not allowed to deal with the revolt or anything of the sort. You could just sack it. Yeah, the Temple of Kara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one. Oh, that's right. It's a flying goon squad. Okay, you just stay out of it for now. No, you're going to regenerate naturally. You don't need that. Alright, let's go. First thing we should do, take out the flying units. Because they can't do anything about it. Using to engage. Are these Firelich Bowlers? No. Let's just go land over here. Well, oh, they're really trying to get rid of my wizard. I didn't get my life wizard out of there, he's just getting shot down. On my command! Quickly! We are Sigma's heirs! My orders stand! Ready for war! Sigma calls! Captain of the Empire! Why does every captain have an eye patch? <laughs> You're right, they do. Uh, even even the look. I think losing an eyeball is um, maybe a rite of passage for captains. The army of one eyes. But yeah, this army does seem to rely pretty heavily on the dwellers below. I mean, these guys here would be okay against single entities, but killing loads of, like, skinks just takes ages, because they're going to kill them, like, a couple at a time. Maybe a Forbidden Rod might be good, just to speed up his uh, Winds of Magic generation. Yeah, 
one hell of a powerful spell. No! At speed! And there's the army losses. It is done! Death! End them! Fleet! Quickly! Dupras, Cleaver's stack? No. So there's only need to equip one of them per army. Or per blob, I guess. So yeah, we definitely struggle a little bit against like a full-on single entity doom stack, which the lizardmen can have. Would this have worked? Stack working one or two? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, why not? Shown us the path. Yeah, look, the public order's not as good. Um, but at the same time, I don't really want these guys getting over here and blocking our expansion with um, Marcus Wolfheart when he comes back. Seek out the heretics. The nation calls. So what I want to do is, is Volkmarsh try to get up here quickly and capture some territory. So just sack that. And I'll get the other army to come over here. Ready. It's a dead. I trust no man. Empire's blessings, yes. The righteous hammer of Sigma. Sigma watches over me. Yes. And then this army will come over here and just besiege the settlement. Right, now another thing to keep in mind about this army is that we need to make sure we've got all the negative public order. It doesn't work with Iron Disciplinarian. Some more health for fucking Toddy. Nice. Alright, you need something that's going to be like the Shield of Tolos or something because you get shot. Got more magic. Good. Okay, I'm fairly sure all of these... Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Fairly sure all of them have all the points put into spread control. Oh, what was that? The Thane, yeah. Okay, so it'll help by one. <laughs> Not a big deal, but that's okay. So we've got to cause a revolt here. We've now met the conditions for a revolt to actually show up here. You're not at war with them, are you? Welcome no, that's to good. We don't want that. Fellow nation of men, now is the time to Maybe unite. I should declare war on them first. Oh, that'll just piss off. It's a though. Wait, six turns. Definitely don't want reliability penalties. Do you have a special item to increase their magic generation? Yeah, that's that's what yes, I needed. Thanks, dude. We need a. I don't like a scroll of shielding. Fuse that. Forbidden Rod, that's it. Got some Wands of Jet. Not my favorite item, so we'll fuse that. Obsidian Amulets, those are shit. Fuse it. Book of Ashura is okay. Got a lot of them. Power Stone's okay as well. Uh, 
Do I have another Iron Course Icon? No, I've only got the one. Heaps of these Crown of Commands, I don't need that. Fuse it. God, I've got so many of these other Trixer Shards. That's actually not a bad one for him. You can just fall, um, fly over them to pop down the damage. That's a good one. Yeah, okay, pop down that. Uh, do you think Wormer 3 could support more robust settlement management mechanics like older games, Medieval 2 Rome, or would it not fit the style? Uh, I think it's too far gone to really be changing those sort of things now, but I definitely think they could have done it if they had put it in at the beginning. Tools of judgment ready. I do that with the next Total War game. Don't worry about doing it with this one. I accuse. Good. It shall be done. Those gates will open. Seek out the heretics. And what? For Sigma! I trust no man. Speak. Good. All of that looks good there. Yeah, it's not going to be too long until they're finished. And we've got our guy over here ready to deal with them as they come again. These guys will keep getting experience just passively from all the other witch, uh, not witch, others, warrior priests that are uh, doing stuff. Yes, son of Sigma. All right, we got determined. Fine, just, just stand over there. Okay, just stand there. We proceed, sir. Obsidian amulet isn't bad to give to characters with forbidden rods to mitigate the. Self damage. I mean, it's a life wizard. It's 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 not that good. Show me the accused. They will be judged. There's so many better items out there than getting once a spell resistance. Like if you want to do that, that's fine. I, I just think that's low impact. The damage that the Forbidden Rod isn't that severe, especially when you can heal it. Alright, with Monument of Visital, why don't we why don't we build a barracks here and I'll see about swapping it for Hmm. Well we'll just see. I, I definitely want to swap it. Hopefully they just sack this settlement. So looking at him, yeah, he's not faring well. That's good. Praise Sigma. Isn't the trick to shard better on the captain? That is a good point. That is a good point. Yeah, we should put it on a captain. You are correct. You can have an armor of destiny, why not? Van Horseman Speculum is also a good item. We'll give that to another disciplined one. And don't I have another good piece of armor? Ah, uh, Glittering Scales, that's good. That's really good. One per army for that. Alright, let's check diplomacy, see what can be done. Who has more laws? High Elves or Empire? High Elves, because they have high magic and metal. Ice Court's now willing to have a defensive alliance again. But, if I do that, it may piss off Karak Kedrin, so no. Must face No, it doesn't stack. Okay, cool. Let's just check my list and see what needs to be done. Live to serve the Emperor. See, so yeah, they're on the way. I sold the territory from there. Yep, okay, that looks good. Look at all this territory out here that's all Ostermark. 
So you can see there's a few regions that we've missed in terms of cleaning things up. But these guys here, why don't we come up through here, grab Karak Krakaton, Valley of Horns, and then make our way to Firemouth Black Fang. And then maybe meet up with um, Gelt up this way. Hang on, we're going through the list here. Champion of the Faith! Yep, all of this looks good. I don't think I need to check too much of that. By the silver, He's too tired. He yes. can't be assassinating anyone else. You Tools keep doing this ready. to get experience. Don't fret. They'll be yeah, open. the money spent on it is not a big deal. We haven't defeated Marathi yet in battle, so that could be good for agent actions to reduce the cost of them. wonder how much we've spent on that. You as well. Level up. Don't fret. They'll be good. Open. Okay, I think everything's looking pretty good there. So next turn, this now. one moves over here. It won't be able to launch an attack immediately on... T well, it's not going to want to do that. What we want to do is just besiege it. Until it revolts. Actually, sack it down to tier 1 so it's got the weakest possible army. As for this settlement here, I don't really want to have it while being on the border of Itza. Although, it's very unlikely that a faction considered friendly and going up is going to declare war on you while I still have a treaty with you, so I think we're okay there. What do you think is better, having every region controlled by a faction or having a rebel faction like in older games? Well, the rebel factions were just placeholders. Show me the accused. The older game system was not better. That was it was done that way because they had a limit to how many factions they could put in the game, and that was probably limited because of the Total War Two engine. Um, I am a Total War noob to Total War games. Is it easy to pick up? So it's a question in the, in the Twitch chat. Um, it depends. I, I would say probably not an easy game to pick up. It depends on how familiar you are with strategy games in general. My recommendation would be start with Medieval 2. It's, it's old, but it's quite... It's quite easy to pick up, in my opinion. It's a very forgiving Total War game. Either that, or play Total Warhammer on, like, the easiest difficulty. But yeah, I definitely, like, recommend Total War. I just don't recommend every single Total War game, because some of them are dog shit. <laughs> and I don't think there's a perfect Total War game. There's no Total War game that's like, this game is... Everybody's favorite. It just doesn't exist. I hope one day there is a Total War game that actually unites the entire community and they say, yes, this is it. This is the Total War game we've all been waiting for. And I hope it's Medieval 3. Like an absolute triumph. I just I don't have much faith that that's going to happen. They just pump these games out too quickly before they're ready. Well, I don't know what Bretonia was thinking, because they're about to die there. Wow, that's a great army. <laughs> okay. Forty K? No, there's no way that 40k is going to unite the fan base. It's going to be so divisive. There's just no way. Like, I think it'll be good, eventually. If not at launch. We'll see. Since Historical does not sell, they need to develop their own IP. What a load of bullshit Historical does not sell. That has to be the biggest load of bullshit ever. 
Do you know what doesn't sell? Bad games. <laughs> Historical Total War games sell better than Warhammer. If they're good. Like, I'm pretty sure more copies of Total War Rome 2 were sold than Warhammer 3. I'm pretty sure more copies of Empire Total War have been sold than Warhammer 3. I'm fairly sure about that. Not Total War Attila, not Thrones of Britannia. Three Kingdoms. Three Kingdoms sold fucking shitloads. Three Kingdoms might be the highest number of sell, um, sales for a, for a base Total War game. Troy doesn't count because everyone got it for free. But the reason why Pharaoh doesn't sell is because it's shit. And everyone could see it was shit. BS, we can check that. By all means, tell me. But if you're using Pharaoh to say, look, Pharaoh didn't sell, therefore historical Total War games don't sell, like, you're... You're being very disingenuous. Now, the reason why Warhammer might be more profitable than a historical Total War game is because of DLC. DLC doesn't sell as well in historical Total War games than... Than, than in fan, especially with Warhammer fanbase, because Warhammer fanbase is used to getting fucked by Games Workshop. They're used to getting nickel and dimed. The historical Total War game uh, franchise uh, community, they're more or less used to buying a game and playing that game for a thousand hours without having to pump out hundred dollars a year on DLC. Because you like you buy Medieval Two, for example, and then you just download shitloads of mods. You, you play Rome 1, and then you just download shitloads of mods. You play Empire Total War, and then you just download Darth Mod, and then you uninstall it and play something else. You, you buy Rome 2. It's got a fair bit of DLC, but I don't think any of the DLC sells really that well. Total War Warhammer 2, 2 million plus. Total War Three Kingdoms, 1 million. That, that can't be right. I don't think that's correct. 1 million. I don't believe that at all. That's not correct. That's just, that's, that cannot be correct. I know that Empire Total War has sold at least 3 million copies. Like, we really need somebody from Creative Assembly to come in here and, and say, yeah, Legend's right, or, yeah, Legend's wrong. But I, I don't know. Total War Warhammer, 2 million. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also want to point out that Warhammer 1 initially sold better than Warhammer 2. Um, Karatakos Eustace did a 5, dollars, five euros to budget. Why hasn't CA made an Empire DLC that would be a money printer? Do you mean Empire Total War DLC? Or do you mean Empire for this? Legend of War just coping now. No, dude, I don't care. I don't care if if fantasy is is sells more than historical. I just think that you are wrong. Like if you if you could show me that historical Total War games sold five hundred thousand and fantasy always sells over millions, then I'll change my opinion. I just think from all the information that I've got that you are incorrect. Don't get me wrong as well, Apollo. Do me wrong. I fucking hate the vast majority of historical Total War games. I think they're shit. I think I think Empire Total War that sold three million copies. I think is shit. I think it's a crap game. But I I don't believe that historical Total War games don't sell. I don't believe it. Three Kingdoms sold one million. In one week, yeah. I'm I'm fairly sure in terms of raw copy sold, uh, sold, Three Kingdoms is the most highest selling Total War game of all time. Let us begin. Vargras. So Tan's army is not that bad. What we could do here, because he's not at war with Ostermark. We could give this settlement immediately to Ostermark and stand here. That way he couldn't launch the attack against us. 
Because it's important that we... Oh, well, heretics. also, I could possibly block him. Report. Ah, good. <laughs> okay, but there's still this one here as well. So how far can... Okay, Zaten can still force march over here. Alright. Yeah, make this attack. But yeah, this, the, the royal statement, historical total war games don't sell, I do not believe, that, I do not ex accept that statement. Don't believe it at all. Don't believe it. Three Kingdoms totaled in 2019 in its first year 2.2 million copies on Steam alone. In that same year, Warhammer 2 only sold 1.3 million. Fair enough. In 2009, 3K sold 2.2 million on Steam with a revenue of 87 million. Another 10 DLCs sourced from Total War Center. Okay. Yes, General. Yeah, so the the statement historical Total War games don't sell is bullshit. That is absolute bullshit. And don't forget, Three Kingdoms was not like a 10 out of 10 game. It just isn't. Okay, we need to make sure that we heal up. They'll probably use the Dreadquake Mortar on us, but it doesn't do anything to Steam Tanks. Shit historicals don't sell, a good one would for sure. Exactly. That's all I'm trying to say. So, for example, a watered down Total War Pharaoh won't sell. I reckon if Total War Pharaoh was for one thing built on, on a better engine and actually had the entirety of the Bronze Age world, it would sell, probably, it wouldn't be a, like a Rome 2, but I reckon it could get close to a million sales, right? But they sold their game short by by trying to sell it to you in bits and pieces and people weren't people just weren't going to have any of it and good on you guys for not doing that for not just rolling over and buying whatever creative assembly wants to to do at you because they want shrinkflation they want to sell you less for more that is their business model or was their business model i think they're changing course on it shrinkflation um Yeah, selling a Rome 2 style size of map. But like, so let's, let's say Medieval 2, and it's the entirety of the Europe to Baghdad with North Africa. You know, just to say eight playable factions on launch, that'll easily sell a few million, as long as it's good. Medieval 3 will sell so much. Pharaoh was a Troy DLC at best, and everybody, for the most part, saw right through that. By the way, that last super chat was about Warhammer Empire. Okay, well they are making an Empire DLC. That's why I didn't really understand it. They're making an Empire DLC next. The Thrones of Decay is an Empire DLC. All right, so we want to occupy this. We're going to take some attrition by doing this, but that's okay. We just want to make sure that Zatan isn't able to attack us. Let us begin. And then we sell granite spikes to them. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now what brings you here with a sheep do, it, do you know what this reminds me of? Did you ever play the Belisarius campaign in um, Total War Attila? Agreed. Where you just like, you capture a settlement and be like, here you go, Eastern Roman Empire. And they're like, cool, I'll deal with it from here. And then you just keep rolling and rolling. And nobody could bloody pin you down because you're a horde. That's what this kind of reminds me of what I'm doing. I command here. So Greasus, I believe, is over here. Over 
I need to clean up this way first before I come back down here. Otherwise, it's just little bits and pieces. Ulrich's will. Raise your weapons. Rome Remaster, just a mod, right? Well, it's just... Yeah, it's... No, sort of. Yeah, mod of Rome 1, I guess. It wasn't a very good remaster. It's not, it's not a bad game in total. Because Rome Total Wars is, is a good game, but... For a remaster, it's it's not very good. They could definitely have done a better job of that remaster. Tools of judgment ready. Tools of judgment ready. This is all looking pretty good at the moment. I was actually re-watching your Belisarius campaign the other day. Great fun to see that your playstyle is completely alien to what it is now. Yeah, well, it changes depending on the game that I'm playing. The righteous no, I didn't want you to do that. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to... The nation calls. Well, hang on. Why don't, why don't I make a swap? I might be able to swap them, these two. Show me the accused. Forward! They will be judged. So was it six turns? Five turns until I can cancel the treaty. So 15 turns until the... Hmm. I will marshal the bed. Pick up the pace! We only Rolling need to be on. in the region to tr Oh my god, it's only going to take us three turns to cause a revolt. Yes, my lord. Alright, hang on, let me try this. Let me try and make a swap. Floating Pyramid. For Monument of Isatel. Twenty-eight thousand for the difference. No, since they're on my to kill list, I already gave you a hundred grand, and I don't see any armies heading to. Oh no, there's there's one. Oh yeah, they're sending some armies up to to there. Volkmar the Grim, seek out the heretics. Sigma, grant me strength. Welcome. What will you give me for this? Okay, we can make a swap. Okay. And I can get a lot of money out of them for this. Because I don't want this region. It's at risk. I don't want this region for that matter. I concur. Oh shit, that's, that was a way better settlement. Okay, I can actually trade them, that settlement that I just got, which is, in my opinion, better. Fear my but I need to be bordering fury. them first. Does followers reduce public order? No, that isn't going to work. I've tried that out. Okay, so let's try this. We go to Lanxler for Chamber of Visions. That's a really good settlement, too. Your actions... Like, I'll get it eventually, but... Oh, wow. This will make them really friendly with me. There's no other enemies down this way that I'm aware of. That is a very good settlement. They mustn't have built the landmark, or else they wouldn't want to sell it. Um, let's try the High Sentinel for Floating Pyramid. Okay. Yeah, they'll sell that one. See, the reason that I want these settlements here is so that I can feed the Hunts Marshall Expedition territory out this way. As soon as they arrive.
Oh, I get most of my money back from that as well. Yeah, okay, that looks like a done deal there. Because that way... I trust no man. There's no garrison there, so if a Hexawaddle army came down over here and attacked it, they wouldn't cause a settlement battle anyway. By the and by the look of this, there isn't one of those armies. Plus, they would come in and support me because they're same enemy and they move first. Okay. So. But then, yeah, we just need Volkmar to just hold this ground here for now. My order agrees. Okay. Show me the accused. They will be judged. Okay. Not sell was harsh, give you that. But from a business point, why make a game that sells less? Why not make one that sells more? Absolutely, dude. I totally agree with you. Totally agree. Why make a game that sells more? Why not make a game that sells more? I totally agree with you. Um, but in my opinion... Um, you, you got to keep in mind that Total War Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 are all same iterations of it. Total War Warhammer 1 was apparently disappointing in sales compared to Rome 2. And Warhammer 2 sold even worse than that. But they kept working at it and then developed it. And eventually they made a really good Total War game. Because it wasn't good until maybe 2018. Now the problem with what they're doing at the moment is that they're making games thinking that, that people are just going to expect... They're just making games like Pharaoh that are just not good straight out the door. And people are not willing to buy the game as an investment thinking that Creative Assembly is going to develop them long term. Because we've seen that Creative Assembly will not do that if a game isn't making money. Like for example Three Kingdoms. Um, this is a game that sold better than any other Total War game, at least initially. But they wouldn't sell the DLCs, so they cancelled it. So, in regards to just getting as many units out the door, Creative Assembly absolutely should try to make a game that sells a lot of copies. I totally agree. And Pharaoh was never going to be that. But it's not because it was historical, it was because it was shit. Because Rome 2 sold really well, and that was shit as well. <laughs> Yeah, it was going to mention 3K, they nuked it like morons. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Creative Assembly, like, everybody can look at information and then come to different interpretations. So, a lot of the interpretation at Creative Assembly was, this isn't selling, therefore people don't want it. But you can also look at it, people don't want shit DLC. They were making bad DLC for the game. So, they started making good DLC, but it was already too late at that point. Most people had moved on. Another thing to keep in mind is the, you can't go backwards, right? So, if you're... If you're the Creative Assembly, and you're making multiple games at the same time, that are essentially the same game, right? Um, you're making Total War Warhammer, and you're making Three Kingdoms at the same time. And then suddenly, in 2018, Total War uh, Warhammer 2 becomes super popular, and everybody is playing it. And then you've got Three Kingdoms, which may have initially sold really well, but it's just not quite as good as Warhammer 2. These two games are competing with each other. Now, this is exactly what happened with Pharaoh. So, Pharaoh comes out right after Warhammer 3. What a dumb move that was. What a fucking dumb move. Why would you think that selling Total War Pharaoh directly after Warhammer 3 was going to work? People are going to be like, well, it's the same game, really. Why don't I just play the one that's way better? Especially considering it's actually cheaper. Or was cheaper. So, Fair like, they could have sold Total War Pharaoh after Rome 2, and it would have been fine. I don't think it would have sold, like, millions of copies. It would have been fine, because there wouldn't have been anything better. So, what Creative Assembly needs to do now, if they want to, if they want to have any chance of selling anything in future, the minimum benchmark for it is now Warhammer 3. That's the minimum benchmark. Or, um, the games that are currently being played. So, Three Kingdoms, that's the minimum benchmark. Uh, Shogun 2, the minimum benchmark. Anything that falls below those games is not gonna is not gonna sell. Unless, unless you do something like what Troy did and just give the game away for free. Because no, there's nothing better than getting a game for free. 
But the thing is with Troy is that it's essentially a indie game um, made by a AAA studio. I will go. It's just not good. But you know, it's free. But yeah, you can't go backwards. Shrinkflation, people notice shrinkflation really quickly. And they don't put up with it. Because Total War hasn't truly progressed in about a decade. It's it, you know, The AI, the way that the overall mechanics work, the engine, it hasn't really progressed in the past 10 years. What made Rome 2 so bad is when I loved Rome, Medieval, Shogun, Warhammer, but never bothered with Rome 2. So, okay, so... Rome 2 isn't necessarily bad. A lot of people enjoy Rome 2 every day now. But the reason why Rome 2 was disappointing was... It had, a, a I think, a critically flawed design team. Design um, ethos to it. So... There are... Th the things that made Rome 1 great, Rome 2 didn't capitalize on. So, no family trees. This was to begin with. Look, why don't you go watch our... Uh, what's it called? Um, Angry Joe's review of Rome 2. That really sums it up perfectly. But the combat in Rome 2 is kind of crap. Like, the Warscape engine is just not very good. The campaign design is kind of kind of lame. There's a, there's a lot of problems with Rome 2. And I think the people that like Rome 2... Can overlook those issues, and the people that don't like Rome 2 can't overlook those issues. So I'm in the can't overlook it category. Is Total War 1, 2, 3 just rebanded DLC? Warhammer 1, 2, and 3 is basically just rebanded DLC. It's the same game over again, over again. It's basically like the same game that has just been developed for a, a like 10 years now. And it's whether a case of um, whether whether or not you accept that and are can tolerate it or not. Some people can't. Actually, with Bill Bali, I should probably... Because it is actually technically a frontier settlement. I should probably consider developing walls here. Opinion on Rome Remastered? I think Voland said it best. It's not remastered, it's Rome Reheated. That's how I feel about it. It's like, it's like, imagine this. Imagine you go to a restaurant and you have a great meal. And then you take it home and then the next day you reheat it in the microwave. That's what Rome, Rome Remastered is. It was originally amazing, but it just wasn't really, the ingredients aren't the same when you just put it in the microwave. <laughs> so, just isn't, it isn't it. It isn't... Because what a remaster should do is take the original game and bring it to the certain year standard, and it didn't do that. There's a few things they brought up to scratch, but not enough. I'll watch Angry Joe Rome 2 review for sure. Yeah, that's... I actually watched that review in its entirety today. I've, I've actually got it up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, I've literally got it up here. <laughs> it's literally in one of my tabs. So I watched this today because people do ask about Rome 2 a lot and I, I like to refine my thoughts on it and pretty much agree with everything he said about it. Alright, I think we're done. I just need to do some hero actions. I don't know if I really need to bother too much with the Zinchi and stuff now, but it's always good to just keep leveling up our characters. I trust no man. Heretic. Oh, I think... Okay, he failed. That's fine. Of course, master. Can actually borrow that army. I don't want to interfere with what's going on over there. It's a shame how they remove features from historical games. In Rome or Medieval 2, you had population, city building, dynamic maps, empire and naval battles, and still the latest games have none of that. Yeah, that's another thing. Like, having your armies attached to generals, that was introduced into Rome 2. That has been a shit mechanic that nobody wants to see, but they just keep bringing it back every single time. Like, why can't you have small detachments of armies attached by um, captains? Why, why, do, why does everything have to have one general? So that's something that they, yeah, that wasn't good. Also, the city management 
population management in Rome 2 is just really bare bones. Whereas you used to have actual population, and the more the population increased, the more your tax income increased, more trade income increased, but you also would get public order problems because of it, so it's something you have to manage. And then it just became growth. You just it grows and then you build you just purchase a build slot. And you get settlements with like two build slots. It's just boring. So they watered down a lot of mechanics from yes. Rome 1. So hopefully for Medieval 3, they have to realize that people want Medieval 2, but with good graphics, right? So fix the pathfinding, make the AI better, but basically make Medieval 2, but for 2024 standards or 2025 standards, whenever it's going to come out. That's what Medieval 3 needs to be. I do not want to see Rome 2 reheated again, except Medieval. Sorcery. I don't want to see that. True savages. You know, I don't want to see build slots. You know, we got two build slots in, you know, this kind of system for Medieval 3. I don't want to see it. I'm sick of it. <laughs> it's not a good system. Have you seen Angry Joe's Woman 3 review as well? That one's not quite as good. That was not quite as good. Oh, oh. to be fair, though, his review was better than mine. <laughs> My review is terrible. I shouldn't have made it. All right. I think, I think we're done. Seek out the heretics. Did I block? Oh, no, hang on. Block this. They will be will See, when I go them. on these kind of ranty rants, I definitely get distracted. And this is... A, I think you guys are doing, to, doing this to me on purpose. I get distracted. Yes, for now. And I this is when I lose no a battle. Because I'm not paying enough attention. I've got to make sure everything is okay. Did I recruit over here as well? What do you require? All right, all of that looks good. Champion of the faith. All right, we need to try to generate some more magic with this one. So I'll give this one. Yeah, this one's disciplined. Give him some followers. It's going to generate some magic. Apprentice wizard and hedge wizard is what what you want. And then just go to channeling Your stance down here. I believe this is what. Yeah, there's good magic down here. And this is just defending against the Dark Elves if they do invade. But you can see here they're looking pretty thinned out at the moment. Okay. Let's move on. I think Angry Joe's experience with Warhammer 3 is more on the co-op side, for what I've seen. Yeah, he likes to do those co-op campaigns, for sure. Do we so hard on yourself? Well, I have to be hard on myself, because I need to not do that again. I got raked over the coals for Warhammer 3 review, so I need to not do that again. How do you think Hero Stack would fare against Archeon at current point of campaign? Hmm, it depends. Archeon is likely level 50 at this point, so I would need a lot of equipment for that to be viable, I think. Off topics, you hype for Ashlands? Yes, I'm not hype for Ashlands. Uh, yeah, when it comes down to when they when they update the map for Ashlands, I gotta get back into Valheim and relearn how to not relearn how to play the game, but get, not get rusty again. Cause still got my de no defeat run going. You all want Mandalore Gaming's updated review? Hmm. Yeah, look, I think when it comes to reviews, I need to just step back and let the actual reviewers do the reviewing. Because what happens with me is that I don't feel comfortable doing a review until I've mastered a game. And oftentimes, and this is what happened with Warhammer 3, I had figured out ways to make the really unpleasant parts of the game go away. But it took me a long time to do that. And so I was playing the game, the Realms of Chaos campaign, and I was I was having like a fun time with it because I wasn't playing the Realms of Chaos side of things. But that's not the initial experience that most people are going to have. 
so I'm not a good reviewer. Have you seen Nasimura's Warhammer Total War five years later? I think it's the best review on Total War is today. I don't think I've seen that one, sorry. What is your weakest faction to play as of right now, in your opinion? Weakest faction for me? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe Vampire Coast? I don't play them very often. Uh, Gonzako did a 5 euro super chat. Would you move Medieval 2 settlements and recruitment system over to Warhammer 3? No. No, because... That'll, that changes how the AI is... It, it, it's not so easy to just like take something from one game and just put it into another. Um, I don't think that that would work as well as you might think. If they were going to do that, they needed to put that in at the start. There is too many things that would fuck over if you did that in Warhammer 3. Because there's loads of different factions with loads of different recruit systems. Um, it's too it's too far gone. Like, what they've currently got with Warhammer, it's fine. Like, it's not the best recruit system. But it's tolerable. There's bigger problems. And I think it's more important to focus on the bigger problems than to worry about things that were amazing in other Total War games. Wormy 3's Prolo campaign is pretty good in my opinion. Greasy yeah, I'm pretty sure I said that in my review that it was good. The problem that I have, I think, with reviews is I have a tendency of giving high numbers. I'm basically just like IGN. I'm like, I fucking hate this game. 9 out of 10. <laughs> you know? And it, people used to say that when my, in my uh, Lord reviews. I'd be like, this Lord fucking sucks. He's the worst Lord in the game. 5 out of 10. And they're like, how the hell is that person 5 out of 10? I don't know. Because for me, Warhammer 3 should have been a 9.5 out of 10. And I gave it an 8.5 out of 10, right? And I think a lot of people looked at that and was like, wow, 8.5 out of 10, that's amazing. But to me, 8.5 out of 10 was them falling below expectations. I didn't communicate that very well. Patches up. That's cool, but I'm not going to download the patch while I'm playing this. Women through is so bad that Mandalore stopped reviewing the trilogy's DLC. I think he just he was just focusing on other things. I think he's still a fan of the franchise. We're just doing focusing on other things. Alright, cool. Winter Tooth was destroyed. Awesome. I think that's basically the end of Norska. Uh, that's not that big of a deal. Just don't keep him in my own territory. This is wise. Alright, here's a problem. Here's a big, 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 big problem. Temple of Kara is currently... It's is going after it. That is a big problem. Yes. Hmm. I just need to besiege the settlement. To hmm. war. How are we going to get them to go away? 
just sieging it and go away. That is not my experience of this. My experience of this is that they will sit here and wait until this is defeated. Show me the accused. Yes. Charlie! Moving off! Sikasar! Hmm. I may have to declare war on them to get rid of them from this area. Like, look, even this one's coming up. I wonder where Croak is. Alliance and borrow their army? How am I going to borrow their army with no allegiance points? And you can't borrow Gorok. And they don't want an alliance. No, what I need to do is actually declare war on them, right? I have to wait. I have to wait 14 turns. Because, yeah, they no longer borrow... I guess one thing we could maybe do is get them to peace out with Hexawaddle. Maybe... If they peace out with Hexawaddle, maybe then that would stop. Alright. We need to just hold on to this territory here. Just hold on. Okay, if we have a look at this... Military actions... They condemn gifts given to Hex... Oh no, that's the other way around. We need to see this. Broken treaties. Yeah, I caused that. But they'll get over that fairly quick. Praise Sigma. Hunting the wicked. Okay. I trust no man. For Sigma! We just have to hold this pass here for the time being. Okay, both of these settlements wall up. I got shitloads of growth. Go with the High Sentinel, develop it. It's going to take two turns until a revolt occurs, but we have to be not besieging the settlement over the end turn. Attack! Hmm. Can't you not use influence to better relations with them? No, that only works with elect accounts. Unless you're being silly. Oops. If you're going to war with them anyway, let them have the settlement. No, I'm not going to give it up to, up to them. I need to bring back the Hunts Marshal Expedition. But they're being a pain in my ass. So Alright, I think this the guy nation. moved a little bit over this way. Block him again. What have you to say? Good. Now I am Prince and Just Emperor. attack your allies with magic if they join the fight against the rebels. It's not gonna work, man. Cause if we win the battle, then they get the settlement. It's not, and we can't lose the battle. Approach and make your offer. That I make I'm just no going to have to wait and see what happens. Scent. I don't have any yes. means with which to manipulate it. Can't make it there this turn. Step to it! Yes, to unite the provinces. Onwards! Oops, never mind. Step to it! By the comet! Judgment is death. No, oh, you failed. That's fine. It happens. Who calls for Sigma? So, now, do not test my will. Equipment check. It really should be this guy here that goes ahead, just in case everyone's on ambush. We're less vulnerable with this army due to all the heroes. Alright, that's fine. So we take Karak Krakatan. 
Uh, don't worry about Flayed Rock. Carl Franz will deal with that. And then just keep going north from there. If we have a look over here, we took a little bit of attrition. We can hit the Volary. But that is a lot of force there to deal with for a single battle. For a damaged army. With not that much winds of magic. If we fought this army out in the field, here, where they don't have Dreadquake Battery, not that that would really matter. I am the Supreme Patriarch. So we can replenish in one turn. Tavagras. Move. By the Silver Hammer, yes. March on the witches. Yeah, that guy is mm, probably not coming back. Uh, let's block him again. It's not going to work. Speak. No, sir. Yeah, it's fine. All right, he is able to attack us. If he has to fight us on the field, this is where we will decide to fight. Right here. By Sigma. All right, that's all done there. That looks good. Seek out the heretics. Okay, that's all good. I think we're pretty much done with this turn. It is time. Open gates. Show me the accused. Die. Tools of judgment good. ready. Get rid of him for a few turns. <coughs> Excuse me. That is good. Um, why not? Okay. <clears throat> Hail, fellow nation of men. Now is the time to unite. Yes? The other option that I could do is cancel my agreements with Alberic first, give him this settlement in exchange for this one, or just take that away from him, give him this settlement, wait for the, the treaties to expire, and then do it to him, because all of his armies are out here at the moment. Canceling the treaties with him shouldn't be that big of a deal, and I can use the Cult of Pleasure to just join war against him. And his armies are not going to be a problem for our guys at all. He's going to hate us for this. But I, I need a backup plan. I accept. Here we go. We don't want any of this. I suppose so. Okay. Okay, he doesn't actually hate us that much. Okay. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, we'll see what happens with that. Yeah, because if they crowd around here, what I'll do is I'll occupy it, and I'll just have to do it with a different faction, and just let them continue fighting Hexavital. You stay there. And Theogenist. I trust no man. It shall be done. If we have a look at them, they're probably not... Ooh, Broken Tree of the Border Low Errant Tree. They don't like that very much. By the Heldenhammer. Show me the accused. I could give them a gift. Maybe look. No, I'm not giving them a gift. Screw that. Could you body block the army? No, not all across here, no. And they're coming from three different angles. Fight for our nation! Seek out the heretics. Yeah, alright. Maybe I should be you sitting in... Hang on, hang on, hang on. 
Maybe I should be sitting in the floating pyramid rather than here. The instrument of I'm not sure. Will. But they, look, they'll they're not going to declare war straight away. I th mm, this is iffy. Do a hero wall to prevent them from getting in the city. I don't have enough heroes. I can't. Oh wait, I do have enough heroes. No, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. All right, I think this is one of those situations where we need some money. Oh, sorry, we need some armies, that's what I meant to say. So let's get... Let's get down to it. That should only take two turns now. Against, against the lizards here, probably going to want a lot of guns. Okay. Alright, that seems fine. Hexwaddle can attack port settlement from the sea. Uh, yeah, if they sail around this way, they're not there at the moment. We we've got line of sight over the sea. They're not going to make it there this turn. Frog became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I trust no man. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting for sure. <laughs> Fuck. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. All right, now we're getting complicated with all this. All right, any more diplomacy that can be done? Yeah, I can re-establish alliances and stuff with him, but I don't want to do that. Same thing with Katarin. Not until she fixes things with... Karakadrin. Uh, Stephen Byerly did a five dollar super chat. Some of the elect accounts. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Oh, you mean like the um, state troops? Nah. Um, Bar Chius subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. So I should really have a look at how things have been going with Clan Angren. I haven't really been doing much with them lately. In these dark times, yeah, relations heading together. downhill a bit because of broken treaties with someone. But it'll take a long time for us to f to for that to be screwed over. Then I want to have a look at Bretonia. I yeah, that's all fine with them. Seal. Okay. Yeah, there's some iffy shit happening here. Let's see how that goes. This stuff over here is actually really quite calm. Show me the accused. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Wait, let me just check for rogue armies. Pretty sure there isn't any, but we should always double check. Yep, okay, moving on. They will be judged. Damn, legend didn't get the meme. Mm, I guess I didn't. Ready. Oh, I didn't want you to go out there. Won't Legend save file scuff with the new update? I don't think so. 
If I had mods, then yes. Mods definitely get fucked up by updates. But we're not running any mods, so it should be fine. His control is really hard. Getting to Ravel if he owns it will be really hard. Well, the, the problem is, if I own the settlement and I cause it to revolt, so then I lose a battle and the campaign is over. So that, that can't work that way. So that's just not an option. I'm surprised El uh, Eltharion survived this long. He still has the settlement out here. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, that guy wants to go around the other way. Genuinely not knowing, but could you just abandon the settlements? But if it's a ruin, then the rebellion goes away, so that won't work either. <laughs> yeah, if there's a rebellion going on and you abandon the settlement, the uh, the rebellion disappears. Rebellions do not um, occupy ruins. What I'm doing is the only way to bring him back. For this campaign, at least. If you summon the revolt, can you capture the city and gift it to them that turn? No, you can't initiate diplomacy with a rebel faction. Until they've occupied the settlement, I won't be able to negotiate with them. Raise, occupy. Never build it up at all. But then it won't rebel. That won't work. Thing is, I've been doing this a long time. I've tried all these different things. There's lots of things that'll just make the rebellion disappear or not show up in the first place. We just have to hope that Itza doesn't do anything. Oh, raise, occupy, but never build it up at all. I see what you mean. So you raise it, then you occupy it, so it's got no garrison. Yeah, but then the problem remains, how do I cause it to revolt? I would need, like, 50 lords um, raiding the territory, and that'll take, like, 20 turns. So that'll end up taking a really long time. What we're doing here might take us four or five turns. So I see what you're doing, and that would work. You are right, that would work. Yes, you're correct, that would work. Who are you trying to bring back? Marcus Wolfhart. Because, yeah, it's way quicker for us to cause a revolt in an enemy settlement than to cause a revolt in our own. Just popped in, sounds like it's a tough spot. No, 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 we're not in that tough of a spot. We're just trying to do something, and there's lots of factors that might thwart it. And we're just trying to predict all the ways that we can prevent that from happening. Problem is, after sacking it, he can't re besiege, so it's a could occupy. That's exactly right. Nope. 
<laughs> Austin Mike is a hegemon. Hegemon, hegemon, not sure. Alright, so what ended up happening? Yeah. What's this? Oh, they did it right. Yeah, okay. Oh, you motherfuckers. Alright, we're gonna have to come at this from a different angle. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to get the Bordelow Erin tree to have this. So declaring war on them is nine turns away. Cause if I sit here with this army and just get attrition to nothing, that's not gonna work. I can't go into encamp stance here. If I sack it, they're gonna occupy it. My knowledge is yours. Because the revolt will show up this turn. <sighs> Man, they really fucked me over by going to war with um, my he by Hexawaddle there. So yeah, I have to wait nine turns, which means these guys are just gonna sit around here for nine turns, are they? I tell you what, we'll give it another turn, and we'll see what happens. What I could maybe do... Hang on. Is alternate. I could maybe alternate. So, we send... We send Volkmar the Grim in as well, to besiege, and this guy going into encamp stance. But I would need more forces defending the Floating Pyramid. Because what might end up happening here is that these guys end up taking shitloads of attrition and then just go away. Yes. Hunt them out. It means the revolt will have to be dealt with a couple of times, but that's okay. Who needs reliability at this point? I need reliability. I have shitloads of allies. I'll lose them all. <laughs> I'm not strong enough to take on the entire world like this and not suffer any defeats. No way. That's never going to work. Oh, do you know what would be even better? If I could give the settlement to Yuan Bo. But even my patience is tried. Fuck! Establish a trade agreement with him. <laughs> I can give. I could give him the settlement. What about those other lizards down here? No. Oh, I'm trading with them as well. We got too greedy. Hmm. The Empire. Well, I've got to wait nine turns until I can declare war on them. Ready. All right, I'm gonna Chosen. need to free up some money because I am going broke if I do this. True servant of Sigma. All right, you go back over here. We don't need this army because it is just—it's not gonna happen. Protector of the Sigmarite Arch Lector. It's not gonna happen. And anyway, if it does happen, you know, we, we've got other forces here ready. So that's going to free up a lot of funds that I'm going to need to put up over here. Because I'm going to need a lot of defenses to repel their attacks. Alright. Volkmar needs to stay here another turn. Go into channeling stance because, yeah, his magic has not been great for a while. We need to raise another army here. Basically the same sort of thing. I serve Sigma. I will do anything for Sigma. Okay. 
the righteous hammer of and we just have to sort of wait and see how things play out over here hopefully they go away or even better still maybe they make up with each other that would be okay it could happen it could happen the defenses here are getting beefed up could you give sell it to Ostermark? No, it's not going to work. I, they don't border the region. How can I make this work? It's like reserved much. only for the most honourable. Thing is, if I give him these regions. He's gonna like me, and I want him to declare war on me, if I do this. Hang on, let me just see, if I go Floating Pyramid, would you join war against Hexawaddle? Yeah, they would, easily. So I can cancel this now. Give him these two settlements here. And this one and raid his territory. Could do that. Because, yeah, if we can get him to declare... He's not going to declare war on us when, when we're this powerful and he's that weak, though. He's not going to do it. No, that's, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. No. The quickest way is to somehow get the revolt here to work. The next quickest way would be for Borderloo to own it. But let's that's our plan B, basically. So let's just try to keep things going like this for the time being, and we'll just see. Summon the Elector Counts. Raid him? Nah, no, even if he hates us, he's not going to declare war on us because we're so strong. We have too many alliances. He's not going to do it. Does capturing yourself and raiding it not work? Well, then the... Yes, but it will take longer doing it that way. What I'm trying to do... Look, here's the thing. This will happen. This will happen. One day, one way or another, it will happen. But I don't want it to take 20 turns. That's all I'm trying to say. If I go and raid it myself, that's going to take 20 turns. Because we've got very high natural public order. It's a green territory. Even if I loot and occupy it, it'll take a while for it to revolt. I No, I'd have to raise the settlement and then occupy it so there's no garrison there whatsoever. That's the only way it would actually work. Um, and then, and then, I would be at war with, um, Hans Marshall Expedition. I don't want to be at war with him. Moving out. The men are keen. Close in and kill. This is Can you give an example of a disaster battle that you would accept? By the way, how's the monetization thing going to the other channel? Yeah, we got that fi fixed. Um... I can't really give you an example of a battle that I would accept, but I can tell you examples of battles that I won't accept. Um, one unit spams of boring units. Turn 5 disaster battle. Siege defenses where you've only got the garrison going up against three full stacks of enemy forces. Battles that are, quite frankly no matter what happens, it's impossible. Battles where I have absolutely no tools to work with. So, as long as you don't meet those bad criteria, I'll I'll usually accept it. Like, the battle has to be winnable. If the battle is, if it's not possible to win the battle, then what's the point of even attempting it? Um, you know, unless there's something interesting, unless there's a reason for fighting the battle and losing, which most of the time it isn't, because most people are like, this is my last ditch effort, if I lose this, it's fucking game over. And there's nothing that can be done about it. Because they just, they've just royally screwed their campaign up. And the most, most important thing is, is the situation interesting? That's the main thing I look for. Um, it doesn't matter if the battle is winnable or not, but most of the time, unwinnable battles, there's just nothing that can be done, because it's like melee infantry spam. Well, I'll go into this battle, I'll just watch myself die. People don't want to see that. Speak for yourself, legend. 
So the main thing there is that disaster battles need to be interesting. Like the vast majority of disaster battles as well that get sent in are very much not interesting. Things that we've already seen before. He's making loads of as money. You say, sir. Huntsman General. Oh, maybe I should have held Champion into a return first. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, that's, that's right. Do it at the demons. Bring me to my men. No, no, just leave it be. It's fine. It shall be done. Seek out the heretics. Alright, so what happened over here? Nah. You nah. Okay, well that one's not gonna reinforce if I launch the attack. What's the garrison like? Jeez. These are not great in a siege. Could lose that. It's like I don't have that much winds of magic. Where's Ulrika? She was in that other army group. Mm. Alright, I got an idea. I'm gonna go into ambush stance over here. I am in ascent. Because we don't want Zatan the Black sitting inside the settlement. I'm going to block Showing this army here. I just say? want him to move out of there. Nice. If we're a little bit damaged, Strong that's fine. Marco. We're also generating some more winds of magic. I serve Sigma. Warrior of Sigma. So this guy is just, yeah, generating magic. Good. But some more disciplined characters get more capacity for it. Give us a live disaster battle. I've done it before. It's not good content. We end up losing loads of viewers whenever I do that. So the format for disaster battles works best when I can curate them in my own time. Because oftentimes I will spend hours, literally hours, going through my emails trying to find a good disaster battle. I'm not even joking about that. Sometimes I'll spend four hours going through my emails trying to find a good disaster battle and then I'll fight the battle and it's only 15 minutes long. So it, it does not work for live streams. It'll be mostly just me reading emails. You know, a lot of people think that I just download a save file and then just immediately play it. Nope, that is so rare. It's so rare for me to just download the first save file and that just be the one I do. Because the thing is, with a with a series that's gone on as long as Disaster Battles, most people have seen everything at this point. So, if I see situations that are common, I just... I can't justify doing that. I might as well just not even release a video. They just damage the channel. Got to find something interesting. Does it help to send screenshots in the email showcasing the situation? Uh, yeah, usually. It helps a little bit, but I usually download the save file anyway and have a look myself. Because sometimes there's little tidbits in the, in the screenshot that it doesn't capture. You ever meant the siege in the steam tanks? Dim Sackers Live Disaster Battle? Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, no, I, I'm not confident with that, and it's not worth risking it. It's not worth risking it. Because I just don't have that much Winds of Magic. These guys are not great in melee. These guys have loads of armor piercing. Zatan the Black. It's not worth the risk. Right now. I am ready. Are you? Yeah. Otherwise, I would do it if I if I felt like I could win. Tools of judgment. I do it. I just don't feel that way. Heretic. 
They will be judged. Those gates will open. Quite a few failures here. What? Is that where heretics lurk? Tools of judgment ready. I Good, there's a success. All right. And checking on Zinch. Also, doing this is a way to ensure that we get good relations with the people out here that are fighting against Zinch. Especially the dwarves. They don't forget this kind of stuff. They really appreciate it. Uh, didn't I have another one? Oh yeah, it's over here. I trust no man. No heretics will get in my way. So this is a bit of a training exercise for them. And then there, then there's this. This is um. War calls. Yeah, yeah. This is this is weird. True servant of Sigma. Yeah. All right. Did you not get a new PC yet? No. We'll get it soon. Know who I am? I've had too many just real life expenses that have come up. A uh, new PC just had to take the back seat for for the moment. We'll definitely get it by the end of the year. So many expenses this past month. I, I well past couple of months. Getting ready for the baby and stuff. <laughs> I underestimated how expensive it is to have a baby. Anyway. Yes, for now. And I'm not going to buy a computer instead of buying something that the baby needs. Fuck that. <laughs> not gonna do that. I'm not gonna start being a deadbeat dad. Alright. Uh construction. I don't think I did Yep, okay, let's move on. And in a day, this computer runs the game just fine. I know it's not perfect. Yes, blessed is this action. But it runs it just fine. Friends of the Empire, come. Yeah, that's fine. But no. Not until you fix things with Karat Kedrin. No deal. One of the most expensive things? Well, some of the expensive things are things like you need to have a car seat, you need to get the crib, you need to get the... Crib's actually not that expensive. The, the stroller. Hospital, coming up hospital expenses. Among other things. <laughs> I do want to fight him. I don't want to fight him at the Volary. Yeah. Awesome. I made the right strategic decision. We'll attack it next turn. Could you raffle off the old one? I'm not going to do that. No. I'm not going to sell you guys a bloody eight year old computer. In addition to that as well, we've had to do a bathroom renovation. That's the most expensive thing. We need to buy a new mattress because ours was like 14 years old. So we need to buy a new one because it was... This, the, the springs are basically... It's sinking, basically. Um, my wife wants a new car. <laughs> so it's just like, oh my god. So many expenses. What does it go on a holiday? Airfare prices are like, I don't have money for this shit. I 
Uh, pre Debon, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, I appreciate that. What car do you think about? I don't know. Whatever my wife wants. I just gotta get the money for it, that's all. I'll get it. I'll get it. Like, just through ad revenue. I'm not, I'm not saying you guys need to super chat for it. But what I'm saying is, it just takes time to get the money through ad rev. Especially considering it's just been January, which is the lowest income month. Yeah, I'll get it. I just uh, I just need time. And so the computer, it's getting, all of these other things kind of need to happen first. I'll, we'll probably get a new computer before I get a new car, by the way. You have private health system in Australia? Yeah, and I hate it. I hate the private health system. But you're kind of forced to do it. Otherwise, you pay us a levy. So, which is basically what it costs to get private health insurance. So it's like, it's optional, but it's not really optional. So I can pull money out of the mortgage but interest rates are really high. So it's like, would the money that I make from a new computer be worth paying the extra interest on the mortgage when interest rates are high? Probably not. So, you know, not worth doing it. There's just a lot of things that right now, you know, it just makes it not worth getting a new computer at this very moment. But by the end of the year, it should be here. Get refinance? No, no, I'm not going to do that. And another thing is that I am never, ever, 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 under any circumstance, ever, going to take financial advice from chat. <laughs> it's never going to happen. And you guys shouldn't take financial advice from me either. Are you financially stable? Oh yeah, I'm totally financially stable. Yeah, totally fine. Um, just... I think it's a bad time to buy a new computer that's all because that's this is what's happening right people see that i'm playing on like medium graphics setting and they're like legend you need to buy a new computer and i'm just like no i don't need to buy a new computer i mean i will but i don't need to Waiting for the 5,000 series NVIDIA cards. That's another reason. If, the longer you wait for a computer, computers get cheaper or better. So, could wait for the next gen of stuff. Get something even better. Everyone thinks now you need to have the best PC config. No, some people think that, and they project that on others. I mean, it has been a long time since I've upgraded my computer. I had a few like companies saying that they were gonna like um, like give me some cheap parts, but they were like, "Yeah, we can give you some of our old generation stuff." I'm just like, I'm not interested in that. I don't, I don't want old gen. Okay, here they come in. There he is. He'll okay. 
Okay, okay. Um, we don't want that. Alright, so there's the Hunts Marshall Expedition, and then we've got Gorok over here taking ass loads of attrition. Another thing to keep in mind is in five turns, we'll be forced to make a decision on this. So what I need to do now is bring By the Heldenhammer. I will cast out all evil. Bring in Volkmar. I need Gorok to go away. Yes. Sigma grant me strength. I guess it doesn't matter if he takes a bit of attrition this turn. Because his army's way stronger. The revolts happened now. Okay, I need to check. Forward. Yeah, Gorok, could you go away? Just fuck off. This is mine. Go away. <laughs> Pick off Gorok. Hmm. So we've got some serious defenses in here. They must be globally recruiting. They've been sitting there for a while. Go after it. we got our defenses here. They're pretty good. Because if we back off from the siege now, if I sack the city, okay, let's just say I go in there and sack the city, right? Um, I can't just destroy Gorok's army. We need him to back off far enough away. Who calls? If he goes down here, I can block this path. Two arms! Volkmar! Hmm. Yeah, very, very not sure. Okay. Very much not sure about how to make that happen now, but... Gorok needs to go away. Ready. All right, what happened to that army On here? Oh, I think I've lost track of him again. Moving off. Oh, there he is. There he is. Gracious. All right. Well, Gracious. he's still recruiting fairly good units. Who calls? Everywhere around here. Draining my winds of magic. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. It is time. Okay, sell off the demon stump. Welcome, my countrymen. Sigmar's will. What if I don't manually and cast spells in his army? I won't damage it enough to make any impact. They will be judged. That's the problem. Just won't be enough to make any serious impact. Huntsman General! What orders? Huntsman General! Strike first! Strike fast! Yeah, it's all about making enough impact to make make a difference. Because if I if I uh, do that, and then Gorok makes the attack, if Gorok himself is all that's left, then he'll still be able to win that siege. I need him to go away. There's no other way to get him to stop. Don't forget, we can't just go into the battle and then concede defeat. That counts as campaign loss. Alright, so over here, we succeeded in our little mission here. Taking the Volary away from him gets rid of this landmark. And this one here. That seriously hurts. Okay. Oh, no! It's okay, if he wants to come back, that's fine. Double failure. That's okay, He'll, he won't be able to launch the attack at the Volary. Let us begin. Yeah, he won't be able to launch the attack. Probably... Oh, it's water resolve victory. Now, we should fight this manually, do the best job we can, because we need to make sure we don't take too much damage. Can't he just get the city, you buy the other one from him, and cause the revolt on Gorok? Okay, so I can't cause the revolt on someone I'm neutral with. I have to be at war with them. I can't declare war on Gorok for about... 
um, probably 14 turns. So the other option then, this is plan B, is to take the settlement, give it to... You know what could work? What might work is if I sack the settlement and then loot and occupy it. It might destroy the garrison. That could work. But the problem is I only get one shot at that. Sorry, it might destroy the building so that they, they don't have that problem. But it's I've done that before and sometimes it doesn't work. The other thing I could do... I've got it. I know what I need to do. I got it. I'll do this battle here. I know what I need to do. I've just figured it out. I've just figured it out. I've got it. The little puzzle, it the gears in my head, they just ticked over and they were like, why don't you try that? Like, that'll work. That will work. Okay, for in order for this to work though, we need to keep the revolt going one more turn. Alright, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Yeah, they used a nuke, it didn't do anything. Here's what we do. We occupy the settlement. The revolt is still active. And then you sell the settlement to... Um... Oh, right, I see what's going on there. Is that actually doing any damage? He's doing some. You sell the settlement to Alberic. Alberic's garrison is trash. So his garrison will not be able to repel the revolt. And then we capture the settlement. Uh, sorry, then then um, thingy comes back. I got it. But I have to um, I have to let the revolt build up one more turn. Otherwise, it won't be strong enough. It'll launch the attack and, and it won't it will succeed. But yeah, I've got it. I think I've got it. So it should take two or three more turns. Now, there's also a possibility that Alberic's shitty garrison will still manage to repel the Hunts Marshall Expedition forces. That is a possibility. But you'll be in war with Marcus Wolfhart, no? No, I won't. No, I won't. That doesn't really matter too much. I'll be able to get out of that war pretty quickly to bribe him. Yeah, this is not going to end up doing very much in total. No. Yeah, I got it. We will make this happen. Because Itza is not going to attack the rebellion. Oh, hang on a second. They will attack the rebellion of an ally of theirs. They will actually do that. Okay, no, I don't actually have it. Um, if I gave the settlement over to Itza, well then they'll just take out the rebellion, won't they? If I gave it over to Yuan Bo, if I gave it to Yuan Bo, that could work. No, 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 the, the, what if it backfires? No, I've got to do it to Alberic. Oh, what if I can get Itza to cancel his alliance with Alberic? Because he doesn't like me very much. That could work. Mm. If you give the settlement to Albrecht, there will be no garrison for one turn. Yes, except that over the end turn, that's when they get their garrison. And it's not until the end of the next turn. So, you, you're right, but also wrong. Right. I'm going to go and cast some spells, because otherwise this battle might take a while. I'm not going to cast that on just one. 
Okay, some magic, that spell. Yeah, they're too slow to move out of the way. Okay, these two here, go destroy that. Alright guys, this is one of those rare opportunities where I actually really need to take a piss. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All good. Yeah, I was really busting. I had to go. And I hope we lost 100 people on YouTube because of that. <laughs> oh, well. People wonder why I don't pee during streams usually, but I was... I was about to piss myself. Time to advance. Let's get in over here. Everyone get in. I don't think they're going to send that much at us. Just need a little bit more and then this battle will be over. Slayer did a $5 super jet. What if you abandon the settlement, reoccupy, and then sell it so it has no garrison and won't it get one over the end turn? Okay, so that won't work in preserving the the rebellion. If you raise the settlement, it will immediately get rid of the revolt. That's the problem. Thanks for super chat though. Use the million captains there to assault the garrison. That won't do enough. Oh, there won't be... A, that's the problem, though. When I sell the settlement, there won't be any garrison. It'll The garrison comes back on their turn. Over the end turn. You'll just have to wait and see. You'll just have to wait and see. Alright, that is getting absolutely smashed. I actually did do a decent amount of damage in total, but I just heal it. That was an unbreakable unit, so they had to be destroyed anyway. Okay, we could use a few more troops over this way. See some of these guys are a bit obstructed.
Oh, there's also the hell cannon shooting, but that's okay. I can put a stop to that with this. A couple of these are sorted out. That is doing nothing. Also guys, I don't really want any suggestions that are going to take like 20 or 30 turns to implement. The whole point of this is to do it quickly. These guys are being a bit iffy about charging in. to do to get the victory here. left. There we go. Just the hell cannons that need to be dealt with. Good, and we're in really good shape. We should have no trouble dealing with Zatan's forces now. Given how well this went, I probably could have actually handled fighting Zatan. Probably could have. In this settlement siege, probably could have handled it. Because this was pretty easy. At the end of all, which campaign do you think is harder, Alithana or Imric? Probably similar tier of difficulty. I would say Imric. I'm not sure. Yeah, Imric. Especially now the Chaos Dwarfs are there because he's a flaming attack dude. That going up against flame resistance. I'd say Imric. Yeah. Hope you washed your hands. No, look. This is how I pee. What I do is I put my dick in my hand and then I get my other hand to just like cover it completely and then I piss just straight into my hand, and then when I'm done, I get my hand that's covered in piss, and I just rub it all over my face. Like a normal person. Because <laughs> I wash my hands. God damn it, it's like basic hygiene. Come on. SKN912 did a $5 super jet. Hey Legend, do you know any tricks on how to increase research rate for Clan Mulder? Also, who are you more excited for, Nagash or Thankwall? Hmm. Are we thankful? Um, the main way of increasing your research rate for Skaven is to research the the monster one, the like second one down the line. I can't remember what it's called exactly. You research that, and then you just get all of these followers, Molder Experimenter or something, and that gives you ten percent research rate. And you just get heaps of those. Eventually, you end up with like a thousand research rate. So yeah, our army's in great shape. Yeah, leave that there. Yes. He's like, God damn it, I thought they were there, but then they disappeared. That worked out very nicely for us. Show me the accused. By the comet.
We've nearly kicked them out of the Chaos Wastes. Good. Okay, and we've leveled up for Balthazar Gelt. How many levels did he get? Two. That's nice. Okay, we need Master Artillery. Artillery Master. So that'll give us extra ammunition, missile strength, and reload time reduction. Nice. And stand your ground will allow us a bit of melee defense. Yep. Okay, that's good. I'm pretty sure this guy here has got everything that he needs. Yeah. Okay, that looks good. All right, yeah, we're really pounding down warriors. on him now. I shall see to it. Yes, blessed is this action. All right, so these guys are done with Greasus for the time being. I command here. Tools of judgment ready. Report. Oh, well, what happens? Show me the accused. They will be judged. Biggest threat to your win right now? A, a minor settlement attack. No faction is really threatening that much, but if someone like a rogue army or something, basically a surprise. Actually, you know what? I'd actually say Cult of Pleasure. They're looking a bit, a bit dangerous. Look at this invasion force coming here. Look at this. My visions predict yeah, let me make sure that this army here does not interfere. Heretics. Good. With the invasion. The goddess forbids it. Tools of judgment ready. Yeah, we need they to risk it. Judged. What have you to <sighs> seek out the heretics? Cease this. What? Uh, what are you supposed to do? Those gates. 86% critical failure. Yeah, the game's like, okay, this is going too well for him. Start the usual Legend of Total War critical failure machine. This will fail. No. Pick up the pace. Alright, well, whatever. They'll come back. They'll come back. Everything's fine. Your word is like So, yeah, what we could do... Unworkable. Okay, this could work, but do it next turn. Do it next turn. Don't do it this turn. Because, yeah, we need to buff up this defenses a bit. Oh, sorry, these forces a bit more. Because even if I give it to them now, they'll probably defeat it. Because that'll just make the attack straight away. So wait one more turn. Vimarain did a CHF20 super chat. Hey legend, started Nakara campaign. And I got a question. What do you use to kill towers? I must recruit Furies, or is there a good option? Um, I don't bother killing the towers off. Okay, this is what I do. I just use Nakari to capture the points. And that destroys the towers. That's what I recommend. Get okay. Get lords. Like, don't recruit a full stack necessarily. Get some lords as around you. Some melee mortal lords. Once they're at rank four, they'll be on a horse. You run them around with Nakari and capture points, and it demolishes the tower. You'll have supply lines, but you can't get melee characters straight away. The only way to do it is with lords. Sorry, melee heroes. Yes, son of Sigma. Yes, my lord. But yeah, appreciate that super chat, dude. And how are we going here? Alright, the situation is definitely improving with Karat Kadrin between the two.
She's advancing up this way. Alright, I think that Karakodrin will not declare war on them if I ally with them again. Friends of Kislev, we greet you. Actually, why don't we do it this way? Defensive alliance first. All Kislev. And then military alliance. <laughs> Get loads of money. You have been <laughs> Okay, now, there is no further risk to us on the border, which means these armies can now be disbanded. I'll keep the heroes in the area, but this is going to save us a lot of cash. Because, yeah, it is just not going to happen. If you have a look at this, he's not too happy about it. But our relation with him is pretty good, so it, it, it'll recover. It'll be fine. He's not going to declare war on us. Alright, so that frees up a lot of cash, and that also means it's fewer things I have to look over every turn. But I'll keep these um, heroes there. Alright, that looks good. So, let's have a look here. There's nothing there. We'll check diplomacy once more time. Armored in faith. No, nothing with Bordeloo. I may need to declare war on them soon. Then... By the silver hammer, yes! Blocking these don't make any sense. Now! To untame lands! So the next stop for these two is Firemouth. I trust no man. Pick up the pace. Ready. Yeah, this next up. We should probably try and assassinate this one here because I'm just trying to assassinate my guys. The Empire. Might recruit another witch hunter here just for scouting. He's not going to be good at blocking, but. Yes. Oh, I think now. I just moved him out of the it settlement. Is time. The Empire. It shall be done. Okay, that all looks pretty good. I will subject you to a panoply of torments. You will hurt them. <laughs> I just find that so funny that I could be like, hey, could you break your alliance with Archeon, your only ally? He's like, yeah, sure, why not? Why not? All right, that looks good. All right, I need to get this hero back over here because what I'll do is I'll actually bring this guy over to kill the camp so that Carl Franz doesn't have to make such a big detour. And maybe I'll have this one here go after the Fortress of Orag. He'll easily be able to beat it. But Carl Franz has to take out Greasus one last time. Maybe twice, we'll see. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Everything here is sorted. So yeah, my army strength has probably been reduced fairly significantly this turn by doing that stuff. But it's fine. The new Zinch Lords gives Chaos Infantry physical resistance, and the last point in the red line gives 20% ward save. Seems cool, but maybe a bit boring. Yeah. Okay, so the physical resistance thing, that is common with the other Lords of Warriors of Chaos. They they have that as well. So that's not very that's not different. So yeah, I can definitely imagine what it's like. But yeah, 20% ward save, that's not bad. Like, don't get me wrong, I didn't think it was bad that they were getting melee lords and melee heroes. I think it's good. I just think it's a bit boring. Like, Zinch needs something else. Z Zinch just doesn't do it for me in Warhammer 3. Something about Zinch just doesn't click.
Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that saves me a lot of hunting him down. The new melee infantry of Kislev is tier zero, and it's so good. Yeah, I've had a look. I've seen it. I haven't played it yet, obviously. It does look really good. I think they really don't want people Kossar spamming. And that is a way to do it. By providing alternatives to Kossar spamming, you will not see as much Kossar spamming. Because this is something that is done really badly in new Total War games, right? They... They make units that have strategic downsides to, to recruiting. That's not a good way of putting it. Like, at the beginning of a campaign, you have so limited number of recruitable units types, right? And there's usually one that is, like, clearly the best. And due to the way that the battle system works, where missile units can actually hold their own in melee for a short amount of time, you oftentimes find that it's best to have... What and the way to counter that is to make to give the player incentive to actually recruit other units that have just as much value but in a different way the funny thing is they're stronger than empire halberd is yeah that's insane to me that they would be that strong A tier 0 unit can be stronger than a tier 2 unit. That requires... Don't forget, Halberdiers require two buildings. <laughs> so, Kislev, Drunken Northern Kislev, are able to train better anti-large infantry without any equipment, without any infrastructure, than the Empire at tier 2. You know, the, the most powerful race in the, in the Warhammer world, essentially. That's what you call power creep. And it's fine. I don't have a problem with power creep. But it definitely exists. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lose, 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 lose. Yes. Yes. I'd much rather fight dwarfs than dark elves. Reaction to Shadows have changed in the YouTube trailer? Nah. They'll just copyright claim me or, or uh, copyright strike. Ever since Creative Assembly has shown that they're willing to copyright strike creators that they don't like, I'm pretty unwilling to post their uh, uh, like their content on my channel. You think leopards at tier two make the ice leopard doom crap? Stack, okay, mid-game. Yeah, it's, it depends what you're going up against. Srini actually showed me that, well, showed us all, that Leopard Doom stack is really good against, like, large opponents. So if you're going up against Ogres, it's really good. But if you're going up against Infantry, they're, they're very squishy. Zinch needs more beaks. It's all good. All right, look at this. My allies are winning against Nagarond. However, they're not at war with the Cult of Pleasure. So let them finish up with... Uh, there's actually still a lot of armies here. But they're winning. And you know the funny thing is right now? Is that Clan Angrind is completely empty of, terror of like, armies. <laughs> Completely empty of armies. All of their armies are out here. I could break my alliances with them. Wait 10 turns. And then just like roll over this. So quickly. 
and just leave them in Ulthuan to fight the Dark Elves indefinitely. Karak Kadrin is not going to be happy with me if I do that, though. How strong are the dwarves in lore? So, an individual dwarf warrior is very powerful, but the dwarves are low in numbers. It's very similar to the situation with the high elves. They're just a, a dwindling population, but they're very strong, usually. Any plans for 500k? Now, as I've said before, there's no plans for 500k. The... Because it took too long to get to 500k for one thing. Um, just don't feel like celebrating it. When we surpass the Total War official YouTube channel in subs, that's the next celebration. Shadow Serpent did a 10 dollars budget. Hey Legion, love your content. What would you say would need to change for the dwarves in the next DLC to make them more relatable on a scale with the newer races? Much appreciate all you do. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate Super Chat. I think what they really need is a campaign mechanic that is universal across all the dwarves that gives them something that no other race does. Now, in my opinion, um, something that I think would be very useful for them is a going a mechanic mechanic that allows them to build tall instead of instead of wide <laughs> so what i mean by that imagine you're playing as the dwarfs and in all of your major settlements you had an option next to it that says dig deeper where you have to spend either resources like maybe there should be maybe you have to spend oath gold or you have to spend money dig deeper on your on your um karak let's just say you can do this with karak a uh, karaza karak right dig deeper and what it does is next turn they dig deeper into karaza karak and then some random events could happen so it could be they dug deeper and found a treasure trove of resources and what that does is it adds like an undercity in your own city for your dwarfs and you've already got this mechanic with um Oxyodal, you can have like under cities, so four build slots, and each of those build slots allows you to build more finances, something like an armory, um, you know, build a massive vault that allows you to uh, increase your magic item uh, drop chance per faction wide, something like that. Or it might, or you might encounter a bloodthirster, you know, Balrog essentially. So there's risk involved with digging deep. But the rewards are seriously tangible. Like, like in terms of raw res like you might uncover a resource. Like let's say you dig deep and you discover let's say you're in Karaza Karak and you discover gold. So not only do you have gems at Karaza Karak, but you've also got access to gold. Or you dig deep and you find obsidian, something like that. So you can find resources that otherwise wouldn't be there. And it should be random. It shouldn't be the same every time you play through it. Something like that, maybe. And that'll allow you to have a smaller empire, but actually have more wealth. Something like that. So that could be good. And if we end up seeing that exact same thing in the Dwarf rework, and I don't get credited with it, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, they didn't friggin' get any stronger. Welcome to Fair Bretonia, Commoner. Okay, they're less willing to do it this turn. They were more willing last turn. Alric's will! Unachievable! They will be judged. Mm. I need for Itza to hate me more. Speak. Yeah, we don't lose reliability for doing that. Only on allies. So they're not going to be happy with that, that I did that. Well 
Welcome to Fair Declare Britain. war on them in seven turns. Unworkable. Yeah, the rebellion didn't get any bigger. If I back off, then these guys here capture it. He's still at war with Hexavital. I could just give him floating pyramid to make him do that. I can get my hundred grand off him. A hundred grand? For floating pyramid? What about High Sentinel? I can't give him that settlement. I mean, think how many armies I could recruit with that. Got another idea. This actually might work. Got another idea. All right, if I occupy the Temple of Kara, I'll occupy the Temple of Kara and not deal with this revolt, right? Allow it to get bigger. And then when it gets bigger, I'll sell it to these guys. And that should cause Gorok to go away. The Righteous Hammer of Sigma. I will sell Floating Pyramid. I want you to stay here. What orders? I will do anything for Sigma. Yep, I will sell flo Floating Pyramid because it's worth loads of money. Oh, could you how about swap? Oh my god. <laughs> That's a much better. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, and then I want you to break your defensive alliance. And I want you to break your trade agreement. And I want you to break your non aggression pact. No, nope, don't have one. Okay, and then I want you to. Give me a lot of money. I won't get quite as much. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I'm going to go to war with Alberic, then why don't we get treaties with him? We go... Non-aggression pact and money. Okay, that way we're not going to go to war with Itza. I mean, this has to work. We don't need a non-aggression pact. As long as we got the trade agreement, he's he's not going to hate us because this is going to be worth a lot of money, uh, a lot of relation with him. Okay, do that. Okay, so now we've got Spectazuma, and Spectazuma is. I live to serve the Emperor. It's actually not what I want. I don't want Spectazuma. All right, I am going to occupy the settlement now. Because otherwise they're just not going to go away. Can you reset the siege timer by cancelling and restarting the siege? No, because because it's based on how much time they take to attrition. You can do that in Wyoming 2, but you can't do that in Wyoming 3. So we're going to... Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea. I'm going to sack it. I'm gonna see if this will work. And then I'm gonna this loot and occupy it. Raise your weapons! Ready! So there's no garrison. And then all I have to do is just stand outside the settlement and let him take it. Hey, we got a replenishment rate follower. Looted a settlement with a large army. 
I just guess I don't, don't loot much. Okay, so here's what happens. This army comes in here and captures it. Okay. The lady grants you... Wouldn't that be a defeat? No, because there won't be a battle. It'll just it'll just capture it. You can just stand out of the water. No, stand next to it. There's not going to be a battle. They'll just take the settlement. On the water. No, no, no. No need. I'll stand right there. That way, if there is a battle, I can just get rid of him and just try something else later. Doesn't that count as a defeat? Nope. Won't Toddy reinforce? There won't be a battle. There won't be a battle. One of the counters are minus limit loss. But okay, let me show you something. Where is it? Settlements lost. 194. Okay. <laughs> Every time I sell a settlement, it counts as a settlement lost. All right. The main thing here is zero battle defeats, not zero settlement defeats, so settlement losses. This will not have a battle. And all I have to do is give him spec to Zuma afterwards. So we put in military buildings. And that'll allow us to sell it to him. As long as they don't attack me over the end turn, which they shouldn't, because we've got a trade agreement. It's a bit risky. Won't Gora go first and wipe out the revolt? Nope. They don't take out the revolts uh, to anyone but their allies. I'm not allied with them. They won't do it. They'll leave it alone. True servant of Sigma. Sir, stay together. So that is a convoy. I don't need to take that out. These all are mockers. They will be judged. Speak. Show me the oh, wait. accused. He was supposed to go around Explicit this way here. I trust no man. Step to it. You can ask the AI armies to leave. I have never seen that work. All that does is piss them off. I've never... That mechanic doesn't work. Alright, that looks good there. And over here... Who calls? Where did Zatan go? The nation calls. For Sigma! Onwards! Okay, he just ran away. I am the Supreme Patriarch. Do not waste my potential. Moving off. That'll be a minor sentiment battle. Okay. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. Affirmative. And then Valley of Horns. By Sigma's will, come in peace. Eh, I want more money. Oh my god, that's worth heaps. Could I trade you for a settlement? Oh, they still haven't captured that. Nah, just take the money. Sigma's will! Now. Alright, I don't want to be sitting inside men. of the settlements, but at the same time, he doesn't have any money left, so I'll wait until next turn. By the comet. Show me the accused. Yes. You are judged. Damn it. It's alright. Alright, 
Alright, this is going really nicely. I'm the one in charge, man here! The nation calls! I didn't My order order. Agrees. It's all good. Who calls? Did we end up blocking him? Yep. Good. Awaiting orders. Alright, that is looking pretty good. And uh, over here. Tools of it's still looking pretty good. Can we block this one again? Seek out the heretics. What have you to good. say? And who's this? They will be judged. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to block any of those high level generals. Maybe the level 39. Yes, Let me just check. For now. Twenty percent chance, that's not very good. Take out this cult of pleasure hero. You are judged. Okay, I'm gonna give that follower that's on now. Um Toddy over to Balthazar Gelt because he really needs the replenishment. What was it called again? Barber Surgeon or something. So it's B. There it is. Can't believe I've only got one of those. Now. Report. I refuse. That's okay. There's low chance of success there. All right. Check diplomacy. Protector of the realm. I feel like Legend Total War is going to be wondering why nothing else to Mark is going to be developed once he convinces them, despite the fact that he's taking all their money every turn. Uh, I don't really care if that isn't the case, because I'm probably not going to confederate them until the very end of the campaign. They're just there to ensure that we don't suffer defeats. That's it. And I do see them developing things every now and again. Cleanse the Empire! Direct me! All right, that all looks really good. All right, let's just see now if I trust no man. No if, um, get in my I think he comes way. back. I trust no man. We Open will gates. be at war with him to begin with. I'll just besiege him and give him a settlement, and that should get him out of the war. Seek out the heretics. Oh God. Onwards. Boy. It looks like they took out the army that was there. Now, freaking capture the settlement. You guys are so slow with your conquest. Blessings so. of Sigmar upon you. Yep. Okay, this should just be easy. Praise be to Sigma. Get ready to sell this to the Hans Marshall expedition as well. Seek out the heretics. What have you to say? Okay, here we go. How confident are you that Nagash will officially make it in w one day? Pretty confident because Creative Assembly loves money, and that would just be money. So, that being said, Creative Assembly is known for making some pretty dumb decisions. I just don't think that they're that dumb to not make Nagash. Like, that's like printing money. Marcus Wilfart did a 299 bit bit donation. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Also, LOTW, I think that Rebellion still counts as Gorok's unit until the end of the turn. No, that rebellion was for Mazda Mundi, not for Gorok. <laughs> Every turn they're putting down in another camp. But yeah, we've really brought him down low now, so that's good. He just he can't recover.
You know what? The turnout didn't end up being too bad today. 2,700 concurrent viewers, considering... This is on YouTube, obviously. Considering that 4.2 is out now, is actually pretty good. I was actually a bit worried that interest in this campaign was waning, but given the feedback from you guys that, you know, a lot of people are just struggling to catch up because I've been making too much of this content, among other things. Greetings from Sigma. I, th I think interest is still there. I just need to give this campaign a couple of days breathing room for people to catch up. So that gives us a good opportunity to start a Katarin campaign. And if I manage to not suffer a defeat, we might be able to do that and no defeat run as well. We'll see. <laughs> Thing is, if I'm going to do a no defeat run as Katarin, I'll have to not confederate those other Kislevites. But the problem is, if I don't do that, then Kostaltin will. With anything, these streams could be 20 minute videos. Yep, they absolutely could. I tell you what, why don't we put this to the test? Why don't you download the stream afterwards, edit it, and send it to me in 20 minutes? I'll, I'll make a deal with you, all right? Um, I'll give you 90% of the revenue of that video. How does that sound? I'll do it. Go and do it. Go and do it. You've got me making a verbal agreement. Okay, download the the the, uh, the stream. Best do it for episode one. Now, I tell you what, make it the first five episodes, eh? <laughs> I don't know. Edit it down to 20 minutes. And, you know, if it's good, I'll upload it on the channel. If it's not good, I'll let you upload it on your own. <laughs> Golden Knight's buffs are broken, in my opinion. I haven't seen what the buffs are, though. Because, yeah, if you, like, if you edit a 20-minute video and it's, like, absolute garbage, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it on my channel, then I'm obviously not going to do that. So make it a high-quality, high-enough-quality video that it's actually... Because here's the thing, here's the thing. If you make a 20 minute video and it's trash and it's not going to get views, then you're just wasting your own time. Especially if I'm going to give you 90%. Doesn't want to get financial advice from chat, willing to give random viewer 90% of the income from a video. Well, that's not really financial advice. If somebody is willing to do the work that I don't want to do, then they should be compensated for it. I don't. I just, here's the thing. I just don't want to do it. I'm in a position where I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. I think Belagar's sitting around lightning striking there. He's going in. He's going in ham. Did he win? Oh, he smashed him. Belagar. War of the Beard, and the Beard is winning. Legend, did you ever play the PlayStation game Warhammer Shadow of the Horned Rat? Got me into Warhammer back in the day. My first Warhammer game is Total War Warhammer. Sorry. You will need to do a few voiceovers just to provide context in the video, so just consider that as well. Nope. Nope. I'm not doing shit. <laughs> I'm not doing shit. As far as when I, when I hit end stream, my work on that live stream is done. I move on to the next one. You can, you can sample my voice. From anywhere, fuck, you can use AI if you really want to. I don't care. I give you permission. You can use AI. Just, you know, don't make me saying stupid things like the N-word. You know. If I'm like, if you edit a video and it's got me being like, oh yeah, I'm going to go and kill this N-word, I am not going to publish that. Okay? <laughs> I got to say that because I know people will do that. Yeah, I, otherwise, I don't really care if people sample 
my voice for AI. Just don't have me saying racist shit. Putting ideas into your heads? No, I'm not putting ideas into your heads. Those ideas are already there. And I fucking know it because I know you guys. Right? So I'm preemptively telling you don't do that. But yeah, if you want to sample my voice to have me say stupid stuff, you go right ahead. Just don't make me say racist stuff. Honestly, I'd actually find it really funny if somebody did like an AI legend voice compilation. And it was me saying things that I don't normally say. As long as it's, as long as I'm not going to get in like trouble for it, then I'd I'd love to see it. I always try to encourage people to um, to make compilation videos of my stuff, and I, I allow people to monetize it. I don't I don't care. Um, but yeah, don't get me into trouble. I'll crack down on you if you do. <laughs> you know, I don't want people being like posting on the Reddit. Look, here's Legend saying the N word. I'm just like, no, that's AI sampling. That's not, not me. Unachievable. All right, they didn't attack the settlement. I will marshal the men. It is for the best. Just give them another turn. Your word is my make it over there. You just stay put here. I serve the Heldenhammer. So he's pretty happy with me. Just leave that be. AI legend doing all the Skaven voice line. Okay, so on that note. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, Laser Eye 57 did a 100 NOK Super Chat. Greetings, Legend. I just want to say that the Car France streams have been a light at the end of this tunnel for me this month. I got a new Corona strain and have been bedridden for three weeks now. Ah, oh, damn. Sorry to hear about that. No. Yeah, Corona's not over. But yeah, happy I've been able to provide you with some comfort, if nothing else. Yes. Oh, are you? Oh, Wolf from Hurtvig is gonna come over here and sort him out. Okay, good. I bet he'll lose though. Ready. Show me the accused. Is it time? Die. Tools of judgment. Good. Ready. Does low chance of success Protector there. Protector of the weak. Huntsman General! Who calls? Forward! Good. So what happened over here? He stayed completely put. I guess what he wants to do is try to catch us. He wants to attack us while we're inside the settlement. I'm not My sure. order agrees. I'm not they sure. will be judged. I trust no man. Speak! Well, he's not gonna be able to do that now. His attack range is right here. <laughs> Suckers, Zatan, you got unlucky there. How's the strength ranking going? Pretty good. Kara's garrison? Is it still at zero? I checked. Our replenishment rate's a lot better now, so we shouldn't take too long to recover from this. I think Marathi is still rank one. Let me have a look. Yeah, Marathi's rank 1, I'm rank 2. She's significantly stronger than me. I did disband a whole bunch of armies though. Show me the accused. Help them out. So So this is looking interesting. I don't think I've actually gained any territory for myself in this entire... Yeah, like, I'm not gaining any territory. Ready? I see no other option. Yeah. 
I'll come back for that. We need to go this way. What? I will stop them. Summon the Elector Counts. And sure there's a full stack here in ambush dance. No. Maybe Wolfheart can't take it because of zone of control of army. No, that shouldn't matter. That shouldn't matter. I am Prince and Emperor. As is my right by Sigmar's crown. Yeah, he should still be able to take it even if I'm standing right there. You can but you can bypass zone of control if 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 it's within if it targets him within there. Not yeah, he, he can make the attack. See, this is all of his possible movements. He can attack anything within this range. Um, I think it just needs to switch the the um, the revolt from being a revolt of Hexawaddle to a revolt of mine. So we just need to wait. So at the end of the day, I won't be able to expand or accept out this way. Yeah, he's getting smashed. Carter Rodriguez at a five dollars jet. When this deep into campaign, do you use some variety of army composition, some tanks, some cavs, some handgunners, some hero stacks for fun diversity for, st for strat? Yeah, I definitely like to mix up my armies a little bit. Otherwise, it gets really boring. But I don't build stupid armies that are like five of every unit type. Or oh, sorry, like, like two of any, every unit type. Those are the worst armies you can make, in my opinion. Tools of judgment ready. All right, we Champion just of the faith. need warrior of Sigma. Okay, I'm gonna recruit an army from here as well. I have to make sure we can hold on. Warrior of Sigma, protector of the weak. Should I put here? Probably crossbows will be. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's go with. Just global will do. A bunch of those. Actually, make it guns. Lizards have armor, need the guns. And cannons. Servant of Sigma. All right, move on to the next turn now, I guess. Let's go do some construction. You don't sell the settlement near Carl Franz. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Thanks, dude. Come then. Only Sigma's god, Ulrich, can judge it worthy or no. Yes. I mean, I wasn't done with the turn. I always I always checked the map. But it just wasn't finished. But it was, since you reminded me, I definitely should do it. He's gone up a fair bit lately. Oh, we're getting very close to there. That's good. I think the reason the Cult of Pleasure isn't declaring war on me because of all my allies. I have noticed that if you have shitloads of allies, AI will think twice before declaring war on you. Because if you think about it, when was the last time I was actually declared war on in this? It was a long time ago.
Yep, sell that next turn. Okay, that looks good. Yep, leave Joy Shank as it is. Alright, awesome. They will be judged. Right, check diplomacy one last time. See if there's Honor anything interesting. Glory. Yep. No treaties with any of these guys. The warden of the over tyrant. God damn it, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's right. I got Gorok to cancel his defensive alliance with Bordaloo. So I'll be able to declare war on him without any issues. I think in six Welcome turns. Friends. Six turns, what yeah. The man of the hammer oh, he's got a new ally. Ah. Okay. And his ally is my ally. Let me just see if I can get Ready. Rapunz. Welcome, daughters and sons of Sigma. We will hear your pleas. Alright, what if I give you a settlement that's really worth a lot? I can give you the Black Tower of Arkan. Yeah, alright, that might be worth it. I, d I can't risk a... Um, Unreliable war. Because, yeah, I can't join war with Malekith. Oh, hang on, hang on. That actually might work. If I give peace treaty and then offer to join war with Bordaloo. Depending on how this goes, that could work, actually. But obviously, we don't want to do it right now. Seek out the heretics by the silver hammer. Good. By the comet. Open gates. I trust no man. No heretics will get in my way. Yeah, they're really faffing about over here. Does somebody know what the new update does? Well, it should be in the patch notes, and there's usually stuff that's not in the patch notes as well. So, we just now. gotta go in and have a look. Judgment is death. So that failed. Oh no, it didn't. No, it just took. Okay, didn't fail. Alright, so yeah, we just gotta wait for this to happen. I'm fairly sure they'll attack it next turn. This stuff does not auto repair unless I tell it to. Volkmar, you should probably be channeling stats. The Empire. Hmm. Okay, if they don't attack the Temple of Kara next turn, what I could do is sell the settlement to them and move out of the way. That might work. But let's just see how things play out at the moment. So they, they are not going to declare war on me. It might be their main threat, threat but they're not going to declare war on me. Champion of the faith. Okay, let's move on. Did you see that guild thing where you can pr spend prestige? Nope, that hasn't occurred in this campaign so far. I'd really want it to, but it hasn't occurred yet. What are the key strengths of the Empire, cheese speaking? Uh, they don't really have any strength. Their strength is probably diplomacy and versatility. But they don't have any, like, really lopsided strengths. They don't have the strongest economy. They don't have the strongest units. They don't have the strongest heroes. They don't have the strongest legendary lords. Um, they don't have the strongest campaign mechanics. There's nothing about the Empire that's the strongest. When you were this rich, gifting money to an ally for a proxy war is a good strategy? You, maybe, it depends, but that can backfire. If you give a, another faction too much money, then they'll produce too many armies, and then then that might end up backfiring. 
Doesn't the guild thing only appear once you have all like seats? Yeah, I think so. I need to get Ostermark's like seat, but I can't exactly confederate them right now. That would not be good. In order to justify a confederation with Ostermark, I would have to. I don't. I don't see it happening at all. Like it's a good bonus, but it is not worth fucking up the campaign for it. I've got to somehow get. Beckafen, but I, I just. I will hear your petition, but make no promises to. I don't know how to get it. You know, you suffer a lot more, Greasus. I might argue artillery. Well, that would have been true before the Chaos Dwarf showed up. You can't possibly tell me that Hellstorm rocket batteries are as good as Chaos Dwarf artillery. That, yeah, they they used to be the best in artillery. <laughs> Not anymore. They've definitely got good artillery, for sure. Confederate Ostermark, they give it all to Ostland. The problem with that is how do I connect some of these territories? Like, Ostermark is very fragmented. Easier said than done, basically. I'd have to give Ostland a lot of territory to make that work. All to get a bonus, which oh, admittedly is very good. The other alternative is we just wait, and maybe there'll be an opportunity later down the track where... Oh man, Malekith took out. Huh? No? Okay. Just gotta wait and see. Yeah, trying to chase after global bonuses in this particular campaign, it's just not worth the risk of suffering defeats. Remember what the goal of the campaign is. We can't lose sight of that. Every time we're like, oh, why don't we go after this little gem? We risk the entire campaign for it. Well, Clan Angrind is putting up a really good fight against the Dark Elves, there's no doubt about that. Way better than the actual High Elves did. But that being said, Clan Angrind has had plenty of time to sit around and rest after we took out the Skaven. And Malekith has been in constant war. He's getting worn out. Who has the best campaign mechanics in your opinion? Oh, well, that's really hard to say. There's so many that are pretty much equal. So Tig Goich, sorry I didn't get to this earlier. Um, do you think CA will ever be able to fix their horrible AI, both in the campaign map and in battles, especially in terms of what they call difficulty? These games are just a joke. The AI doesn't get better or smart, just gets more unfair buffs and infinite funds. Yeah. I definitely think it is possible for them to do it. Whether or not they actually do it, that's hard to say. Their AI has not been getting better over the past 10 years, as I said before. Um, I think Creative Assembly kind of... They're losing sight of what's important with these games, and what they do is, in order to make these games more difficult, they make it more frustrating. I mean, this is evident in Total War Pharaoh, right? Where, and in this. So they program the AI in the only way, basically the AI is kind of self-aware. The AI is aware that they are awful at the game. And so they play the game in such a way that somebody who was awful at the game would play it by not capturing territory, by attacking undefended minor settlements, by being a bitch. 
The problem with that is that it makes it a very unfun experience for the player. So what they need to do is not worry so much about making the AI smart. You know, it is okay if the AI defends the settlement, even when up against odds that they probably aren't going to win. That is okay. Um, but having the AI, like, abandon their settlements to go and, r like, run out into the forest, that's not fun for a lot of players to deal with. And so they need to basically give the AI some balls and maybe a little bit less brains. At least until they figure out a way to make the AI not as stupid as it is on the battlefield. Which is easier said than done. At the very least, I don't think the AI should be this bitchy on normal difficulty. It should be a bit braver. And maybe on legendary difficulty it's allowed to be a bit more frustrating. That would be fine. Y'all have never played EU4 if this level of AI is new to you? Well, they probably haven't, but this is the one of the big complaints. And also, I have played EU4, and the EU4 campaign AI is miles ahead of Total War. Miles ahead of it. Because they don't need to um, fight manual resolve battles. Oh, that's okay. Well, Is it time? I don't know why you thought that was going to work. It won't. Men, war calls. Call me Kyle, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Damn it, they're refusing to... Maybe they're waiting until we move out of the way. Move! The instrument of Sigmar's will. Maybe, maybe that was the problem. They were looking at our local superiority and going, oh, I don't know about this. Ready. Alright, here we go. This will be... Okay, we got to be careful here because it's actually a field battle. The nation calls. Let us begin. And we didn't fully recover. What's his missile resistance? 40%. It's 20. Alright, we'll have him chase after guilt. Um, C... Uh, CT6969 Lose did a 5 dollars submission. Hey Legend, I've watched probably a thousand hours of your VODs and SYDB videos. Never get to catch you live, but here's a tip for the endless hours of entertainment. No, it's dude, my pleasure. Show Thank you for accused. that support. Also, we'll attack this other army here. And that will give us a little bit of time before their reinforcements arrive. Also, we should put some equipment onto our guys here. Put some equipment on, I mean. We got a bit of extra wind since the last time we were here. Alright, what does this guy need? Probably needs a Helm of Discord. A Tormentor Sword would be good. So you can pin enemy units down. Obsidian Lodestone. Yeah, maybe they'll use spells. I'm not sure. Obsidian Amulets. Let's fuse those. That's crap. An enchanted item. Maybe that might be okay. Maybe not. We'll see. An arcane item. We'll need the... Trickster Shard is trash. Forbidden Rod, yeah. Need some more Winds of Magic as quickly as possible. Then, this one here, I believe it can also have an Arcane item. You, on the other hand, will need Armor of Fortune. 
You'll need a, um, what's it called again? A Dawnstone. I'm going to take one of those away. I don't really like the Opal Amulet. I'm going to fuse that. Forbidden Rod. Alright, do it. Actually, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, take a Power Stone. Warrior Bane will be good. Sorry about Oh, hang on. Enchanted Iron. Take a Potion of Healing. Because I may need to focus more on damage spells than healing. There you go. And here we go. This is a very important battle, this one. If we win here, this is basically the end of Zatan. If we lose here, it's the end of us completely. End of the campaign. Um, I've got a point here, but there's really nothing more that I need to do with my experience, so I don't want to risk losing my movement. By the comet. Then again, we know that this army is not great in order to resolve. Zatan will take a minute 32 to get into position. That gives me enough time to kill this guy. Most of these units here, I can just outrun with my tanks. So we focus fire on the units that we can't do that to. Alright, here we go. This is possibly the toughest battle of the live stream, of the entire campaign. Here we go. Um, Leiden Lukic became a member for 50 months. Here's to at least 50 more, enjoying this to the max. Alright, thanks dude, appreciate that. Uh, Gbleezy86, subscribe with Prime, and Jochen07, subscribe with Prime. So looking at this dude here, Metal Wizard, okay. We have, a, okay, 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 okay. We want, we want to basically use, a, okay, hang on. I want you two to go smash him in melee. You as well. No, don't do that. What I want to do with these steam tanks is be ready to be shooting in on this when Zatan starts coming in. Don't make any decisions there. So heal our guys a little bit as well. We're generating good amount of wins while they're faffing about there. Shit, they came in a little bit earlier than I thought. Alright. There you go. Kill this. Bomb them as they're coming in when they're disorganized. No time for him, don't worry about it. We don't need to worry about killing the enemy lord. Go, 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 go. 
Here we go. It's fucking on, bitch. No, don't overcast. Welcome to Astalia, gentlemen. Some of you may die. Welcome to Astalia. Eat my shit. <laughs> Eat dick's the turn. Eat. Dick. Okay, don't worry about Zatan actually, he is just not taking enough damage for me to care about that. Okay, start falling back a little bit. They do not care about our, our dude there. Oh, Zatan's regenerating as well. Superior Drama subscribed with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Sorry. Yep. So the other stuff in the chat. This is going very well so far. Why didn't these guys move further back? It's all good. Okay, Zatan has changed who he wants to know he has changed back to guilt. How much magic reserves do we have left? Only a little bit. Never move 
We did it. Yeah, no problem. No problem. I mean, Zatan's still alive, but I was kind of not really expecting to take him out. His army's destroyed. We should, shouldn't have any trouble. Oh, kill that Bale Taurus. I don't want to fight it again. Mr. Aggravation, subscribe with Prime. Lestak, subscribe with Prime. Two months. Currently one on one month streak. Okay, cool. Um, welcome back. Blackbeard060180, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. We're at 578 uh, subscriptions on Twitch now. The steam tank doomstack did very well there. Very happy with it. We still got loads of our ammunition as well. We're practically at full strength. Let me just quickly regrowth this one here. Dwarf has a potion of healing. You're right. Thank you very much. All right, we've fully healed. It's a shame his defeat trade doesn't affect steam tanks. Really? Oh, that sucks. You get the new unit of Kiss of Light Spears from the settlement building, by the way. I think that's the right call. Good. Hardest battle my ass. Well, it went very well. It went very well. It's hard, it's hard to say going into a battle whether or not something's going to be easy or hard. You just never know. It didn't take any damage at all. Look, I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be harder. It's, it's good that I didn't underestimate them, I guess. I overestimated them. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't affect these units. They're not considered artillery. By the silver hammer, yes. That sucks. By the comet. So he is very much in favor of a peace treaty with us. That's good. Is it time? Another army over here. It's not going to have enough time to do anything. <laughs> Alright, Fortress of Eyes needs to be handed over. Welcome, my countrymen. Affirmative. Thank you for the 16 grand. Very nice. So this army here will probably try to force march out this way, and that is fine. I trust no man. If they you will be judged, leave me speak. alone. Now. Honored to serve. Into the fray. Strike first, strike fast. So yeah, sorry if there was anyone in the Twitch chat or in YouTube that I didn't mention your donation. I do really appreciate it. If I didn't mention it, it's because I didn't see it. I go where I am needed. Close in and kill. All right, the turn is just about finished, and that'll be the extinction of the of the chaos dwarfs. Another good item though. So we just need to take out Black Fang here. Oh, hang on. There's Blizzard Peak up this way. So there's still a couple of settlements to go. It looks like three. So far, this is going very nicely up that way. 
Summon the Elector Counts. Yep, Wolfran Hertwig took out the camp that was there. Good job. Good job, buddy. I am Prince and Team Emperor. effort. Alright, I'll take the Fortress of Vorag and hand that over to you. Alright, good Bring me stuff. to my men. By the comet. Seek out the heretics. What? Yeah, that hasn't been developed yet. The Empire. All right, uh, just yeah, leave the settlements and give it to him now. Actually, no, 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 no. We can stay there for a turn. There's no attacks coming. Oh no, it's a walled settlement. We do not want to be stuck in a walled settlement with a cavalry army. But are we not all sons of Sigma? Wait, what? Oh, the Fortress of Vorag, right, of course. <laughs> Should know that by now. Of course. So the replenishment there is the actually falls. better standing outside the settlement owned by them than it is for me to stand inside the settlement because it's red territory. We suffer the 15% um, casualty replenishment and inside the settlement you get a 10% replenishment but outside the settlement we get none of the penalties. <laughs> so it's actually a 5% better, oh my god, 5% better replenishment rate. Alright, this army here, no, not until they have been completely vanquished. Alright, so hopefully over the end turn, they go for this. I don't think they're trying to take out my rebellion. I don't know what they're doing. I serve the Heldenhammer. Mm, we are... Hang on, it would be Sigma best if both of these guys... Hang on, let me make sure they're not on lightning strike. Yeah, no lightning strike. Both of you stand outside the settlement, both of you go into ambush dance. Okay, you'll be fine just standing there. I think, is that you on boat? General. Nope. The war over here against Nagarond is going just fine. Yep, no problems there. Oh wait, wasn't... Yeah, he was at war with Marathi up until recently. He must have peaced out with her. So looking at Marathi... Marathi. Yeah, she's very strong. Probably has an affiliate link. I don't have an affiliate link anymore, so just uh, I don't have an affiliate with any um, games websites for like keys. Would Cafe or Chaos Dwarfs be hard to a no defeat campaign because they have caravans unless you don't use it? Yes, if you use the caravans, you risk <laughs> you risk a defeat. So in order to do that, what you would have to do before you use your first caravan, unless you're willing to risk it, maybe making backup saves, but is that that might invalidate it, I don't know. Um, what you would have to do is make sure that the connection between the place that they start and the place that they're going has no opportunities to get attacked by anything other than random chance. So yeah, those would be very difficult no defeat campaigns to just not use those mechanics. They will be judged. Step to it. Honestly, wouldn't have minded it if the Dark Hills would capture Albion. I might go and capture it back off them. So Eltharian, all he ha oh, he's about to get fully wiped out. Okay, that is interesting. All right, hopefully this is it. Now, Hunts Marshall Expedition return. 
Let me just make sure that there's not going to be a battle here. Yeah, there's no garrison. There's no possibility of a battle there. Praise Wouldn't it be so funny Allah. if there was suddenly just one unit there, they fought the battle, and I Tools couldn't win it, ready. and then that's it. That's the end of the campaign. Trying to revive <laughs> Marcus Wolfheart. I don't think it's possible for that to happen, given everything that's going on. All right, let's move on. You have growth buildings in Karakaskal. Thanks for reminding me. There's actually a few growth buildings I need to get rid of. Karak Asgal, Asgal, that's um, over here. Yep, you're right, thank you very much. We need to switch that. Yep, yep. I think there was another one, but I can't remember where it was exactly. Karak Eight Peaks, there's one that can be removed. Okay, moving on. I make my point again, one could, for example, add suitable climate by confederating. Don't talk to me about it, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> uh, it's good they sacked it, but they should have occupied it. Uh, Oli, says subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. We're at 579. How about being supported by Lizard Army? Right, yeah, if it did attack there, the lizards would probably come in and reinforce. That is correct. Black Crag had one? Okay, I'll have to go fix that up. Only 39 factions remain now. Is there any minor factions still alive? Apart from the Empire ones? I don't think there is. I think all the minor factions have now been eradicated. Again, except for the Empire. So, sorry, excuse me. At Black Crag? Okay, I'll try to remember that next turn. I'll probably forget. It's not that important, but I'll try to remember. Marcus Wolfhard gifting one tier one sub to Legend Total Wars community. They have gifted Total of Three. Thanks, dude. Always appreciate the support. Elves, Toro Lasso. Yes, you're right, Toro Lasso. That is a still a minor faction that hasn't. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if Eltharian confederated them right now? That'd be interesting. Hmm. End time over? What do you mean? Do you mean end game crisis? Yeah, we defeated the end game crisis. A while ago. Friends the true end game crisis, though, come. turned out to be. Oh, that's another one? You sank? No, I can't do that, sorry. Currently playing the new Kislev update. I really like the Druzina Lord, but for some reason he can't. Fire at move and fire at once. Well, yeah, he's not an elf. I kind of expected that he wouldn't be able to um, fire while moving. Yeah, you don't want him to be too OP. When do you think Medieval 2 will be released? Um, I think that'll be coming in 2006. Yeah, roughly about 18 years ago. <laughs> Why is AI not fusing Kislev? I could swear Kislev AI fused back at the start. Yeah. Yeah. That is interesting. I, I don't see that happen anymore either. Maybe it's because it doesn't happen automatically anymore. It happens via a... Um, like a dilemma. And the AI must not get the dilemma anymore. Because, yeah, they changed the way that that confederation works between Katarin and Castelton. It doesn't just happen when one wins the, the race, the supporter race. Scrunch Crimes did a £5 super chat. The real endgame crisis was the friends we met along the way. Yeah, fair enough. 
Sorry, three. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> so I think that Medieval 3 is probably about three years away. Three to five years away. So you're probably looking sometime between 2026 and 2028, if I had to guess. So we sorry discuss what's your opinion on the Shadows of Change update. I haven't actually got it yet. Um, I'll download it later and check it out. I'm pretty sure I'll feel okay about it. I don't think it's going to be spectacular. I don't think all of a sudden it redeems Creative Assembly for everything they've ever done. But it's a, I think it's a step in the right direction for sure. Good. Just keep occupying them settlements. Keep it up. And what I really like to see here is low level lords. <laughs> but yeah, if I don't have to fight Zinch, fantastic. Still the last ancestor hero? I would if there was a good opportunity to do that. I should probably check. Also, the last ancestor hero is a runesmith, which I don't really care that much about. Excuse me. Oh, yawny. Getting tired. What time is it? Yeah, 3.40 in the morning. What is a good price for Warhammer 3? I don't know. 10 bucks? That's a pretty good price. You can buy all three parts for 20 euros on instant gaming. That is a very good price, yeah. Instant Gaming's got the best deals. Ladies and gentlemen, he's back. But legend, that counts as a defeat. Legend, you were defeated. Oh, Yves is gone. The High Elves are now extinct, except for the minor faction. Legend, you lose the campaign because you lost the settlement. Oh, look. Oh, no. All of his heroes spawned in the exact same location of not one another. Look at that. They're going to be stuck. Unworkable. He's stuck as well. Look, he can't move. Let's get on with this. I have important matters to attend to. <laughs> Immediately go from being at war. Why can't I get a trade agreement? Because we don't... Why can't we get a trade agreement? Definitely get military alliance. Agreed. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, he is back, and he is Virtual bugged. Indeed. He is bugged. Me the accused. We did it. He's back. All right. Well, we don't need these armies anymore. I think. We sell these settlements to Marcus. So start with Spectazuma. Good. He's got a lot of money. Alright, he is back, baby. I want you to go to war with Hexawaddle. No, I don't want you to go to war with Hexawaddle. I want you to just sit back and chill. Okay, don't need this anymore. Thank you very much for defending the settlement. Alright, the High Sentinel. 
I'm no statesman. Can't give that to you. Do I do have Alright. We're gonna need to make a swap, dude. High Sentinel for Floating Pyramid. Okay, well he wants to do it, so okay. Forty six thousand. That's a good deal. Don't need these anymore. Because if I don't own any territory, I don't need to defend it. Okay, hand over the floating pyramid to Marcus Wolfhart. <laughs> he has no money left. Um, I don't suppose I can get you to do anything. Uh, maybe go to war with the war host of Tsar. Just because it'll give us extra relations with him. Don't go to war with that. Go to war with Goldtooth. All right. Sigma now, do you know what the funny thing is here? Friend. Yeah, look at this. It is actually not possible to attack the Temple of Kara. I will not. It is not po He cannot lose the Temple of Kara while it's like this. His faction is actually invincible. The only way that he can get wiped out is if I confederate him. So that army is stuck. Next. Lady of the All of these guys here are completely stuck. Still pumping poor man for cash? Hey, he's lucky to be alive. He is Ralph lucky to be alive. Okay, so now... Welcome to Fair Britonia. We've got Come four turns up. until... Then... I don't think I'll be able to expand into... Into the north up that way. Seek out the heretics. Yeah, because this region doesn't border that. I need to get the High Sentinel. So what we do is instead of going north, we go south. I'm done with you. <laughs> Be declaring war on you eventually. Alright, we still need to figure out a way to go to war with him. Alright, I want you to... Break your treaty with her. No, there's no chance of that. I want her yes, I bid you to break you his. And invite you to say your piece. Yeah, we we could do this by giving her a different settlement. If we have a look My over here. You may speak your words, but they will change nothing. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Black Ox could take it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, he's not at war with the Dark Elves, so... Alright, now what we need to do is just wait here for quite a few turns. Because there's no one here we can attack. I might as well get out of this war here. Since I can't expand up this way, I'm just getting like shitloads of money out of him. The problem with all of this is how fragmented it is. Maybe we should just go over there and attack him and who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and I'll actually be able to transfer the settlement because standing around here for another few turns, I'll only be able to give this settlement anyway. So let's just make our way up. If Gorok wants to declare war on me, this is fine as long as we stay together. So why isn't it counted as a defeat? There was no garrison, no main building. Yeah, there was no garrison because I didn't I didn't fight a battle there. So what I did was I sacked the settlement, which damaged the buildings, and then I looted and occupied, which damaged them further until they were ruined. So there was no garrison there. That so they were able to walk in unopposed. The legend generated money. So, here's, here's the thing, I'll just show it again. We end the campaign if we suffer any of these kinds of defeats. We didn't fight a battle, so there was no defeat the to be Empire. had. Good, I can actually make it to the Bloodwind Keep. That is his last tower, I believe. 
We should be able to manage that. Just make sure nobody's going to counterattack us. Because after we're done here, we have to fight village. Make sure we give up Ironstorm. By the comet. Crushing defeat. No peace. Look for Henry the Massive who got wounded a few turns ago. Oh, okay. I don't think that's important right now. Iron Storm, make sure we give that up. And make your offer. So be it. Maybe expand to Iron Bow first. Well, you don't connect to his territory from... Oh, I'm also going to trade I'm agreement sure with him, which I should also get rid of. Quite the success. Yeah, I'm about to wage all-out war in Lustria. Because my two armies here are practically invincible. And if nobody else is at war with Hans Marshall Expedition, I'll just capture the settlement, feed it to him, and he'll just be like, cool, this is great. <laughs> of Sigma. Let's get it done. My order agrees. Hunt them out. For glass. They will be judged. What orders? My journey. Should we give up the fire mouth as well? Stay together. Greetings, my countrymen. You come in peace on this fine mark tag? Yes. But yeah, we're actually making really good progress now. You know, making good progress over here. Good good progress in Lustria. The Dark Elf invasion is no longer a concern. Now would be a a time for a, a be quick about it. curve. Curveball. She doesn't want to give up her trade. Be quick about it. Can you draw a battle in this game? Not with the timer set to unlimited. It's not possible to get a draw. Now, I trust no man. Raise Sigma. Pick up the pace. Who calls? All right. All of this looks pretty good. We need to get to Ruin's End. Are we at... Yeah, we're at Max Winds of Magic. I am France. If I stand here, I should be able to reach Ruin's End next turn, but since I'm not Onwards. particularly damaged, I'm not going to worry about it. Magnus. My order agrees. These are his last settlements. Yeah, he's recruiting from over here. Show me the accused. There he is. It looks like Ostermark is unable to recruit any more than one army, because he would easily be able to afford it. Invade the Donut? Uh, not right now, because I wouldn't be able to feed it to my allies, so I've got to wait until Marcus Wolfhart is able to do something about it. Because he should recruit another army in the next couple of turns, and start actually um, now. I don't know, doing something. But yeah, he's looking very healthy at the moment. Now, other things that we need to take into consideration are how much our other allies... That's going down a fair together. bit. So is that. Also, I don't think I've been recruiting over here where I'm supposed to be. Cleanse the Empire. At once, sir. 
Give Marcus a very large gift? What for? No, no. <laughs> what for? He, I'm not relying on his military. What for? But Legend, you have so much money, you should just throw it away and waste it. Why don't Why don't I just take money and wipe my ass with it? Why would I give him any money at all? Okay, yep, you could use some ancillaries here. Do we have... Yep, we still got some apprentice wizards I can give. Plenty of hedge wizards. Cool, so yeah. I serve the Heldenhammer. Don't really want to come over here just yet. Tools of judgment ready. So looking at Marathi, I'm disinclined to listen, but I must. She is not going to travel all the way over to here. That is just not going to happen. So she'll focus on Hexawaddle. Yeah, it won't be long before Hexawaddle finishes, especially if we're over there fighting them as well. Has he gotten long victory yet? I've actually got an ultimate victory, but I haven't gotten a uh, long campaign Sir. victory. They will be judged. Black Fang there, that's good. All oh, right, hang on, we haven't done this battle over here. Actually, a field battle would be easier, but they might just sit there and wait. And I don't want to wait, I want to launch the attack now. AI don't use the money you give them. Yes, they do. It's just that they don't really need it, that's all. Hey look, we've never fought at this settlement type again, uh, before. We are Sigma Red! Yeah, fight over here, because it's a bit bumpy there. Right, we need to immediately heal this. Okay, take the ones that are most damaged. It's really just these two. Just let him shoot for now, it's fine. Don't worry about the the cannon thing, it's, it can't do much. We've got heaps of winds of magic, it's just not going to be an issue. Anyway, this thing here, it just doesn't... Hmm, it's only doing some damage. At least. We are Sigma's heirs. Take the ground. Is it just that the AI just spends a gift of money on woman booze and cocaine, right? Mm. We are ready. No, they definitely have the money and they they spend it. It's just that the AI get a lot of discounts in in their um the their military recruitment, so. It depends on how you look at it. If you want the AI to get super strong, then yeah, send them loads of gifts. If you want them to recruit quickly, there's not much you can do about that. The Empire endures! It is against mad speed! For the war hammer! 
You'd think that would do some damage. But it doesn't. And it's been destroyed. So, good on the Chaos Dwarfs there for doing absolutely nothing. If Katerin goes in her Frost Worm, she loses magical attacks apparently and doesn't get it back even after reapplying her weapon. <laughs> yeah. Oh well. Not like magical attacks are important. These two should not be fighting. Balthazar Gilt is not a good melee fighter. Unfortunately, this does flaming attacks, so it's not going to do very much. I would use Final Transmutation, but I don't like using it on just one unit. As this one's melee defense is... Yes. Oh, okay. I'm gonna land them. Okay, don't mind using it on two units, that's fine. Got some guys over here not really shooting, just gonna move them over this way a bit. <laughs> Same thing with these two. Yeah, we got heaps of ammo on our tanks now, since they hit uh, rank 7 and above. Okay, they've got some hell cannons shooting at us, I need to stop them. Right, I can't. I need to get guilt over there. Ok, 
Okay, one more should destroy the hell cannon. I don't think it is always bugged because I have a frost worm and magic attacks on Katarina. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't played it yet, so I don't know. Just going off what you guys are telling me. All right, let's move over here. Might just go into melee with them. Good, we army lost them, we just need to take out the Hell Cannon crew. Crushing defeat my ass. Do you think CA would ever make a World War II Total War game? Um, I think they'll try World War I first, see how that goes, and if it does well, then they'd consider World War II. Legend, which one of the Ogre Lords would you say is better? They're both pretty similar. I mean, spellcasters are usually better, but it, it just depends on whether or not you've got access to other spellcasters. So, I would go like this. Get the spellcaster lord unless you've got other spellcasters, and if you do have another spellcaster, maybe go with a tyrant. Because you don't want to have, like, eight spellcasters in your army. Not unless they're also really amazing in melee, which those are not. Because really you just want one or two laws of magic tops. You know, having all 50 laws of magic, whatever in the game, in your army is not helpful. Nice. They're not at war with Ostermark yet, are they? No? So... Oh, they've got... Uh, sorry, there's another settlement over here. Once I've taken these settlements out here, so Blizzard Peak and Black Fang, I think I'll peace out with him and focus on village. I agree. So village is level 43. His army is pretty bad. Yes, for now. Yeah, main thing you've got to watch out for is they've got like, um... Show me the accused. Is really time? fast units, because I can outrun most of this. Yeah, I can outrun it. Just aim for these guys here, and them. Village, you just, um... Just don't even bother trying to get rid of him. I am ready. Try to outheal him. How much winds of magic does he have? Not that much. Like, I thought he might have, like, 200. Okay, that's good. That's good. What else are we doing? I yep. Command here. All right, that's all looking pretty good. Yep, don't have to worry about Katarin over here. That's fine. The Dark Elf stuff is going pretty well for our allies. We finally brought back Marcus Wolfheart. I was really hoping we could do that today, and the we did. Hammer of Sigma. All right, let's do some construction, which I've not all yet done. Okay, that's good. That's going to be really helpful. Any more diplomacy? Honor before glory. Nope. nope. Yeah, Lustria is going to yeah. be an absolute war the zone soon. 
Nope. And just check for this stuff here. Cool. So at the moment, I'm only in four wars. And it's all pretty well contained. So I don't need to worry too much about looking on my borders. So all the hero stuff, I'm not going to worry about this turn. But I do need to recruit. If I haven't already. Which I have. Okay, moving on. This guy over here just generating wins. Yep. Alright, actually, I got an idea. I'm going to bring this guy over here. I'm going to only look for low-hanging fruit. Because what I'll do is I'll capture a settlement and then see if I can buy one of the settlements out here for it. And then if they end up losing it, who cares? Alright, let's go. Going forth. So yeah, we're sending these guys in. As soon as we're on this side here, I'll level them up because most of them probably aren't leveled. But yeah, I'll only look for the really easy stuff. <laughs> Waste my time. Yeah. Well, we'll see. So, Dark Elves over here. Yeah, they're not faring so well. Okay, moving on. Yeah, moving on. New Lord of Kislev might be better than Huntsman, by the way. Cool. Cool. There seems to be a lot of bugs with the new patch. I can't recruit Gate Masters in my ongoing Cathay campaign, for example. That's always been the case. The new content... Sorry, you'll be able to recruit the new units, but you won't be able to recruit the new heroes or the new lords. That's usually the case. You may have to start a new campaign. Yeah, I've had that problem before in previous patches. Just weren't able to recruit um, the new content. Have you thought about playing a Constantine campaign? No, not really. I like playing this Katarin. Excuse me. Oh, big yawn. So yeah, hopefully Wolf from Hurtvig will take out the camp so I don't have to. I'll take the settlements, hand them over to him. And there's just three settlements to go. After we've taken out the um, the ogres, which will make them extinct as a race, we'll be going after Nurgle. But as soon as no, uh, the ogres are gone, I'll get rid of those armies that I've just got keeping around the border. I think you'll love the new spear units of Kislev, Speak. their cost, I will hear you now. they tank so you much and they're 120 per dark. unit. Yeah, it sounds like they're really good. Oh man, he's pretty desperate for peace. Nah. Nah. Well, I want your territory. Your territory is worth more than 10 grand. Did you two remove the string length limit? No. Um, in terms of a VOD, the limit's always been 12 hours. I've always been able to live stream long amounts of time. I'm shocked there hasn't been a bunch of rebellions in Ostermark territory. Well, don't forget they don't get that minus eight public order penalty because it's on legendary. They also the rebellions tend to always fail on higher difficulties, even against minor factions. I am playing the Deceivers now on an old save, and the Lords and Heroes came after one or two turns. Well, I guess it's a bug just for Kate then. <laughs> mm. 
No tier one red line buffs for Kislev Warriors. <laughs> uh, well, they'll they'll put a hot fix and fix this stuff up pretty quick, I think. I imagine there'll be a hot fix in the next couple of days to fix up the the stuff that they've missed. Wouldn't it be great if they actually get the Warriors of Chaos Tech Tree fixed as well? Who's strength ranking one? Marathi. Marathi's very powerful. She got shitloads of armies. But we're not at war with her at the moment. We dragged her into a war against Hexawaddle. And we're coming at them from the south now. Do you have Marcus yet? I revived Marcus. I don't have him. I don't want him. But we have him. I mean, we've he's, he's here. He's back. He's at Spectazuma. Well, no. Uh, Temple of Kara, I mean. Maybe Boris, you don't play him on stream, he's actually really fun to play. No, I said I was going to play Katarun, that's what I want to play. I don't like Boris's campaign. <sighs> Excuse me. Be careful about besieging trees. Yep, you're absolutely right. Yep. Lewin coming in hot with the trebuchet stack. Will you revive Boris as Katarin? I usually, yeah, if Boris gets wiped out, which he usually does, I usually try to revive him at that settlement. Um, Nov Chozzi. Confederating Boris is an absolute pain, so much so that I've never actually succeeded, but I do try. Would you say Boris has one of the toughest campaigns in the game? Yeah, I could probably agree with that. Makers of Nurgle and the Blessed Dread just pieced out. That's fine. That doesn't matter. Okay. This is wise. I go in Hopefully from this position here, we'll be able to strike at Pehuax next turn. Hopefully. I trust no man. Yes, and hopefully we can sell it to, to him. They will be judged. If not, we declare war on them. So looking at this, we Marcus, he did attach some of the heroes, but he's still stuck. The hunt. Yeah, he is still stuck. Sure, how he's gonna get unstuck. It doesn't really matter. I'm not expecting him to help me out. I just want him to hold on to the territory. Legion of Asgore. I remember how people were saying, ah, oh, it's gonna. Yep. Was it, what was it saying again? <laughs> I'm surprised there hasn't been more revolts. Now, these guys reviving isn't too bad because the defeat trade of, of him is really good. But I'm, I don't really want to cheese the economy that much. It's not really worth it playing as the Empire. How long have you been sitting there? You must have been judged. wounded. Closest to that settlement. I am Prince and Emperor. The patch is really lackluster for those who don't have shadows to change, and we're looking forward to a race overhaul for Kislev. Yeah. But that's right. But there were also some good changes, also, but few. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, what are we gonna do? 
Yes, for now. Forward, march on the witches. Good, so he should take out that rebellion easily enough, and then also take out Black Fortress camp. And then we move on to Pig Barter, which will take us two turns to get there, which that's annoying. I don't want to be standing inside the settlement. Now what brings you here with a sheath blade? So this is called Ruin's End. As you say, sir. Do you think they will ever add Nagash? Yes, I do think they will add Nagash one day. What's the quarry? Tools of judgment ready. Probably one of the most requested lords. Seek out the heretics. I think it'd be silly not I to. I will turn my gaze on you, scout leader. Guided by Sigma. Weapons at the ready. Can you repeat name of settlement? I wish you can revive Boris. I have golden fish memory. Battle positions. I believe it's called Constantinople. No, I'm just Move in, scouts. I'll show you where it is. Boris is revived. At Novchozy, this settlement here. So from that minor settlement, I've done it before and it works. Empire. Right, Black General. Fang. Yep. Put it in barracks there so we can get more money from it. <laughs> what? It is time. Show me the accused. I just need for Miao Ying to come over here and actually finish the job. This world's time has come. Alright, what we want to do here is... Ah, oh, shit. If I get this settlement here, I won't be able to immediately sell it to them. They will be judged. But considering there's nothing over here, maybe I'll occupy it until I get to the Foundry of Bones and then just transfer it over that way. Yes. Follow me. I don't want to be losing yes, winds of magic, so I'm willing to accept a turn of attrition. That shouldn't matter. By the comet. Yes. Is that where? And that bloodwind burn? keep. We want to get rid of this. No. Yes. For Sigma. Surely an agreement will be reached. But are we not all sons of Sigma? Thanks for the money. Indeed. Update, you can in fact recruit the new heroes and old saves. Okay, cool. Well, that means that the next time we play this, we'll probably start seeing the Golden Knight here and the Cathayan Gundam. Nothing new for Zinch. The nation calls. I trust no man. So yeah, I'll probably start Those seeing them. The nation calls. All right, that is all looking really good. You summon me. Maraud is all. You know what? I'm just going to go straight to the Foundry of Bones and attack that first, because it's right there. Because they're not going to be able to attack Ostomar, because I'm not going to drag them into this. I'm going to drag no one into it. Alright, that all looks pretty good. Pretty quiet. Okay, and then we've got our army over here, which we want to sail Protector over this way. Week. Don't go anywhere near this shit. Because if we look at Marathi, yeah, she's still you. just... Okay. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> oh, I just find that so funny. No trade agreement for you. Arch Lecter. Yes, it's sail from here. Forward in his name. And we'll land at Misna and just look around for easy pickings. Seek out the heretics. Speak. Good. There's the other ancestor hero, but we still need to save up f uh, a bit more allegiance. 
Have we got any missions? I don't get any missions anymore. It seems like in the late campaign, you just stop getting them. I wonder where Henry is. Protector of the realm. Do you know who I am? Valiant Lord. Yeah, I don't know where Henry is. Lord it's not of here. Antonia. Thing is, even if I could grab him, wouldn't be able to do anything with it. I trust no don't man. Fret. Be oh shit, that's actually really expensive. <laughs> they will be judged. Wasn't that concerned about? We got loads of money. Onwards. Okay, that is going pretty well. Valiant Lord. Dar. Ma Must face. play normal difficulty and the AI actually attacks my armies and cities which they take. Would this AI behavior with legendary AI cheats be better? I'm not sure. I'm not sure because there's some weird things that happen on normal difficulty. The AI basically underestimates your forces constantly on normal difficulty because of the way the order resolve works. It, it's really weird. Yeah. I get a lot of save files sent in, and they're playing on normal battle difficulty, right? And what ends up happening is the AI comes in and attacks, and then it says something like Valiant Defeat, or Pyrrhic Victory even. And then they go in to fight the battle manually, and then they get absolutely fucking curb stomped, and they then they think to themselves, Oh, um, the AI must be actually better on normal difficulty. But what's actually happening is that you're getting massive order resolve cheats the lower difficulty you go. And so, if you're entering a fight, and somebody's playing on normal difficulty, and people who play on normal difficulty sometimes have a tendency of recruiting shit armies, right? Armies without bounds of power pushes, right? So, it, they'll win a fair fight, but they won't win a not fair fight. And if the order resolve is saying that it's like a valiant defeat or pyrrhic victory, they'll think, okay, it must be a fair fight. They go into it, and then they get absolutely creamed, because it's actually not a fair fight at all. So there's some weird things that happen on that difficulty. Yeah, auto resolve is very poorly balanced currently across the difficulties in Warhammer 3. Like another thing is that you can play on legendary difficulty with easy battles and you'll just be able to auto resolve pretty much every battle that you encounter. Even battles that you're outnumbered 2 to 1, the auto resolve will just be like, yep, you win. And if you fought the battle manually, like it's just impossible to win, but Order Resolve just thinks you can win because of the massive cheats you get. Um, like they pretty much double the strength of your army. So like I said, the, d the difficulties are weird. I mean the AI behavior that makes them take cities instead of sacking. Yeah, yeah, but do you know what causes the AI to sack a settlement as opposed to occupy it? If they don't feel like they can hold it, they'll sack it. And because there are other armies, in range to attack the settlement, they, they don't do it. So again, it, it might be better if they do that, maybe. But are they occupying the settlements because you're not in a position to recapture it, or are they occupying it because of, of dumber AI? I don't know. But yeah, for example, this the army here, if it besieged this, let's say hypothetically, it besieged this, it would check to see if anyone was able to attack the settlement after they occupied, and if yes, then they will always sack it. That's basically how it works. I don't know, I don't think it's any different on normal difficulty, I just, I'm just not sure. Alright, these guys are back, agrees. send them over. Seek out the heretics. I will do anything for Sigma. 
Now that you lost to Marcus, will you let Wolfheart confederate you to continue this campaign? <laughs> I did not lose a battle to Marcus, dude. Dawnstone has been broken in new patch. Instead of 15 physical resistance, it gives 5 and 15% missile resistance. Um, that doesn't sound like it's broken. It seems like they did a balance pass because the Dawnstone is actually pretty good in its current state. So they probably just nerfed it. Katarin campaign when? She won the poll, no? Yep, next next uh, live stream will be Katarin. When I started this nine hours ago, I had the patch hadn't come through, and I'm not going to stop the live stream to start a campaign and play it for two or three hours. Plus, you never know how long the patch is going to take. We've done this stuff in the past, like stop, just like close the game down and download a patch, and it's caused absolute mayhem on the live stream. So, yeah, the next one will be Katarin. New Zinch Melee Lord is also broken. If using him as a backup for fighting a settlement with Changeling, he will get stuck in Zone of Control next turn permanently. Hmm. I wonder what the Reddit's saying about it. Let's go have a look. Usually Reddit finds these bugs pretty quick. Tentacles become naked this patch. It's been 1.5 years and Orion still can't fire while moving, despite fire while moving ability. <laughs> of course. CA have a good sense of humor. Let's read this one. Oh yeah, no, it's nothing. LOTW showing Warriors of Chaos tech tree. That doesn't work. Oh, okay, somebody actually posted it. Someone says, If you find a way to exploit them for cheese, they'll be fixed in days. It's when stuff doesn't work course. and it's bad for the player yeah, that it hangs around are. for ages. Friend or yeah, foe. they're, they're right now. Whoa, that is a lot of money for a trade agreement. Nah. But Legend, you love money. Yeah, but I'm going to take their territory, and a trade agreement would mean I can't do that. Will you finish this campaign and start a Katarina campaign? No, we're going to take a little bit of a break from this campaign and start a Katarina campaign, maybe for one or two live streams and then come back to this because there's been a lot of people saying that they're behind on the stream because they're catching up on VODs. So we'll give them a few days to catch up and then we'll come back to this. Legends common sense is finally overpowered his greed. No, you don't, you don't you don't understand. I turned down the trade agreement because I'm greedy. I want his territory. I'm just greedy for territory. Because that'll make me more money than than a once-off payment and a little trade agreement, but preventing me from expanding. Because we're gonna be done with Hexawattle pretty damn soon. And if I establish a trade agreement, that's 20 turns that I can't attack them. Because you've got to wait 10 turns until the trade agreement expires. Then you can cancel it. And then you're going to wait another 10 turns before you can attack them. 
Most of the mad is raiding with a party of 21. And on YouTube as well. Thanks, guys. Probably showing up at the back end of the stream, but appreciate you anyway. But yeah, if you find any issues, I think one of the best places to, to showcase those issues is on the Reddit. I, I do find that Creative Assembly does check the Reddit and fixes stuff at a pretty regular rate. But at, when a creator sends Creative Assembly a message, there's like no chance of it getting fixed. You've got to actually cause kind of a stir. That's what I found. Because yeah, Creative Assembly doesn't like it when anyone makes them look bad. So you kind of you kind of have to make them look bad in order to get them to do anything. Which it sucks that you got to do that, but you know, they otherwise don't do anything. How many defeats? All defeats. One hundred percent defeats. <laughs> Now the thing is, you might see a lot of red here and think that's all is ex is expanded, but the thing is here, I'm actually a lot bigger than that because Ostermark, which I've been feeding a lot of territory to, has what 58 settlements. Ostermark has 60 territories, which I can just confederate them very easily. We just revived the Hunts Marshall expedition, so I'll be feeding territory over to them. So if we have a look at how much overall territory we've got. I've got 119, plus 60, plus 2, plus 3. So actually, I'm not that big, to be honest. We had way more territory than this in the High Elf one by this point. But High Elves are way stronger than the Empire. Tremble, Empire man. Your destiny is either slavery or death. It is inevitable. I don't want to call my allies into this. Denied. <laughs> what? Okay. That's fine by me. Didn't be like, you're on your own, bitch. You realize I was just using this as a stepping stone, but whatever. How do you plan to unstuck Wolfheart heroes? I don't care. I just want I just want the faction to exist. I don't care if he doesn't back me up in battle. I am the supreme so Patriarch. we'll just we'll just see how we go with that. You Ugh, that is bad. Report. I should have put so that manually. Accused. They will be judged. It shall be done. What have you to say? That's okay. Equipment check. So? I trust no man. To untame lands. Hunters! Advancing! Now make sure See we hand the settlement, Lector. Black Fang, over to Approach them. Approach and make your offer. But I make no promises. Of to course! Yeah, so if we have a look at this here. Will not allow it. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna unstick them. I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much though. Okay, Folk looks like we can make grim. it to pay wax. Good. On Is that Master Mundi? Oh, such a good trait, this one. Let's go. To battle. Now, if we can't sell this to, to um, Hunts Marshall Expedition, I can just order that. 
Hang on, before I do that, let's just make sure that there's nothing coming over here that can counterattack us. Not that it would really matter that much. Pick up the pace. Forward. Yeah, no, there's nothing. That, that takes more than a turn to get here, so we can auto this. Assassinate. If I assassinate a hero that belongs to an ally, I will lose reliability. Yep, that is fine. Oh, we didn't wipe him out. I doubt he'll come back and attack us anyway. Is it possible that Ostermark can't build any armies because you have all their money returned? It is possible, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, could be. I don't care. Provinces. Money for Take me? I don't care if they lose money. Volkmar. Alright, Volkmar should stay Volkmar outside the settlement because he's already got really high strength. replenishment and you should get in there. To battle. Alright, let's see if this works. Greetings, friend. I can't give it to him. Alright, that means I need to swap this settlement. For the high sentinel if possible. The nation calls. I can't trade it. Huh. Probably because it's not technically connected. I'll sell it straight back to him then. I shall tolerate this momentum. Right, I guess I guess this is the line here that we can't really cross right now. We'll need to figure out a way to have Marcus send an army out over here. Because I won't be able to borrow this army. No greater marksman. And he, he's stuck, he can't move. Every last beast. When can I declare war on Bordeloo? Okay, two turns. I can make my way back. Uh, I still gotta figure yes. out a way to deal with that. You have a bouncing hero next to Master. Oh, look. Yeah, you're right. Tools of judgment ready. Raise Sigma. Yeah, I'll build the barracks there so I can sell it to Master Mundy. If I can't bring Marcus Wolfhart up here, occupying this territory here is not really worth anything to me at the moment. I'll probably have to raise this territory in order for him to maybe ruin dwell it, but that's we'll just we'll go south instead. I was just curious to see if I could do that, and it just it isn't gonna work. Alright, that is just um what's gonna happen. Okay, no big deal. The Empire. Pick up the pace. I am France. They will obey. Do not take me for a fool. Of course. Yes. To unite the okay. provinces. As long as we're standing here, their armies cannot cross None. over this way anymore. Which boy, means boy, we don't need these armies here now. They can be they can True go. Servant of Sigma. Praise be to Sigma. There's Gotrick and Felix there, but I just don't need them. Protector don't need of these. the weak. But legend, you've got so much money. They were just there to defend those settlements while the ogres were threatening them. The ogres can't threaten them now. It's over. Yes. For them. It's over. Okay. Overall, not a particularly eventful turn. Seek out the heretics. Yes! Righteous fury upon them. Sir? All right, now over True here. Servant of Sigma. For some reason, the AI, like the, our allies, are not capturing Elysia. If I could what grab orders? it, build it up a little bit, I might be able to sell it to or swap it for something interesting. Yeah, 
Yeah, we should be okay to land here. Ever onward. Darren Laker did a ten dollars super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. But yeah, getting Marcus Wolfhart north of that position. That's going to be tough to figure out. Yeah, we definitely still need defenses here because you never know if they're going to sail down this way. In fact, it may be a good idea to hire a witch hunter. Maybe even a couple of them. Just to stand out of the water out this way. Because we'll be able to see when they come into this area here. But outside here, we don't know. And we just need heads up. Because I can recruit armies very quickly if they're sending anything this way. Because sometime soon Marathi is going to declare war on us. Again, probably. That looks good. Is Yves gone? Yes, Yves is dead. They died. Alright, that all looks good. Check for rogue armies, which there are none. Check for diplomacy. Protector of the realm. Storm Drag. The Nick Boss of Bosses. Mm hmm. So I think I'll be piecing out with Hexawaddle next turn. Yeah, a little bit disappointing I couldn't swap these two settlements. Because, yeah, I definitely can't be pushing north without bringing him over here, so we're just going to have to figure that out. Alright, let's move on. How many turns until I can declare war on? It's uh, eight turns. Okay. Oh, I've... These guys here, I don't want this trading room anymore either. I want no friends at all in Lustria, absolutely none. This whole area is is conquest time. Dangerous army here is for sure. So he's getting pretty unfriendly. Let's see if we can get him to break his trade agreements and stuff. Not yet. He doesn't hate this enough yet. Uh, Frizz, Freeze98 did a 100 DKK super chat saying, Oh, yeah. Okay, thanks to appreciate that. Why not add a warrior priest to Toddy's army for extra replenishment? It doesn't really need replenishment. What? What? Because if I go into a battle, I'll just use the wizard. It's fine. The instrument of Sigmar's will. He'll be fine. Yes, Alright, start yes, bringing these guys back. Because, yeah... We'll have to deal with this after we've um, conquered all of Lustria, which is going to take a while with just a handful of armies. Further testing, new Kiss of I Warriors aren't doing shit against Malevolent Treekin. That's because Malevolent Treekin have very high defenses. They're very strong. And don't forget that your new Kiss of I Warriors they have next to no melee attack. So what, 24? So they're there to hold the line, that's it. Who calls? Are you using a mod that makes the camera move so fast on the campaign map from army to army while waiting for next turn? Nope. I'm new here. Do you only do auto calc the battles? No, I only fight the battles manually if, if I actually need to, because it saves time. Fighting every single battle manually would mean that we'll just progress through this campaign really slowly. We've fought quite a few manual battles manually. If you want to see a good one, you should go back about maybe an hour, maybe two hours, where I fought Zatan the Black over here. That was a really good fight. I mean, it absolutely destroyed them, but. You know, you can see my tactics in action.
But yeah, if if it's a foregone conclusion, or auto resolve or manually, then might as well auto resolve it because it just saves time. They should be very good at holding the line. Yeah, those units, 40 melee defense for a tier 0 unit's pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Greece just doesn't know, doesn't know what to do now. Where do you change the camera to move so fast then? There's a little button up here called camera settings. If you watch where, hang on. So you got various settings up here, camera settings. Thirty-eight factions remaining. Greetings from Sigma. What could be a threat to this campaign? Um, overconfidence. I do, I do want to point out that in the previous livestream campaign, as the High Elves, everyone was saying, you can't be defeated, nothing can beat you now. And then I made an attack against the Greenskin Settlement, and I lost the battle, and it ended the campaign. Now the settlement that I fought that battle at, I don't have in this particular campaign, that's the Haunted Forest. So, even up until the very last moment, there is always a possibility for defeat. And what's going to guard against that is constant diligence. So, he's still got a lot of force, but he just doesn't seem to be... Pressing his attack onto, um, onto Ulthwan anymore. Man, look at that. That's really late. That being said, I did just disband a lot of armies. Impressed that he didn't suffer a loss during the first 50 turns of his empire. That was tough. That was tough. That, a lot of people said that was the most entertaining part, and usually it is. Um... Uh, but I've done that before. Isn't constant vigilance super exhausting? Yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's lucky, though, that I have almost an unlimited pool of stamina, which is just about running out. I'm pretty exhausted. So yeah, sometime relatively soon, I want to destroy Clan Angrand, at least in the old world. I don't mind if they still exist out here, but one thing I want to do to try to soften them up out here is to grab settlements in Ulthwan that they may be willing to trade their core settlements down here for. Same thing with Bretonia. Start peacefully shifting them west so that when the time comes for me to declare war on them, they actually don't have much territory left. What I've noticed about Dark Elves, in most cases, in their Black Arcs, most of their powers in their Black Arcs, they almost never use those. Well, they've been using them. I've definitely seen them been using it. No, 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 Lewin, I want to take that. What about me? <laughs> Is the Changeling still alive and a threat? 
No, we got rid of the changeling once and for all. We we found his last um cult and he he got destroyed. But once you have wiped out there's Henry the Massive. Once you have wiped out their only army that he'll ever recruit, he never recruits another one. Do the Dark Elves have the Sword of Cain? I don't think anyone's got the Sword of Cain right now because the Dwarfs have the settlement and they can't pick it up. Alright, can I get there? Nope. Of the faith. Nope, there's no way. Because we borrowed the movement from last turn. Uh, I also said when I arrived here I would level them up. But I'm tired and that's boring. <laughs> All right, Master Mundy. Yes, my lord. I'm done here. Oh, blessings of Sigma upon you. So we'll give this settlement back to them, only for them to lose it straight away. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's really fuck with them. So I could get 60 grand from Master Mundy for that, but I reckon, that doesn't seem to be all the money he's got, I reckon it would be better for me to make a switch, maybe Macro Peaks, and get 49 grand and then sell it back to him again for more than 10 grand. You'd probably pay for that much. Maybe. And then we go to him, and we sell him Maku Peaks. No, Greg got the better of me here. Although this will improve our relation with him a bit more. <laughs> oh well, there you go. Volkmar the Grim. Yeah, and he's just going to immediately lose it. I will cast out all evil. Now, by doing that, he's going to be really unhappy with me. So unhappy that he might cancel his trade agreements. Yes. <laughs> that is definitely how it works. The lower your relation with him, the more likely he will accept when you ask him to break treaties. No, oh, hang on. Right Very stupid. Right, there we go. Very, very stupid mechanic. Alright. Now, we need to go and hit Monument of Visital, so we gotta get going over there. Ah, oh, crap. They're not next to each other. It is for the best. So be it. Knowledge is power. All right, doesn't look like there's anything on the way here. Now, oh, what? So he's not at war with them, so what's he going to do? The Empire. Yeah, I think I'll still take the attrition because we're not at war with him. And I'll he I'll have to fight that battle manually and I'll just heal in that fight. Ready. I don't anticipate it being particularly difficult. I trust no man. Yes. Tools of judgment ready. Speak. 
What if there was a guy and his name was No Man? And he's like, he's actually just saying, I trust No Man. <laughs> what you should be saying is, I don't trust anyone. I see no other option. Then again, there could be a guy named Anyone, and he doesn't trust that guy. Show me the accused. I think I'm getting overtired because I'm, I'm starting be to judged. talk some serious horseshit. Uh, oh well. The nation calls. So Ostermark is actually coming in to help. He took out the. Um, Droids don't think there. So they've just got Flayed Rock, that's all they've got left. Alright, I think this is where we need to wrap it up. I'm clearly getting tired. Um, it's time to wrap things up. Maybe he's just trusting women? Literally every time he's been saying that, I keep thinking, well what about women? Alright, so let's chuck a host over to someone. Let me just check Discord to see the, if the creator network has anyone that's requesting a thing. Uh, nobody's requesting a host, so we'll just go and have a look on the actual website and just see who is currently live streaming, if anyone. There should be someone live streaming, I mean, the update that just came out. Um. Let me see. Uh, nobody's requesting okay, a no, no, host. What the, so no, stop that. All right, who's live streaming? We got. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's chuck it over to Radiant Ash. I haven't I haven't hosted her again uh, in a while. She's currently doing a Satang Prime. She's playing Miao Ying. Okay, let's go chuck the host over to her. Just give me a sec, guys. Go and throw some support over to Radiant Ash. All right, and I will see you guys. Where is she? There she is. Cool. All right, and I will see you guys next time. The next live stream will be a Catering campaign. We're going to take a few live stream break from this campaign to give people a chance to catch up because obviously these live streams are very long. And we will be returning to it. So if you're thinking, oh no, he's going to abandon this campaign. No, we haven't abandoned it. The support is still there. I'm like hanging on, but it's, it's still there. Anyway, it's in this one. Appreciate you, and I'll see you next time. Later, guys. So that is 